Join us for our early bird special. Every day at 8 a.m. we will offer you an incredible saving on a fantastic product. This offer is for one day only and while stocks last. So join us early to not miss out on some incredible savings. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Right, I need to tell you now, the early bird is always really busy. Today, we're going to sell out in minutes. If you're not quick on this, we will sell out in absolutely minutes because it's something you all want, it's something you will use. And three, two, one, look. It's, it's OD505 spray, the normal five spray, normally $7.99. Normally it sells at $7.99, today it's $4.99. You're saving three pounds now, I know people will come in and multiply. Please check out your basket straight away because you know it's not yours till you do and I would hate for you to miss out. You're saving three pounds, yep. Now it's only for 24 hours or until stocks last. Now I've got lots of stock but I also know that this will sell so quickly. Well to Hannah. Well, Tana, this is going to fly out. This is going to absolutely fly out. It's the early bird special. It's for today and today only. And or until stocks last, I don't think stocks will last more than 10 minutes. Quarter of the stock has gone into baskets already. Quarter of the stock is in baskets already. 36 seconds into the auction and that's when he's gone already. So please, 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 don't leave it there. Don't leave it in your basket. You need to check out as soon as you can because someone else come in and take it away from you at £4.99. Quick as you can. I mean, it's something you all use every day, isn't it? If you think about it, when you're making your quilt sandwiches. At £4.99. Here we go, it's the early bird special. It is oh, uh, 505 spray. You know that's fabric on fabric, repositional. When you're making your quilt sandwich, it's better. Uh, there are 30 left. 30 left, that's all now. 30 left. We had hundreds, right? But I knew, I just knew. I bet people are multiplying, aren't they, Hannah? Mmm, she says. Mmm, they are. At four, 4.99. Buy two. And remember, once you bought this, that's your P&P done for the whole day. If you come in and buy anything else, a kit or a sewing machine or anything, uh, uh, a fur hat or a little coat, uh, you've still paid your P&P for the whole day. I know, it's fantastic, isn't it? And remember, uh, if you buy this, you'll be entered into the competition. To have to, uh, uh, what is it? Lunch with me, Vix. And there's, there's, added, there's, a, uh, there's an added bonus I'll tell you about in a minute. Yeah. Four ninety nine, four ninety nine. Quick as you can. More people got it in their baskets than we've got stock now. <coughs> Excuse me. Today's menu. Here it is. Coming up at eight o'clock, we've got designer hour. Nine o'clock, elegant wide collared coat. Helen Rihanna. It's brand new. It's a brand new pattern. Never been on air before. Uh, Ten o'clock, we've got the block builder collection. Uh, Eleven o'clock. Now you may have seen it once before. We've got it back in stock. The faux fur hat, scarf and bag set. I've got my model Chloe, showing that off later. And then at 12 o'clock, we've got workroom tools and storage. Here's the gorgeous coat. Now, you may have seen, if you follow Helen on Facebook, you might have seen her wearing this in her house last night or the night before. Oh, here she is. Look, have a quick look. Three of her. That's Helen, Rhiannon and Gil. All together there. Uh, now, the thing is, that if you're thinking, oh, I love that length, but I want it longer. The pattern... This is a shortened version of the pattern. The pattern goes right the way to the floor if you want it to. If you want it to, the pattern will go right the way to the floor. Oh no, Hannah, it would look lovely going to the floor, but it does take an awful lot of fabric. It takes about seven metres, I think, to get to the floor. Beautiful, this one doesn't. Uh, that's lovely, isn't it? Well done. Uh, so that's that. That's that part of the menu. Oh, that's that part of the menu. I'll just... Um, like I'm on a travelator. Uh, right, so that's the menu. All you need to do is buy something, right? You could win lunch. It's on the 7th of February. It's at 1.30. You'll come in at 10.30. You'll go around the studio. We're not sure who's looking after you. We'll just wait for marketing to come in. I know. Uh, you, it finishes at midnight tomorrow. All you need to do is buy something, right? But the competition finishes at midnight tomorrow because obviously we need to let you know and get you sorted and everything like that. All the terms and conditions are on the website. You have to get, you have to get yourself to Birmingham on the 7th of February. You come to the studio at 10.30, you wander around, uh, have a look. The vast... I don't know what you're going to do for four hours, to be honest. But anyway, you'll be we're here for four... Uh, seven, uh, 10, 11, 12, one, three hours, three hours. And then at half past one, we go for lunch. Me, Vix, Neil and Hannah... 
I know, I know. Oh, you've got the pleasure of all of us. I won't be able to get a word in edgeways. Uh, Hannah promises she'll dress up that day. She won't come in her pyjamas or her, she won't wear a onesie with the plunging neckline or anything like that. Oh, she's bought this lovely hat from where's, near where her mum lives in Rutland. Hello, Shatter. Uh, on Boxing Day, they went past this shop uh, and she bought a hat. And today's the first day she made us wear it. Now, stay indoors. Don't go out today. Stay indoors today. You're better off staying in. Well, I had to stay in a hotel last night, just around the corner, because it was going to snow. Didn't snow, but the ice on the car this morning got it all off eventually, and then started off around the gyratory system, and it froze up again as I was driving along. It was terrifying. Anyway, that's by the buyers, by the buyers. So I've done that, done that. New buyers, if you're a new buyer, you get a free gift. You will get a free gift worth £29.98. pence. Just for buying something. So not only if you buy something, will you go in for the competition, but if you're a new buyer, you will also get, uh, it's a sewing kit and it's two metres of fabric. I know, fantastic. Is that staying all day then, does it though? We didn't take that picture. I'm really not that much bigger than her. Yeah, my face is a funny colour on that one, isn't it? That one wasn't even coming back from the holidays one, that one, was it? I'll be better when I've had that. Anyway, go and check the, the website for terms and conditions on that and on the website. Oh, I've, I've, I've walked all the way over here. I, didn't, I, I can't hear you, Han. I promise you, I can't hear you. And, uh, like, all you are is you're like a... Like that in the background. I might put that other one back on. Uh, uh, if you want to get in touch, this is how you can do it. You can go to the website, uh, www.sewingquarter.com. Uh, you click on Watch Today's Show. And you get a bigger screen, and what you do is you just scroll down the right-hand side of the page, and you'll see that square there that says Message the Studio. You can write a message in there. You do need to keep it to 140 uh, characters or less. You do need to keep it to 140 characters or less. Uh, and then what you need to do is just send that through, send that through, send that through to go to Hannah upstairs and she will send it through to the, the uh, um, a tablet on my desk. What you then need to do is, just, oh, now the overcoat sold out, uh, the 505 sold out, that's why it's disappeared. As you bring, as you bring items on, if you, it's boiling in here. Uh, if you see items there, they will all be listed there. So if you're joining us later, you click on there, put in your basket, or as you see at the top of the page, when we're doing a live sale, live auction, you can click on there. Add it to your basket. It's, got, it's been sold, it's sold out, so it's not there, you see. That's why it's not there at the moment. Put it in your basket. You can check out as many times as you like. It's one PMP of £2.95 for the whole day. Remember, the whole day, no matter what you buy. Even if you buy a sewing machine, it's £2.95. You can send me an email as well if you want to. <coughs> Studio at sewingquarter.com. Studio at sewingquarter.com is your email address. So send us in your pictures or send us in your longer messages. And uh, that's it. Now, I'm ready to start. Designer. Everything on this table is designer. Uh, so should we go through? Should we start? Let's start at the very beginning, a very good place to start. Please send your messages in today. Uh, let me know how you're, you're all right. You can. Uh, Pam and Nikki Lintot, award-winning... Um, Mother and daughter combo. Well, now, where's the other one? I've got one. Yeah, I can't find, I can't see that one. Have you got North? Oh, there it is on the, as with the Anna Maria, they've moved it. I've got the other one. Okay, so this is the Pammy Nickel in Tut, award winning mother and daughter combo. Uh, it's all half square triangles, isn't it? Uh, now, uh, what it is, it's 6 99 it's just the pattern. <laughs> now, they say it's made with a design roll, but of course you can cut strips, but I was just going to open it and show you, but... Where's the... Oh, there it is. I don't know why this needs to be in a bag, really, does it? Anyway, look. It's not anymore. So, 12-page full-colour instructions here. Now, they um, suggest a uh, creative good ruler, which I've got here, but you can make it without it. Just makes your life simpler because the whole... My head's wonking. There you go, look. So it's all half square triangles. The ruler just speeds up. You can do it without, uh, uh, with the, without the ruler if you want to. I 
and then they've got, uh, well, would you want to? Hannah's saying in the plain squares, you'd, she'd fussy cut a, a pattern fabric in there. Let's have a look at the, fin look at, but look at the instructions. Well, you see, unless you do, um, oh, no, because it makes a little arrow look. I didn't notice that. Oh, look, you can really see it on that one. You see that the, those there make an arrow north by northwest. Got it now. Got it now. I understand them. So don't fussy cut it there. It's a nice idea, Hannah, but no. Hannah likes her idea. But it's, it's like the compass facing north by northwest, isn't it? But that's the whole point about it, north by northwest, the arrow. Okay, Hannah doesn't, doesn't believe me. Uh, anyway, uh, it says, uh, you, what's the finished size? 68 by 68. Oh, it's a square. 68 by 68 inches. We like a square quilt. Uh, now, the rule of the recommend is this. You don't have to have it. It just makes your life a lot simpler. They, now, they do work a lot with uh, in conjunction with, Peter, with Rachel the Ruler. In fact, we met Pam and Nikki Lintot and Rachel the Ruler at the same time. 1999. It does come with the little um, instructions, which are very, I'll just open up, are very, very thorough. How to use the ruler. And you can go to Creative Grid's website and you'll see Rachel the Ruler. She will be doing a demonstration on there of all the different rulers. Not she will, she is. I'll be seeing her in two weeks' time. Two weeks' time, I'll be seeing her at the, the awards. Oh, it is. Sorry. Ignore that rule. Ignore that. The rule is correct. The instructions don't belong with that one. I do apologise. 1990. You do get a decent set of instructions, but you'll get the right ones. They're actually attached to the ruler. I'll have words with Laura in a minute. 1999. Oh. It's brilliant for lots of hair, half hair, half square triangles and things like that. Hannah's got lots of hair, but not, you know, half square triangles hair. Yes, so did I. Right, the other Pam and Achille Tot. Oh, honestly, they do this just to confuse me. There we go. Oh, suddenly they've gone very, very loud. I think an air block has happened. It's all right, 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 right. It's good, it's good because you're loud suddenly. Cottage to Castle, $14.99. Now, look at that gorgeous, look at that gorgeous quilt. Do you think that's their house? Oh, well, they, they, the mum, the daughter lives, I don't want to give, oh, no, the shop's in Rygate, isn't it? The daughter's in Rygate. And then, oh, look, the blue colourway. Nice. Oh, beautiful. Oh, now we've done the star with them before, haven't we? They've got... Oh, big floor cushion. Hannah wants that as. There you go. That's the star. So that's the centre. That's the centre medallion. If you do it, obviously do it like a medallion quilt, this one. Then you do the blocks going round it. The, the panels going round it. Sorry, the frame. Then step three. Oh, look. It's beautiful. Look at all these. That is a lot of instructions, isn't it? At fourteen ninety nine, fourteen pounds and ninety nine pence. The Pamunikilin took cottage to castle pattern. I wonder if that is their house. Make a traditional nineteenth century uh, English medallion quilt using twenty first century techniques. Now they do advise two rulers: the one I've just shown you, and another one called multi size flying geese. Out of stock at the moment, so I can't show it at the moment. Look at the blue. You can make it. You can make it. Look, 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 look. There's loads of different techniques in here. Did you say foundation paper piece in as well? Oh, English paper piece. Oh, yes, there you go. The, the hexes, the little hexes. Oh, I didn't meet the lady from Holland. Oh, wow. So there's EPP on there. Then you've got um, op squares on point going around there. You've got your more half square triangles or flying geese around there. Beautiful, isn't it? Oh, do you know what? So what you could do is if you didn't want... Oh, oh it'd be a shame not to do them all. But if you wanted just a, a lap quilt or, you know, something for your sofa, you could just go that far, couldn't you, and finish it? Or that far, or that far. 
Yeah, easy to break down into sections. I'm just looking for the size, actually. Oh, 84 by 84. Well, that's a nice big size, isn't it? Do you know what, Hannah? You're right, the blue and white one is beautiful. That would look lovely in my bed. The one I've got on my bed is blue and white, but it's... um. I was busy looking at it for my bed. Yeah. I mean, I do like the multicoloured one as well, but the blue and white one's like very lovely and traditional, isn't it? Oh, I bet, I, want, I bet their quilt room is gorgeous going through, because their stand, when they're at Festival of Quilts and everything, they have a huge stand there with loads of quilts all draped everywhere. It's fantastic. And they're lovely as well. They're really, really lovely ladies. Right, so that's that, and that, and that, and that, and that. Mrs. H bag patterns, next. Oh, now I've got some of these and I haven't got this. Right, what would you like first? Sewing machine bag is here. Now, obviously this is made up in fabric that we no longer have. Doesn't, do you know what? It doesn't just have to be for a sewing machine. I think this would be nice for a weekend bag. Let me just zip it up for you. Well, you should have seen what I arrived with yesterday at the hotel. We well, don't know, do you? You don't know. See, the, the reason I say I think they say it's a sewing machine bag is look at the width, the width of it, look there. And also the zip goes right. You would actually, the thing about this as a weekend bag, you, if, if they suddenly said, oh, have you got something in your bag you want? You don't really, oh no, I know what you do. You just open that up there and bring, you do a double-ended zip, don't you? I was thinking all oh, your pants would fall out if you opened it from the side there, but you just open it from the top there. Anyway, that's the, that's the finished uh, item. This is the pattern. <coughs> Mrs. H, the machine bag pattern. Don't want my pants falling out everywhere, do I? Um, so you need uh, fabric for the outer layer, fabric for the base, uh, foam stabiliser, medium weight interfacing, lining fabric, a webbing, uh, a twin pull type O-zip. And then they've got mesh. There must be on the one that they've made, they've got a mesh um, pocket inside, I presume. Fold over elastic and foam. Oh, there you go. That's all you need. Eight ninety nine for the pattern. The machine bag is a great intermediate sew. It has some tricky techniques, but with minimal pattern pieces, it's a satisfying make. If you want to have a look, we demoed it on the 4th of October last year on YouTube. And the method used in this pattern involves turning the bag through a gap rather than bound interior seams. Fabulous. It's nice, isn't it? Now, obviously, a 680 won't fit in there. I suppose I should tell you what the finished size is, shouldn't I? Uh, 16 and a half by 12 and a half by 9, which is 42 by 32 by 23 centimetres. Fabulous. Right. Shall I do the reversible hobo bag next? So this is the pattern here. Oh, sorry. I'm bringing ahead of myself. There you go. The reversible hobo bag. And this is it. This is it. Yep. Yeah. So this is it. This one's made with our um, Kenya. That was our Kenya tapestry and our faux leather, wasn't it? For a PBC leather. But look, so it goes, that's one way out. And then. Da, 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 da. Do I want to do what? There you go. 11th of December was the most recent demonstration. Bit of on a few times. And that's the pattern. Obviously, we haven't got that fabric. Uh, you need fabric one, fabric two, fusible fleece, medium weight interfacing, triangular or D-rings, and a swivel clip and a zip. That's it. The reversible hobo bag is excellent for showing off large prints and works well in faux leather. The slouchy bag features two zip pockets, side accents, a front flap to keep everything cinched in, and a smattering of hardware to give your bag that professional look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like this, you could have your bold designer fabric on the outside. Then maybe you're going to a, 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 an interview or something, or something you have to be a little bit more sombre. Well, yes, Hannah, most people are more sombre in an interview than you. Yes, because not most people wouldn't take door handles with them to their interviews. Door knobs, even. There you go. You see, because that could be a little bit... So you've still got your splash of... Do so if you imagine if you'd use some Anna Maria or some Tula or something, 
and then you, you're on one side and then this on the other. So you could just have a flash of that. Or maybe you're wearing a busy outfit like Hannah is today. You don't want to... You don't want a busy bag. She's wearing a lot today because it's quite cold. She was here before me this morning. I didn't have to stop. Because I stayed in the hotel. I don't go past her village. I went through her village yesterday afternoon. It was absolutely... The snow was big, big snow like that. But it had been pouring down with rain, so it wasn't sticking or anything. No. And then I got to Central Burm, got to here, uh, Digbeth. No snow. No snow. And then I went to the hotel. No snow whatsoever. I kept texting Hayley going, uh, I'm in the hotel. No snow. Anyway. Eight ninety nine. Mrs H reversible hobo bag. Nice, and there's a zip pocket there, which on which will be on the inside, wouldn't it? Or if you turned it through. So is there another one on that? Oh yeah, there's one there anyway. Brilliant. It is. Mrs H does think everything through, doesn't she? Right. So that's that one. And then I haven't got this one made. And I wish we could make this one up because I love this one. Because looking at the pattern, I think it looks like a huge weekend bag. But it's actually a very small toiletry tote. Oh, now, Hannah said, could you fit a hair straightener in it? Not that she ever uses hair straighteners. No, don't put them in when they're hot. So where, what's the size? 14 by 11 and a half by 5 and a half. How big are your hair straighteners? They're, they're 14 and a half inches. I don't think they'd be that long, would they? Yes, yeah. Yeah. The toilet tote is not for the faint-hearted. It's an advanced pattern for those who want a challenging sew and have great attention to detail. I'll show you the back, because look, it's got all pockets and zips. Because I think it looks lovely. To, for, when you're going away for the weekend, and you don't want to be... Hannah normally takes all her toiletries in a Sainsbury's carrier bag. Do you know what I mean? She has been known to do that. Whereas this, wouldn't that look lovely? Now, would it fit... Would there be enough room... Oh, oh, crikey. She's going to make two. One for her makeup and one for her hair. This one's for her hair. Not her hair. She's not going to put her hair in it. So what do you need then? Hair straighteners, hair dryer, attachments, diffuser. But, but, but hang on. If you use diffuser on your hair, doesn't that make it even bigger? Oh, eight ninety nine. As you'll see, if you win the competition, Hannah promises to have big hair that day. And she'll have been been threaded the day before. Oh, she went yesterday. Well, how will it be in two weeks' time? She, yeah, yeah. Oh, she likes the lazy. Oh, every time we drive past it, because it's in her village, every time, every time, we, two weeks. Oh, no, next week, next week. Because I'm thinking, why am I thinking it's the 14th then? What's happening on the 14th then? It's only a week away. Oh, it's a week away. Why did I think it was two weeks away? I've, I've got the 14th in my brain. I know it is. I'm, I'm not even here. I'm in York. I was going to say, yeah. Anyway. Maybe, because Debbie Paver's always wanted to take me out. Maybe, maybe I'm going out for lunch with Debbie Paver on Valentine's Day. Not, no, because we, we have lunch in the green room. They supply lunch there. Have it delivered. And you hear the doorbell buzz. Oh, no, it's very nice, very civilised. Oh, a message. I wonder what's happened to the messages today. Hang on. Da, 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 da. Ali, you mean? I've got Ali. Yeah. Is that the right one? Right, OK. So this is Hannah. John, you've got a message from Anne. I look at the screen. I've got a message from Ali. No, I've got a message from Alison. Ali, no. Anne, she said, you've got a message from Alison. <laughs> Anyway, good morning, John. Snowing heavily here, but keeping warm watching you and thinking of my summer holidays, looking at your shirt. Love, Ali. Oh, yeah, I hadn't even thought about that. It was either this or the butterflies today. And I thought, I'll try this one, because this is one of my skinny shirts. And I didn't want to put it on and be doing that. But I'm actually, it's all right, look. I don't know. I, I, I'd put weight on last week, but um, I don't know what's going to happen this week, because I'm in the hotel all this week, aren't I? I'm going to wag a mamas for my tea tonight. Jill, morning, John. Just want to say what a fabulous shirt today, full of colour, just like saying quarter from Silly Nanny Jill in Suffolk. Have you got snow as well in Suffolk? Anyway, thank you. Uh, it was snowing when? Oh, in Surrey last night. There you go. Arne and Marie Horner, Fat Quarters. I've got two of these. Now, this is a bit confusing because one has got more in it than the other. Because I was like, oh, this is wrong, this is wrong. But one's got 15 in and one's got 16 in. 
This one with 16. Yep. Right, I'm going to have to open this. Is that all right? Oh, oh, it just fell off. The ribbon fell off. I love... Oh, oh, now I've not seen this before. So, Anna Maria, you know Anna Maria, she does her uh, big ranges every year. She's also gone into collaboration with other designers like Monica Forsberg, and there's another one who, whose name I keep forgetting. And they've got a, 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 a group called, like, you know how Kay Fassett has his collective? Well, this is their, like, collective of designers. And this was their first range that they did, uh, in, called the Conservatory Range. And what it is, is this fat quarter bundle, I've not seen this one before, is a mixture of the two. So we've got Anna Maria and we've got Monica Forsberg. So hang on, that's uh, that one. Oh, oh! Now there's, there's some in here I've never seen before. Right. Um, there's fabrics in here I've never seen before. Right, okay, so this is, uh, she's a graphic designer, this one, isn't she? Right, hang on, so is that, that's a moniker, isn't it? That's a moniker. These ones, are, right, okay, I'll take you through these first of all. So this is a collection from Anna Maria for when she visited uh, London. This is Gossip. These are Name Dropper. This is Preening. And I think that one's called Gothic, if I'm not mistaken. But then these, okay, so these are all, <laughs> these are all Anna Maria, these are Monica Forsberg, which, I've, which we've seen before, but these are by Aruna Kunuraj. I apologize, can, can we show that, can I show that slide? I, I apologize if I'm saying it wrong, this is the, the person's name, Aruna Kunuraj. I apologise if I'm spelling it, saying it wrong, but there you go. But we've no, I've never seen these before. And she's, she's, um, she's very much graphic design, graphic design. Look, 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 look. So we have to see these. Have these been on before or are these a premiere? Now these, we haven't got by the half metre. Oh, we love this. Look at this, look at this, right? Isn't that, I love the kind of... Hand-printed geometric is her style. Oh, Silk Screen, that's what she is. She's a Silk Screen artist, that's right. Um, beautiful. I'll show you them all. I'll show you them all because I've never seen these before. Oh, I love them. You've never... No, you haven't, Tim. Twice you've seen it then, twice. I've never seen these before. You've seen those fabrics before, but you won't have seen these. Twice you'll have seen them then. Oh, look. Now, I think it's a little bit unfair, really, because the other designers don't get to mention here. This really should just say Conservatory Collective, shouldn't it, really? This, oh, hang on. So that one is called, oh, they've cut, we've cut it off the, off the, um, oh, no, the range is called Vestige by Buku for Anna Maria Horner's Conservatory. That's it. Yeah. So this one, this, this one's called Free and the colour is Darling. I love that one. I shouldn't have opened that one first because that's my favourite, yeah. Oh, hang on. So what was this one then? Oh, okay. That one's called Free. This one's called... Woven dots, that one's quite obvious, isn't it? And then this one's called... What rain? Tilly, Tilly rain. And then there's two more, there's two more. Oh, this one is the same shapes as the first one. <gasps> oh, maybe I might take that back now that that's my favourite, because look. That one looks like it might have been done in panels, doesn't it? Shapes, that one's called. That's not easy on a silk screen, is it, that? And then last but not least, this looks a bit like the Tilly Rain, but a bit more... Um oh, I love these. I wonder why we've never had it. I know why we won't have had it, because we... Oh, sorry, it's strobing a little bit on your telly, that one, isn't it? 
Aren't they just beautiful? Um, we've most probably not had those as a, as a half metre fabric because not, I've not heard of that lady before, apart from this range. Beautiful. Oh, they're gorgeous. Oh, yeah. Oof. And so there's some more of hers in there. Oh. So these are, the, this is the bundle with 16. This is the bundle with 16 fabrics in. I'll show you them all in a second. Let me just put those through. Oh, I, I do love this. I do love, oh, oh, I wonder if we can get that in by the half metre. Don't you think that'd be really popular? Right. Look. Oh, dear. Alice says she would buy it, which means most of you won't. <laughs> yeah, look. So, you've got uh, Anna Maria here. You've got Monica von, For uh, Monica, not von, Forsberg there. And then you've got the new lady here. The new lady whose name I'm trying to conjure up in my brain. Aruna. Aruna, that's it. Right, apparently she sells a lovely woven blanket, which Hannah would like. If you live in America, could you get it for her? Let me see, let me see. Oh, if you can't, don't worry, sorry. No, no, we can't share it live, obviously. I just want to have a look. Oh, nice. Well, maybe you should tell Paul. Because that, oh, that's gorgeous. <laughs> which room? The pink, green and, uh, the pink, green and yellow room. Or oh, you mean Karen? What colour is Karen's room then? <laughs> Hannah can't remember. She's not been in there since she bought the house. But did you paint it all when you moved in? Yeah. So we've got Anna Maria, Gossip Gothic, Name Dropper. Is there another one in there? No, that's Gossip, that's Name Dropper, that's Gothic. <laughs> Oh, and then pr preening. What, uh, oh, no, hang on. That's not name dropper. That's not name dropper. That's le leaning, preening, gossip, and uh, gothic. That's name dropper. Oh, hang on. These are all Anna Maria. These are all Anna Maria, these. Oh, uh, these are just all. I'm uh, not, oh. I mean, I mean, oh. These are all Anna Maria. There's none, no more of that other lady in here. So, look, one, two, th so that's why there's 15 in one and 16 in the other. These are all Anna Maria's from that conservatory collection. So you've got uh, eavesdropper, name dropper, sorry, name dropper, gossip, gothic, preening, preening, uh, name dropper, name dropper, gothic, gossip, gossip, preening, leaning. At £54.99, they're lovely, aren't they? Fifty-four pounds and ninety-nine pence will get you fifteen. Uh, hundred percent cotton. Now, uh, size-wise, let's have a look. They're free spirit, so they should be a, a metre. There you go. It's a metre, cut in half and then cut in half again. Love, love, love. That's just one of them. Right. Right, this, every time you check out, you get a new entry. So it's not, nor not like the normal one where it's every item you buy. It's every time you check out. But you can check, so, but you can check out 20 times a day, 30 times a day if you wanted to. So if you're going to come in today and buy things, don't do one big order. Do lots and lots of little orders and if you want to win this. I'll be in with a chance of winning that, obviously. You don't, I'm not guaranteed you'll win. But you know what I mean? Like, the more times you check out the more times you get it. So if you're buying loads, don't do it in one order. Just check out lots, because you can check out as many times as you like during the day. It's only one PMP, remember. And it's as many times you check out between now and midnight tomorrow. Um, and then it stops at midnight. So if you check out at one minute past midnight on, oh, uh, what day are we on? Wednesday. So one minute past midnight on Friday, you're too late, because it's tomorrow night, isn't it? Too late, darling. Too late. 
Julie, good morning, John and team. Hope everything is keeping warm and safe. I'm keeping you company today. Thanks from Julie in South Yorkshire. Have you got snow then, Julie, in South Yorkshire? We should have done a map, shouldn't we? And seen where all the, the snow was. I'll get Tim to rustle one up. There we go. He's on it, he says. Because Birmingham hasn't got any snow. I wonder if it snowed in my village last night. Right, OK, where are we going now, then? Anna Maria Horner patterns. Now, uh, we couldn't, well, we couldn't find it, could we? We've got this. Um, Charlotte made it, so I can tell you the date that Charlotte made it. Uh, it's the Ruthie Clutch. The Ruthie Clutch bag by Anna Maria Horner. It's just a pattern, 9 99 I've got a feeling it's in here. I don't know why it would be in here. Oh, $9.99. The Ruthie Clutch bag pack is just, well, I'm not one of those presenters that just says whatever the producer says in my ear. At $9.99. 26th of September, Charlotte Newland demonstrated this. At $9.99. 999 uh, 9 Do you know what I thought it was a pregnant lady standing there but that's her knee isn't it the <laughs> well, no. well, if you just look at that to start with that could be a pregnant lady standing there but she's got very big hands. <laughs> Hannah's saying, I'm glad it's your brother's the doctor and not you, John, because your anatomy's not very good. No. Nah. Message from Wendy. Uh, Wendy Merseyside. Morning, John. The snow on the world. Oh, is there? Oh, Julie won't like that. She's got to go. Nana Kate's not very well. She's got to go over to Nana Kate's. Mind you, she has got a posh card to get. Oh, yeah, put that to the map, please. Oh, it's not there yet. Merseyside. Not the world. Oh, the Wirral. Yeah, the Wirral. Only has to be only has to be Great Britain. Don't do the whole world. Anyway, moving on. Cross country quilt pattern by Arnhem Horn. Listen, it's beautiful. Eleven ninety nine. You see, there's your basic pattern. It's actually quite simple. Because that's one big block, isn't it? It's like one big block. Marie in Swansea, but da da not been able to watch for a while. Oh, why not? But back now, love your shirt, can have it when you finish with it. Love, Marie. Well, Marie, uh, as you can see, if, uh, um, you know you're that 10-year, no, not the 10-year, th yes, the 10-year thingy. I'm still wearing a shirt from 10 years ago. I know, it's a bit frightening, isn't it? But they last so well, these cloud Hill ugly shirts, you see. But uh, I'll think about it, Marie, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Well, when I get my next batch, I'll have to make room, won't I? But I'm not driving to London. Last time I drove to London, this time last year, I got stuck in the snow, do you remember? And I couldn't get back and Derek had to do my shift. 11.99. Cross country cut. Where does she live? Oh, okay. Let's do uh, Case Quilts in Italy. These, these books are like beautiful, excuse me, coffee table books, these, aren't they? 20 designs for patchwork and quilting. Cave facet quilts. Now, what they did was they took, th th there's a whole range of books. There's Italy, Morocco, uh, Ireland, uh, help me out. Well, America, en Provence. Um, and basically, they just take, uh, they take all the, the quilts and they take pictures of them in now at beautiful, beautiful places. Oh, so, yeah, because this is where, uh, now what's the name of it again, Hannah? Uh, there's only a slight spattering of snow in Winbourne in Dorset. At the place of Chiaroscuro. Chia, Chia, well, how do you say it? 
No, it's not Chikatera. It's Chia Roscuro. Yeah. Tell Chica, tell if it's true. Anyway, look, 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 look. Aren't they beautiful? So what there are, there are beautiful pictures of. I wonder if they got permission off, they just ran up, stuck it up with a bit of blue tack, took the picture and ran away again. Oh my word. Oh look, that's oh, it's on the seaside then. A group of coastal towns, and you can walk between them. So when did you go there, Hannah? We've got, oh, she went to Italy on the train. Oh, how lovely. We've got a quilt like this. We've got a quilt very much like this coming up in the next few days because I saw Corey taking a picture of it yesterday. Oh, that's nice. Who's got engaged? Oh, when she was in Italy, she'll be, how would you know they were getting engaged? Was the young one? Ah, oh, private moment and Hannah and her friends all stood and watched him propose. But look, 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 all the, not only do you get gorgeous pictures, but you know how to make them, see how to make them. Oh, now you see, I'd be, a bit, this is me now, I'd be a bit worried because those seams are quite long, aren't they? Yeah, you have to be careful of your banana ring there, wouldn't you? Oh, I say. But they've done it like a log cabin, but with stripes going in the opposite directions. Nice scaffold. Look, they're beautiful, aren't they? Contrast weave. Oh, better get moving. Losing my marbles, Hannah. Timothy, I'll put that, I'd write that down, Hannah, and tell HR. Oh, it doesn't matter. Oh, it's Timothy's last day today, everybody. Timothy Director, it's his last day. He's going on to bigger and um, more beautiful. Now, that's not the word I'm looking for. Morning, John and team. Very cold and icy here near Durham, but no snow from Lynn. On the map, do you know where Durham is on the map, Timothy? Good boy. I'm pointing here. Durham, I'd be like the weatherman. Durham. When I did that, when I used to do Gala Bingo, you were just in a green studio with a green stool to sit on. And there was nothing. So everything you see at home isn't there. So the great big staircase going up there isn't really there. And then you stand like this in a green room. You couldn't obviously wear green, otherwise you'd disappear as well. And yet you would go like this and like this and like this and like this and pretend to... And it's like, there's a picture I've got here. And it was like, oh my goodness, it was so confusing. Anyway. Oh yes, these lovely orophils. This is for if you do a, a hand. If you're wondering why I've got this here, I've got three more. I've managed to get three more. That's all for you, three more of those. It's the, uh, the latest Riley Blake that we had. Anyway, this is, uh, now this is 80 weight, 80 weight spools. This is very, very fine. Now, Sally Ann Harrison loves this. Uh, Lucy loves this. Charlotte uh, Newland loves this. It's so fine, it's perfect for your hand, um, t needle turn applique and things like that. You get uh, 20 spools, 300 yards on each spool, made in Italy, it's Egyptian cotton, it is incredibly fine. And you know what, uh, there are only 80 colours, that's right, isn't it? 88 colours, 88 colours, so 20 of them are in here. So you've got a quarter of the whole lot in here. It's going to last forever as well, isn't it? Well, not forever, take that back. It's going to last you a long, long time, isn't it? Because it's so fine, just disappears into the fabric. Now, I know you're thinking, ooh, £108, John. Imagine how long that's going to last. If you do a lot of hand turn applique, needle turn applique, this is... Aren't they beautiful? And they're on cherry wood, aren't they? Those are spools of cherry wood. Now, that's what I also love about Aurifil, is they put different spools for different threads. So if it's thrown in a drawer and you're like, oh, no, what was that one again? £108. These have been very, very, very popular. Right. 
Oh, is there room though? We're going over there now to the uh, Cave Facet Design Wall. Uh, have I got the box? Oh, yes, there it is. There it is. This, right? This is fantastico. This is Cave Facet. It was uh, uh, introduced by um, Brandon when he was on. It's a metre and a half of flannel fabric, but it, it's just brilliant. 26 99 Come with me. Come with me. Come with me. So I'll just put that on there. Come with me. This is it. This is it. Now we've. We've pinned it. This is Chris, because it used to say, it used to say Vix when Vix was on. And then when Vix wasn't on, it said JS for me the other day. Someone's nicked a couple of the, tri of the, the diamonds. We can't, haven't got enough to do JS anymore. But I'm going to get rid of them. But Well, I'll show you. I'll show you with these, actually, to start with. You don't get these with it. They're just to show you, right? So what you actually get is this metre and a half of flannel here. We've pinned it to one of these boards. Um, but I was suggesting you could put... Um, uh, channel behind and hang it from all that way. Now, Roberta, what she does is when she needs hers, hers doesn't stay out the whole time. She puts it on the over her dresser in the kitchen, drapes it on a dresser and, and sticks all her blocks on everything like that. All it is, there's no magic, no trickery, no jickery, whatever it's called. It's literally flannel fabric. But because of the weave and the nap on it, you can take uh, fabrics, no, you don't need to pin them, you don't need to glue them, you just literally can move them around. So if you're placing blocks or if, you're get, if you've suddenly bought um, something, like, like I'm going to show you in a minute, the hexes or something like that, and you think, oh, I want to see all those out, or you're placing them to see what they're going to look like, you can't always see it when it's on a table, but you can put it on your design wall and then you can step away from it and have a good look at it, can't you? So I'm just going to take those off to start with, because this is it, that's your medium and half, that's what you get for your 26 99 Now, if you've got on these boards, that'd be brilliant, because just pin it like we have to that board. Uh, or you can put it, just attach it. Um, Charlotte, when she used to work in her garage, she's had a whole wall covered in it, so she just put her block straight on it and everything like that. £26.99. They always fly out. When Brandon introduced them, we sold hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. We've reordered it now. We've got more in now. Um, but it's £26.99. And this is how it arrives. This is how it arrives. It's exclusive to Sewing Quarter. It's pondering his next design. Now, I hope you don't mind, Cave, because on your wall, I'm going to put some Tula. Because I've got new ones to put on, Chris. Oh, now, didn't we have to say something to Chris? Oh, yes, that's fine. I don't need to say anything. Right, so. Uh, No, no, I'll be, I'll be a minute. See what I mean? You can just place, yeah, and then if you put them up, you think, oh, no, I didn't want that one there. And then what you can do is put them up. Oh, no, I don't want that one there. I love these. These, by the way, are the Tudor Pink Zuma hexes, which are always very, very popular. Hannah singing a song from um, Wicked. The one where it says popular. The where the green lady is in it. Hannah on a bad morning. Oh, hang on, I've got two there. You said to me you can just place them wherever you want. And then you could, what you can do is stand back from it. Like, like I can see what you're seeing now and think, oh, yes, but that one in the middle there, that yellow one there, doesn't really work there. So you take that one away and put something else in its place, look. You see what I mean? You can just play around with all the different shapes. And they're, they're not pinned, you've not ruined them, you've not put any glue on them or anything like that. Oh, no, that one's throwing me, that one. I'll have to have it that way, I'd have to have it that way. Do you know what I mean? It's fantastic, isn't it? And it's just, it's literally just a piece of flannel fabric. But because the, the nap on the fabric just means that fabric will just sit quite happily there. No pins, no glue, no hassle, easy to move around. Okay. 
So that's the two, I haven't put it all out because it takes too long. 17.99, how many did you get? You should get about 40, don't you? Oh, 42. Oh, th it says there, 42. Lovely. Oh, got a message from Susan. Uh, the KF 80 weight thread is a bargain. Other places on the web, it's selling for £126. Not my words. Susan from Kent said that. So uh, go elsewhere if you want, pay £126 for this, or buy it for me for 108 Just work it out, though. So how many threads are in there? There's 20. 20 threads in there. They're lovely, aren't they? And then look, it's got all your little EPP. Use it for your EPP there and everything. Cute. A uh, message from Lynn. Dum. No, not yet. Hello, John. Oh, light covering snow in Taunton. Just staying warm watching us. You do that. You stay indoors. Don't go outside. Oh, Luna. Luna's staying indoors. No squirrels today. No early morning, early morning walk today. Oh. Jill, good morning. We have frost this morning and no snow in Staffordshire. Uh, my granddaughter, Afra. Oh, I know who this is, right? I know. Who you met as Amanda's broke her arm at school two days ago. Oh, no, Jill. Right, now, Jill, this is a bit embarrassing. So I'm at Amanda White oh, shop opening, uh, extension opening thing, and I met Jill and Afra because they were doing a children's sewing day. And she said, oh, I think you live in the same village as... Um, Anyway, I went, oh, God, that, the house when I bought it was filthy. I said, where did they live? Anyway, I bought my house from her family member, and I just spent half an hour going, it was filthy. It was disgusting. This was broken. That was broken. Anyway, um, hope she's well. I hope she gets better soon. Oh, fancy breaking your arm. Oh, poor little thing. Lena Anderson. Lena Anderson, I've just got to go over here and get these then. Anyway, uh, Jane, um, Jane Alcock says they never get bad weather where she lives because she's near the base of the Welsh hills. And she said her dad used to say that the, the snow would all come in, hit the Welsh hills and go up like that and then be dumped in Derbyshire over there. Miss where she lives. Anyway, which one would you like to do first? Garden gate tote bag. These are just the patterns. <coughs> now, you can see most of these when um, Lynette was in last August. After Festival of Quilts last year. 10.99. Garden Gate Tote. She's lovely to watch. What date was it, please? I think it was, it was after Festival, oh bless you, after Festival of Quilts finished. 11th, I was going to say something about the 11th. And let's just look it up. Garden Gate Tote pattern by Lynette Anderson. It's cute, isn't it? Oh, look at you and your posh frock today. Chris. 10.99. Okay. I've also got two more pattern. 13th of August it was. 13th of August. I said 11th. I was in two days out. <coughs> Lucky Clover. Now, obviously, uh, Lynette uses these very demure, subtle colours, doesn't she? You, doesn't have, you don't have to. If you want to make that in bright primary colours, you could do if you wanted to. 7 99 Lucky Clover quilt pattern. Timothy's making it in pink, he says. Seven different shades of pink now that he's unemployed and sitting at home on his own in his flat. He's got the time to do it now. He's got a lot of furniture, because he, when he moved here, he got a, a, a unfurnished flat, so he's bought lots of furniture. And so I just sell it all on eBay, but he's trying to find somewhere big to store it while he decides where his next move is. Isn't that right? Mind you, he's living above a chip shop. Apparently the chip shop shut an hour, a, an hour and a half ago, no, a year and a half ago, apparently. Bird in the basket pillow. Oh, it's tra oh I've driven past there. Oh, I know where you live now, now that you're leaving. Is it blue lettering? Yeah, I've got, I know exactly where you live. How funny. Well, I, I don't catch the bus, so it's fine. 10 .99. It would be going in the wrong direction for me anyway, that bus. I'd have to go to the Digbeth bus station to get home, wouldn't I? 10 .99. I've never been invited to your house, Hannah. Why would I catch a bus to your house? I know. Number 50 or number 35, go straight to Hannah's house. 
It says on the front, it says on the front, 50 Hannah's house. House of fun. <laughs> no, not that, that's for sure. Well, no, I've heard what Karen goes through. Karen's her flatmate, by the way. Um, now, this is a crazy Rebecca Reed a pattern. We've done it several times, and you love it. I've never seen it done in this cat fabric before, I have to say. I've got a bundle for it. Now, you do need extra than what comes in the... You get the instructions, which are very, very thorough, with all the templates and everything like that. You get your two metres of fabric, and you get your thread, but you need to buy some buy something that oh, uh, to go with me. well it, it was supposed to be on my trolley but they put it on the floor Christopher anyway so you can make it in blue if you want to look Tula spray time meter of each plus your thread plus your pattern 29th of October last year was one of its days I launched it with I launched it with crazy Recreed. now you do need to buy some of this but you need two of these you need two of these to make it Oh, and also, this is one of the interfaces if you do the Mrs. H show machine bag. 10 99 Oh, there it goes. But you do need two. You do need two of these. Maybe you could have one tomorrow when you're in the hotel. Are you staying tonight? No. Right. 10 99 um, Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. Helen Rianne is up next doing that lovely coat that I showed you at the beginning of the show. Um, we've got fabrics, we've got a brand new pattern uh, from, a, I think it's size 6 to 22 the pattern goes to. So it's got covering all sizes there. Lovely wools, lovely linings. Not you, Christopher, it wouldn't suit you. Uh, the colours aren't quite you because with your florid skin it might look a bit weird. Uh, right, don't go anywhere because Helen will be here modelling and making the coat in three minutes from now. Have you been watching Sewing Quarter but still thinking about placing that first order? Then the new year is the perfect time to start shopping with our brand new offer for brand new customers worth $29.98. Not only will we send you two metres of fabric worth $14.99 but also the official Sewing Quarter sewing kit also worth $14.99. The kit contains everything you need for sewing on the go and those last minute fixes. Simply make that first exciting purchase with no minimum spend and we'll add these gifts to your order automatically while stocks last. Tune in on Thursday the 31st of January for our first ever Super Savings on Sewing Machines event. Regular guest and sewing machine expert Jane Brogan joins me, John Scott, for demonstrations, professional advice and super savings on a wide selection of our favourite Elna and Janome models. We're thrilled to offer fantastic discounts at price points to suit every pocket. Whether you're buying your first sewing machine, upgrading your current model, or want extra functions for dressmaking, embroidery, or quilting, you'll save hundreds of pounds during our event. The chance to compare different models and see them in action during our Super Savings event not only means you can take advantage of these massive discounts, but also buy with confidence. So don't miss our first ever Super Savings on Sewing Machines event, Thursday the 31st of January, only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 73 and Sky Channel 687. Tune in on Sunday the 3rd of February for the return of the handy quilter Simply 16 long arm quilting machine for your home. The 16 inch long arm incorporates innovative hoop technology resulting in a compact freestanding frame that still accommodates quilts of any size. Ergonomic handlebars, colour touchscreen controls and 1,800 super smooth stitches per minute are just a few of its professional features. In the studio to demonstrate those benefits and more will be Liz Hoplin, handy quilter expert and the UK's official distributor. Just as Joy Edgington did last time, Liz will be putting the Simple 16 through its paces live on air allowing you to see exactly how simple it will be to fit in your home and your life. Our exclusive sewing quarter package includes a selection of tools including the handy quilter long arm rulers and ruler accessories. So prepare to spend two hours with handy quilter Simply 16 long arm starting at 10am Sunday the 3rd of February only on sewing quarter. Freeview channel 73 and Sky channel 687.
not often we have a live model, is it? But look, Helen. Oh, Helen, it's gorgeous. It's funny how you always make things to fit you, isn't I it? I know. I know. I have to give it to you back again. Yes, yeah. It? At the end of every show, they have to leave them. everything, you see. So, um, but it's, your mum loves this one as well, doesn't she? I know. She? she did say, well, what happens to it after you've made it? Like, I have to give it over, mum. Aww. So she's going to be knocking your door tomorrow. So okay, yeah, tell her to come over and visit. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, it looks gorgeous. But you've been done this. Uh, it, it looks fantastic with jeans. I'm not so sure about the, um, no, the no. skirt. No, no. Dress, but, so imagine uh, with a nice pair of jeans. Yeah, exactly. Or yeah. A nice skirt. It's beautiful, the way it's shaping. I know. This is my favourite style as well. I have a new waist and it's got pockets, which everyone loves, and yes. comes in different lengths as well. Perfect, isn't so it? This is just right, a short you go over and get ready, okay. and I'll show you what you can make it. Good, thank you, Helen. Uh, do what, what? Oh, and I've got the picture of Helen wearing it as well, if you want to see it, with, with jeans. There you go, look. Three of them, Helen, Rhiannon, and Jill. Triplets, did you not know they're triplets? Oh, did you not know they're triplets? Yeah, three of them. Right, okay, it's a brand spanking new pattern. Brand spanking new pattern, not been seen before. Uh, I've got it in sizes 6 to 14, and I've got it in 14 to 22. Here we go, look. Now, if you look at the three versions on here, one's got, has that one got a tie belt? Has the red one got a tie belt on it? Uh, aren't they lovely? Now, the one uh, Helen's made is even shorter than that one. She shortened it by about eight inches. We'll talk about that when we go over. It's, it's, it's kind of all she's done is taken eight inches off the bottom of the pattern. So there's nothing complicated about it. So you can have it that the length Helen did, this length, knee length, or princess length, $13.99. Uh, if you go to the website, the second picture down will be all the instructions about the yardaging and what you need and everything like that. If you have any immediate questions about the making of it, please message in and I'll ask uh, Helen while we're doing the show. So that's it in that size. And then we've got to do the 14 to 22 as well. Lovely, isn't it? I suppose what you do is if, if you've got a finer fabric, I'd do the... Has it definitely got a belt? Let me have a look. Oh, yeah, yeah. If I, I'd do it in finer fabrics with the belt. I wouldn't necessarily make a belt in the thicker fabrics. But already the coat cinches in at the waist. Anyway, you saw uh, on Helen, uh, it's uh, the way the pattern is cut, it actually cinches in. Look, you see at the waist, that, this is without a belt. Like you see, there you go, that's without a belt and it still cinches in, in at the waist as well. And then flares out, makes like a lovely flared uh, peplum almost, or you to make it a shorter version like that. Okay. So, there are your two patterns, which I'll be taking over with me. Right, now the fabrics that we've got here, this is the one that Helen's already made it in, which is beautiful. No, it's lovely, this, beautiful. There we go. So now it's wide. It is pink and red Czech Highland tweed fabric, this is called. 145 centimetres wide. Oh, no, I'm sure this one is a, is a mix. I think it's a polyester wool mix, but we'll find out for you. I'll find out for you. I'll get Chris or Laura to find out for you. Segan Blush Pink Red Check Highland Tweed, $11.99. I'm sure it's a mix. I'm sure it feels like it's got a wool, either wool cotton or wool polyester mix, that one. But I'll get Laura and uh, Chris to find out. Yes, please. Okay, we're doing it now. Hannah's doing it now. Okay, so that's the one that she's uh, made it in. The one that Helen's doing the demonstration in is the Prince of Wales check, which I love this. Now, this one is a lot softer, obviously, and a lot... Oh, this is beautiful. Now, it's a, a traditional black and white uh, Prince of Wales check with a lovely pale blue window pane chalk stripe running through it. Now, it's 100% wool, this one. 100% wool. Savile Row quality. I mean, just look at that drape. Look at that drape. It's an Alfred Brown, Black Prince of Wales check, merino wool, 100% merino wool. From those lovely um, sheep in Spain. Bred for their wool, but not for their meat. 15.99. It is exquisite. You'll see how beautifully it goes together when um, when Helen Helen does it in a second. That is gorgeous. That's going to make a completely different looking coat, isn't it? Even though it's exactly the same shape, it's going to look completely and utterly different. Then I've got a few other fabrics to take you through. I'll do this one first. Now you see, I know why this one's here because Adele will lo would have loved it made out of this. Adele in scheduling. She's already got a big like uh, checked coat like that, hasn't she? Oh, 
Nice. Now, this has definitely got two sides to it. This has got a fluffy side, or it's got a more of a tweedy side. And I think you could use either of the sides for your coat. I don't think it matters which one you use. Moscow Mouflon. Black and white check fabric, £12.49. Again, I think that is a mix. This one is a poly wool mix. I think that one is well. 145 uh, centimetres wide. Now, let's go traditional. This is lovely. Little Paul wants a suit made out of this. It's like a tattershawl check. <sighs> nice. Look at the colours in there. Very, very rich colours. Aberfeldy, Auburn, Rust and Tancheck Highland Tweed, 11.99. 80 wool, 20 polyester, 145 centimetres wide. It's lovely though, isn't it? Beautiful and traditional, that one. And also, it's not still, not still, it's not stiff like some tweeds can be. It's a lovely, because it, that floatiness will really work with the peplum shape there. So that's that one. Then I've got another very bold check here. You see, they're all, all these fabrics are going to tell different stories. Oh, look at this. Oh, that would be amazing, wouldn't it? Look at that size of that check. It's like a big plaid, isn't it? That'd be lovely. That'd be really, really lovely. Premium brown. Uh, this is 86% uh, wool, this one. Brown and mono checked wool mixed fabric. So it's 86 wool. I'm presuming 14 polyester. Yeah. Lovely. Just a couple more, and then we will get on with the making, I promise, right? Then, now, these, these are the fabrics that when we did um, Jules's trousers, do you remember we made the trousers out of these? These are so soft and beautiful, these. Again, this is more lightweight. This is like the um, Prince of Wales check one. This is a merino wool. You might not be able to see the texture of this one on your screen. Oh, yes, you can. Yes, this is Puppy Dog. And then I've got Herringbone. 100% wool, this one, 16 99 this is 160 centimetres wide, but it doesn't matter for the pattern because 145, 160 doesn't make any difference when you're cutting something like this out. And then last but not least, I've got the most exquisite. It's very, very subtle. You might want to um, add a colour to this, I think, if you did this coat, maybe. There's nowhere to bind it, though, so I don't know how you do it, but something like this is the kind of fabric that Paul Smith would take and then put a silk binding somewhere on it. I'll have to work out where in a second. This is your grey herringbone. Very, very subtle. Merino wool again, 100% merino wool. 15.99. Savile Row quality, Alfred Brown. This is the one that's woven in West Yorkshire, isn't it? Beautiful. I love West Yorkshire. The streams. Well, it's because all the mills used to be up there in Victorian times because they used to take the power to drive the, to, 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 from the water to drive the mills and everything like that. And um, you know my friend Mary France and Christophe, they own... A mill up in West Yorkshire. It's not used as a mill anymore, but they own the mill up there. It's beautiful. It's been in the family for do donkey's years. Right, now, the two... I'll, I'll just show you two linings quickly, because I think it's important to get on with the, um, with the demonstration. But these are the two linings that Helen's used. So with the first colour, she's used this sort of plum maroony one. Maroon, they've called it. 149 for half a metre. 100% polyester. Now, this... 148 centimetres wide, this one. And then for the um, Prince of Wales one, they've gone with this pale blue uh, lining. Very, very, the palest of all the blues. It's called pale blue, there you go. 149, anti-static lining, 149 for half a metre, remember. Now, I have got an array of all sorts of colours, but rather than waste the hour going through them all. What Hannah's going to do, I'll skim through them now, but the graphics won't all come in. Hannah's going to just, as the show goes on, she will put them all through. Oh, it was, oh, okay, in the next break, she'll put them all in at the next break. But we've got a kind of light, a French navy, a dark navy. We've got like an aqua. If you want to see any of these, I tell you what, if you want to see any of these close to with any of the fabrics, just let me know and I'll show them. We've got an aqua, we've got a red, we've got a purple, we've got a lilac, We've got a kind of mid-blue. We've got a, ooh, 
lovely chocolate brown. I've not seen that one before. And then a, a pink one, because what Tim was saying earlier, you might want to go with one of the very um, subtle wool fabrics on the outside, but then have a really, really lovely bright lining inside. It, if you want to see any of the colours, if you want to see any of the colours later with any of the fabrics, just let me know. But I think we should go and do some sewing, don't you? Here's the coat on Helen three times, the triplets, <laughs> Helen, Rhiannon and Gil. Oh Hello, you. Hello. Now Lovely you've got a different you. frock on today. I do, although this is one I've worn already. I've run out now. I oh, need okay. to make some new ones, so, yes. Okay, right, okay. So now, easy, difficult, intermediate, what would you say, you know, skill-wise? I would say easy to kind of intermediate because you don't have an actual sleeve hole which is great. So oh. I think this actually makes it easy for yes. those who are new to it. Yes. The collar is is probably the hardest bit, but if I demo that, yes. hopefully you'll see it's not. It's so we're not, not we're not going to try and make, we also made this mistake in the past. We try and make oh, a whole no. jacket in an I'd hour. I'd love to make the whole thing. And oh, no, 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 through, but we need but a two hour special to exactly. do that, really. So in your hour now, what, yes. which bits are you going to show? I'm going to show cutting out because yes. there's a lot of check. So to look at pattern matching Perfect. and on this one, it is, I, I spent a lot of time, which I'm going to show you how to do that, to get that right. Brilliant. So you'll see all the way through that the line runs right round. Okay. Um, so I'm going to show you a few little tips on that. Yeah. We're going to just quickly put the construction of the, the outside together because yeah. I've already done the inside. We'll put pockets on, which are dead simple, right. super, super easy. We'll do the collar. My word. We're going to get it all done. All right, and okay. uh, and just show you a little cupboard button. Okay. Fingers so, crossed. So let's go, go, go. Off you go. Then. Right. Just to show you, with your cutting out, it is really important that you do take your time to cut out anything with a check. So put time aside. Don't rush it. Because if you rush it, this is the centre back. And what I did, when I cut the two out, I did cut them at the same time. So I spent time on the top layer, but the underneath layer just moved slightly. So if you look down the centre back here, you'll see it's not lined up. Yes. If you're not a perfectionist and it's not going to bother you, then I would just put it all over and the whole thing will look like it's meant to be yes, mismatched. Yes, yes, yes. But it is nice to think about having everything lined up. So yours, so, are, so really that line there should re that yeah. line and that line should, if you were doing it if for you were real, matching, they yeah. would all line up. Yeah. So I'll show you how to do it. And then it's your choice whether you do that or not anyway. Okay, so that's your wrong one. Yeah, that's the wrong one. That's Don't do not that one. Used. Now, it does take a bit of time, and on the pattern, it does get you to place one at a time when you cut them. If you want to layer them up in two, then what I would suggest doing is folding your fabric over, and all I've done is just check that underneath that they are lined up in the lines, because your fabric very easily moves yes, like that. Yes, exactly. So you'll see from just this back piece that I've just pinned a few of the squares to make sure that they're all in place. So where you've pinned it through a square here, you're definitely on the same they're square on the other side. They're definitely in the yes. same spot. Yeah. And then the important thing then, on this pattern and on, on most of them, they'll have either, you know, your waistline, but if you can see close up on this one, it's got length and shorten yes, the pattern yeah. here. So this line is on the same position on every pattern piece all the way through. Yes. So the piece which is the front was the back bit, sorry, here. I've just looked where that line is. Yes. And it's just sitting above the blue. It's like yes. that lovely blue running through. Yeah. So I've positioned it exactly the same yes. way on here. So your grain line is still in line with your check. Yeah. So that's your important thing. But when you place this right up close, you'll see that your stripe is running through. So it won't match everywhere because your garment, you know, has it's, got shape. Yes, exactly. But at least through your waist, you'll have that line running through. Now, would you say you would you would match the stripe? Because on this one, you mentioned, right, you've got stripes going across yeah. and you've got stripes going down. You always, yeah. you always match the stripes going across, yes? It's up to you, but yes, I've gone with a cross yeah. for this one. So at least it's going all the way around. But if you want to have a difference with your design choice, then you can... You yes, can play but with don't it. try and match both of them. No, because they definitely won't always, not. Don't always work. Um, no. Nurse Julie here, love the coat. Just the design I've been looking for. Thank you, Helen, for showing us how to do it. That's from Nurse Julie. That's okay. You're welcome, Nurse Julie. So I'm going to quickly cut this out now. Right. Just so you've got this done. Now, when you're cutting, sometimes I use a cutter mat at home, so I've got a table full of the nice big cutting mats. But for today, I'm just going to go around with the scissors. You use cutting mat even when you're just using scissors. Yeah, well, I, I have them out all the time, so yes. I'll always just go oh, between that. Oh, okay, so it's that. just there, yeah. Yeah, 
Now, the, the one thing I found is I, when I first started, I went freelance. I used to work, I was in a rented house and I was making yeah. everything on the dining room table. And I didn't, we didn't have cutting mats or anything. And all the no. pinning, you, d you don't realise how you're wrecking your dining room oh, table. Oh, you do. Because you don't see it all the time. Then eventually after a year, yeah. you suddenly realise the top of the table. And you have wrecked it. Just to go, when you're pinning, make sure you pin every corner and all the key bits down. Because if yeah. you start cutting and your bits start coming away, then this is where you start to lose bits. So when you're cutting with your scissors, keep your scissors on the table and just chop. Now I have done this in a previous dressmaking one anyway, so in a little bit more detail. But as you're cutting up, it sometimes gets a little bit harder, so you can just peel this away or, or actually fold the pattern over so you get right up to the edge of the fabric. So because I've got lots of sew, I'm only gonna do this quite quickly. But I'm going to keep moving this up out of the way. I would pin this a bit better as well. And when you're cutting, you're cutting right alongside the edge of the paper. Right. So just make sure that you, you're not snipping too much of your pattern off. And what I've done with the pattern pieces as well is I would leave the actual line of the size so you can see where that line is. Because if you cut along that line when you cut your pattern out, then over time, as you keep, obviously when you make more and more, because you'll love it, you could possibly be shrinking your pattern and you yes. won't see. So always keep that line, just cut just outside of it. Yes, because if you shave, even if it's less than an eighth of an inch this time, then shave less than an eighth of an inch. Yep. By the time there's eight seams going around the body, that's an inch, you could have lost yeah, an inch. And just you do by lose a lot, okay. yeah, over time. Uh, now, Pauline, uh, sewing nan, says, uh, uh, how much fabric do I need for 16 to 18 as the picture isn't very clear on the web? Love this as a jacket. Well, I haven't got the yarding for the jacket jacket, but for the shortest version here, if your fabric is 60 inches wide, which is 145, 150, you'll need five and a half metres if it's 60 inches wide. If it's 45 inches wide, you need seven and a half metres that's for a size 18 um, but to make it shorter than this you just chopped eight inches off the bottom eight inches you? off everything and kept it exactly the same shape the whole way around now I'm cutting into the notches so I'm using the snip of the tip of the scissors to snip in so everywhere there's a triangle yeah just tip of your scissors in the center do you always snip do you always snip your notches always absolutely everything and because it is a jigsaw puzzle and especially with your check you do want to make sure that everything's yeah. in line there are a few other markings on this pattern so there are a few little markings for the, the shoulders sometimes there's the smaller circles but they, I haven't found them to be as useful or as relevant to show you on this pattern. It's okay. mainly your notches for now yeah. and your buttonhole placement. So I've notched three on the back, which is always where your centre back is. Mm -hmm. One over here. So I'm going to quickly just take this out. And what I may do is just use the one I've already... Well, I don't know whether... I will sew this one because it's better to see. Right. But I was thinking whether I use the bad one to save time, but... I'll right. tidy up when you say. Thank you. What um what um seam length is it? One point five. Right. So you just get that set in your machine. Everything's the same, apart from I think, I think the pocket is the only thing. So what I would do, I did line it up well underneath, but just every time you're pinning your seams together, just have a quick look underneath to see where your check is lined, mm -hmm. and then pop your pins through. If you haven't got a check, then you know you don't have to be quite no. as worried doing all it in any way. Some people don't. It's, to them, it's not important. It's nice to have it all mishmashy, which yeah. you can totally do that. And it's as well. totally your choice. So yes. don't you know? Don't overthink it. If it's worrying you to buy the check, don't worry. Yes. Just make sure that you aren't trying to match it because then it will look will look good yes. anyway. So where's up here? Okay. The fact. The fabric going across the bottom, 11.99 there, that's one that we've already made, you can see just in the background there, and the pattern obviously 14 to 22 at the top there. The other side's practice is the same price but a different code, that's all. Okay. So you're just doing your centimetre and a half the whole way up. Yeah. The important thing with this is to press everything as you go along. Right. Take now, things. with it being wool, would you normally use a pressing cloth? I, I just go straight on, but oh, I turn it up to three, I know. I'm daring. I <laughs> yeah. so, uh, if you've got a muslin, if it's the first time you've done it, then just use your muslin cloth first yeah. of all. Now, you'll see 
that the seam is sticking up. Now I've got the, what do you call it? What temperature gauge do you have it on normally? Um, I'm always on a two, but I'm going to put it up back here. Yeah, as it is, it's fine. It should be. Yeah, it works. There you go, because it's on the wrong token. Uh, how many 11 pounds? These are great. Mm -hmm. Love these. Always press everything as you go along because you get that perfect finish then. Thank you, John. And just pull it taut. Put your finger in just to open up that seam. And then just go along. You can use your steam as well. I was going to say, I've got, I've got a squirter bottle for when yes. I do wool and things like that, oh, rather than just use the steam from the iron. You know, just one of those like you spray plants with and things like that. It's a good idea, water, yeah. Because I work a lot in satin. Yeah. And I just, and I just don't have water in the iron no. at all. Any drops on satin is a, is a nightmare. I just to also, if you, get, if you have that like moire taffeta, sometimes <gasps> if you get that yeah. wet, the moire disappears from it. So oh, you I know. Lose your, lose your pattern. Now, the one thing to bear in mind, go in between the wools and the linings. You will need to turn your iron down for the linings. Yes. I, everyone does it. I did it on the lining and thought, oops, as it starts to shrivel yes, exactly, in. Yeah. But yeah, so that's done for now. Thank okay. you. So you've got your centre back. You can see how much nicer that, that is. I should have put a bit more steam on there. Yeah. Right. So what you would then do... Because there's no water in the iron, that's why we would be any steam. Yeah. <laughs> Keep all your pattern yeah. pieces handy because you always want to just check which ones are which. So I always keep them pinned on until I'm ready to put them together. Yes. And to show you the lining, so you can see what I'm looking to achieve, it's really not hard with the construction of it. So start with your lining because then everything just gets put together nice and simple. So, you so your lining pieces are exactly the same as your main exactly. pieces, aren't they? So you make an outside jacket and an inside jacket. Yes. You've got your your pieces of the facings. Now I ran out of interfacing right. a bit too late on to request some more yeah. and it didn't come in the post. So this would be fused. So the whole, the, the whole, whole of the facing section would, would be, be fused. fused. Okay. And it gives you that lovely body. Is that just medium weight iron on? Medium weight iron on. Yeah. And you put this on the interfacing here and you also put it on the, the outside front yes. layers. Yeah. But I've just on done it where I need it for yeah. now. Okay. So what you'll see from the whole jacket is you put together your front to your side section. Yeah. And you do the same in the backs. So you put center back and then you put your side backs so onto it's very, it. So the actual construction is very, very simple. Really simple because yeah. all you then do is you then sew together your side seam there. Yeah. And you sew together your shoulder seam. So that's why I wanted to show you the lining to show you that actually the construction yes. really isn't that yeah. bad yeah. for that. So we can put that to one side. Okay. And I hope that does make sense to everyone. If it does, if you've got any questions, obviously just, just send them fire away, in. okay? Right, so we'll pop that down there. So we do need to match this part up now. But what I may do is show you how to put the pockets on. Yes. And then I might sew this then if yeah, you're yeah, doing yeah. something and else breathe. then. <laughs> I know, there's so much with this. I'm like, I just want to show you yeah, everything on it. And it's hard because you think, well, if I'm going to show you the cutting out, then I need to sew the bits together. Yeah. And I'm always thinking, what's the best way? So you'll see now on this section here, you've got your notch, which is going to match to your notch yes. on this side. So that's key. Oops. And flip over your... Your also, when you go to fabric like this, the reason to keep it pinned together is so you know which is your right side and your wrong exactly. side. Because if you'd cut all those out with a wall like this, you're like, ooh, which, which, is, which yeah. side is it? So at least you know now the two inside ones are your... Exactly you, right. Okay. Now, what I always do with pinning is I'll always go for the bottom section first and I'll pop the pin in there. Which is why it's important to cut exactly, exactly as your pattern, isn't it? And then when you do the top, just get that top section exactly lined up. Mm -hmm. Then find any notches in between. Find those, place them right on top of each other. Place a pin in and then everything in between. Yes. Now this is the only time where I would possibly shift it a little bit if these were a little bit out of sync. The stripes, The stripes, yeah. but only by, say, half a centimetre. Yeah. So I'll just put a couple in and we'll whiz along there. OK, so... Always get your edges right alongside each other. Yeah. So they need to be perfectly lined up. 
because again, like you said earlier with a jacket, if you start leaving a little bit too much in, you know, if you overlap or you cut off a bit, it all works in your favour to match up because you've got an inside jacket and an outside yeah, jacket exactly, yeah. and it quickly won't match up when you put the two together at the end. So we do the same on this side. And so I'll just pin that, same way, but I'll show you how to put the pocket on before I sew this little bit, because okay. this is quite straightforward. So again, find the notch. And this becomes a habit, I think, when you start dressmaking, spend the time to do these bits in the beginning, because any bad habits, it's hard to kind of iron mm. those out. So yeah, definitely. be accurate from day one. Place this bit here. Are the pockets just in the side seam then? Yeah, they're really, really simple. It's the kind of thing where people, I think, stress about pockets and things, but this this really is a nice, yeah. a really nice version for it. Um, Penny and Devin says, hello, John Helen, could you use a quilted, the quilted jersey for this pattern? You know, the one we met with the one we sell that's like kind of grey with spots and stripes on it. I think try, try it as long as it's not too thin. It's not thin it's at not all. Thin. I'm thinking it might be too it's thick for the collar. But it... Potentially, but then... Yeah, I don't know, I'd have to see it to yeah, double check. You, you carry on saying, because okay. I've, I've got something here. You keep talking there. Right, right. so when you've got your, your back, this is what it looks like with everything on. And you need to get your pockets, which I have. I might be wrong. This is the, fa this is the fabric you're talking about, isn't it, Penny? Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Oh, no, I think go for it. OK, yes, yeah. Pen, it's a yes. Yeah, give it a go. I'm going to show you on the pattern what it gets you to do. So the first few stages are interfacing, they are doing some stay stitching, which I must admit I don't always do. No. No, I don't but know about you. But if you're investing in a really good quality wool and yeah. you're doing it at home, not rushing it. Do everything as, yeah. as it is, and yeah. then you make that decision. Yeah. It depends how stretchy it is as well. And also, you've got to remember this is your living. You do this yeah. every day, so you know how much, if what you can get away with and what you can't. If exactly. You, if it's, so you're doing something for, yeah. for yourself the first time, exactly. then follow the pattern. Do exactly. everything, and then you choose what you, yeah. you do and don't do. And it's telling you to sew up your side seams, and that's... The great thing with this, there's always one that's in a foreign language, you can just put that one away. <laughs> so unless, then, of course, you speak that language. Unless you do, and work from that one. Yeah. So then you're left with the initial bits, side seams, and then you've got this, this page, so it's not right. too, too many pieces. Now, you're doing your side seams, you're doing your centre back, and what you are doing is when you've stitched your seams, you're pressing them open, yeah. and then you're pressing them. I think one, the back goes to one side, and all the other bits the other seams are pressed towards, I think it was Oh, they, the... don't, they don't leave the seams open then? No, they're pressed towards and they're top stitched. So oh, they're okay. all pressed towards the back. Right. I think from what I can feel. And you just, and and you just top stitch it top on that one side. Top stitch them down and it okay. gives you that lovely, that kind of, that lovely hold to yes, it as well. Yeah. So that's the time consuming bit, which I won't do. I'll just yes, stitch yes, them yes, as yes, normal. Right. And so you are just getting that construction together. And the easy bit with the pocket then is, Finding your simple pattern piece here and the notch that you've got on the side, yes. which is the underarm part here. Find your pocket. And you'll oh, now, find... is this why, this is, if you are going to shorten it then, yeah, don't this go is where you have to short. be careful because if you go too short, your pocket flap's exactly going right. to hang down below, isn't it? Exactly. So you match up your, your notches there and make sure that that works. Check the length. And then that helps you work out where this all fits. The whole pocket is made out of the wool, is it? Well, no, you put... Good point. Sorry. It's like you're reading my, reading my mind. Oh, sorry. No, it's only because only sometimes it's a facing, sometimes yeah. it's... Um... So I've just sewn them onto this side. So these are the two fronts. I'll pop over there for a sec. So your two fronts... Right. You place your lining onto the front pieces. Yeah. And then you place the fabric bit onto the back pieces. Right. So when you look inside here. Right. You have to, if you want lining on both. No, well, no, no, because I was going to. You could do all fabric on or both. Or what I was going to say was if you become a little bit more advanced, what you can do is use that pattern piece. Yes. And put a seam there and have the first exactly. bit as your fabric and the second bit as exactly the lining. Right. So yeah. if you open the pocket, all you see is your actual main fabric, but then the pocket itself inside, because you don't want that rolling, do you? And, and no. the lining showing, that's all. 
And you can, if you, again, more advanced patterns give yeah. you more techniques to keep it in place. But what this is what I like about this one, it is nice and straightforward. So you match up the notch there. There's no pattern matching with, with the pockets, so yeah. don't worry. OK, Jacqueline, my love, that it doesn't just start at 14 to 22. We've got it in 14 to 22 there, and then down there we've got it 6 to 14. So if you're shopping on the web, 6 to 14 is underneath, is underneath. Is that what you're saying? In today's products, un underneath where you're watching us, in today's products, underneath there. That's what, but it, is, it does come 6 to 14 and 14 to 22. It's just a different, a different uh, excuse, different numbers. Uh, uh, my family is size 10, can you get that? Yeah, yeah, get, get size 10, Jacqueline. And it's a good size, because the 12, you know, I'm probably more like a 14, and it's, uh, it's nice. Well, I think it's quite good yeah. because it fits Hannah as well, doesn't it? <gasps> no, no, oh, that's didn't mean that, that rude. That sounded bad. <laughs> I didn't mean that rude, but what size <laughs> are you, Hannah, then? 14 in a coat. So they are, we're the same, yeah. we're the same. I wasn't exactly. being rude, I promise. <laughs> Sorry, for once, I wasn't being, she read that wrong. I did read it wrong. <laughs> now, when you're sewing the pocket onto the outside, it's the only time when it's a six mil or quarter of an inch seam allowance. So you're not doing the full centimetre and a half. Oh, OK. Just six mil. Right. What's the matter, Hannah? She's sad because she's a size 14 coach. So, you know. uh, so am I. I'm like 14, 16. Hannah. It's all, it's the range. So well, why is that only a six, I'm ignoring Hannah now, why is that, why is that only a six, why is it a smaller seam allowance on that one? I think because it just helps you, um, it just slightly folds in a little bit up on here, so you make sure that it is all tucked in. I thought the same, I yes. thought it would be exactly the same, so I am going to throw pins at you the whole time. There we go. And when you are sewing on a table, make sure you're not doing what I'm doing, having it all hang off because yes. it will all stretch. Yes, exactly. So if I had a table space here, I'd just position it all up. Oh, you have the system to hold that. it. Thank you. Get a John Scott and then can yes. hold everything for you. There we go. So if I can grab the eye in again, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Morning, Helen John. Could you use Tarna Lawn for the lining? Ooh, that'd be Ooh. lovely. Yes, you could, you could. Yeah. But if you're going to use any lawn, Tarna Lawn would be perfect because it's very fine and silky. Just be careful you don't use a heavier lawn because it will get too heavy. But a Tarna Lawn would be absolutely beautiful. In fact, what would look lovely if you made it out of something like a fabric, like a denim, oh, and yes. put a tarn alone inside there? Do you know, I think I may just do a denim one. Oh, really? I love denim. <clears throat> Denim's my thing. When I was in university, I did a whole collection with denim. Oh, wow. And uh, now doing bridal, I don't get to do much, but oh, I do but have a, a few dresses. Denim wedding dress would be amazing. I know. Watch this space. I oh. love denim. <laughs> yeah, you never know. <laughs> so iron the seam open, and then it gets you to press the seam then towards the pocket. So press it open first and then yeah. press it to one side. Unless if you're doing it nice and flat, you could, which I'm probably making it look a bit harder there, you can just press it flat and make sure everything's going the one way. Yes, like you do when you're doing yeah. a, a, a quilting block almost. Yeah. yeah, but if you're used to ironing everything open, I think it's habit for me. I just always press it open to get the good yes, finish. Yes, 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 yeah. So you've got a lot of fabric for a sec, but You'll see how easy this is to put together now. Okay. So I can pop that to In a side. second, I just want to get the pocket done, then I'll go and recap. Yeah, because right. then I can sew the other seams yeah. up then. So you have this with those bits sticking out right. there, and you've got your sleeve here. So if I move that and yeah. move it over, thanks, John. So you have this is what I want to look at, one side at a time. So you do this on your outside jacket yes. and you do it on your kind of your back piece, sorry. So your front and your back. So this is the back of the jacket, which you put the real piece of wool on. Yeah. And on the front piece, you put the lining piece. Exactly. Yeah. And then you... I mean, you could, if you've got enough fabric, you could do both of them out of the wool if you wanted to. I think to, do it in you? fabric yeah. If, yeah. You, if you really want yeah. to. But you just then place right sides together. And because you've pressed the pocket out here yeah. and you've pressed this pocket out here, then all you're doing is matching up your corner, your pocket. Now, do they, do, do, do they suggest you top stitch this bit or it not? It doesn't, know. But oh, that, okay. that's what yeah. I personally would probably do yes. in the future. Um, but it's the thing where I think if you're an advanced dressmaker, then you can add those little bits yeah. in. But if you're new to it, there's 
just follow but the no, pattern. It obviously works without it. Yeah. It so then, literally, so from the hem yep. up to where the pocket joins, round the outside of the pocket, uh, round the pocket thing, up, round, round, round. And stop. Round. Okay, I'm going to let you do that, yep. and, and I'm going to recap. It's 1.5. Yes. So what you said oh, about yes, the six mil yeah. is you do come up here, and you end up being a little bit further in, and then you just you can mark on with chalk yes. where you're going to turn around and make sure you come back over to where your 1.5 yes, is. Of course, yeah. So I think that just helps it all tuck it in. Okay, perfect. Brill. Okay. But here's the coat. Right, the pattern comes in two different sizes. This, this is the 14 to 22. Now, the one that Helen's made is actually eight inches shorter than that red one there. So hers is actually taken eight inches off the hem of that one. But you, that means so you can do that one, that one, that one, or that one, princess length, or just past the knee length there. 13.99, that's 14 to 22. Also comes in six to 14. Uh, now, the back of the back is the second picture down, but someone said it was a bit blurry, a little bit confusing. If they've got any questions, just let me know. Just message in and Hannah will answer you. Well, I'll answer you via Hannah. 6 to 14. No, I didn't mean it that way. Oh, Hannah's very sensitive this morning, isn't she? Right. Uh, one we've already made, or Helen's already made, is this one. Beautiful, isn't it? Aren't the colours beautiful in there? Uh, blush pink and red check Highland tweed fabric, 11.99 for half a metre. 145 centimetres wide. And that makes this. Oh, there's a little close-up of the big uh, Revere collar there. Then the one that Helen is demonstrating is the Prince of Wales check one which is this one, which is really rather beautiful, merino wool. Very, very soft. 15.99 for half a metre. Remember, this is 100% wool. Uh, woven in West Yorkshire. Wool from Spain, specially bred sheep in Spain. They're stunning, aren't they? That's stunning. Right, and then I've got these others. I've got the very... Am I going to all of these, Hannah? This one. This is gorgeous. That's, a, that's the one side of it. That might look a bit blurry on your telly. There's definitely two different sides to this fabric. That's the more of the finished... Fi uh, kind of smooth side there, but there's also a furry side to this one. I'm presuming this is meant to be your, your bright side, but you could use either of those. Oh, no, actually, I tell a, I tell a fib. That's the, they say the furry one's the outside. 12.49 for half a metre. And then this one, which is proving very, very popular. Look, aren't they lovely? Again, two different finishes on that one. 11.99 for half a metre. Uh, that one's 86% uh, wool, 14% polyester. Uh, now, the two linings that we've, we've run through that Helen's using, the pale blue and the maroon, are underneath me there. And at the break, all the other colours will be, will be put uh, up on the web. OK, need to get back. Right, OK. I'm only rushing, because I want you to see as much um, of the sewing from Helen as possible. Uh, uh, say this again. I've got Susan's message still there, sorry. All right, okay. So just to show you now. Let me just figure out what I've said. So you now have the actual jacket like this with your pocket now sewn together. Yeah. So you've done, probably best to show you that seam. You can see in black, maybe it's quite useful to show. So I I'd probably sew with the blue on this one, but I've gone for black just to show you how yes, course, yeah. it comes up and around. You can snip into your, into your curve yeah. just to allow that to just not pull under your arm. Yeah, also you don't need to worry about finishing those off because it's going to be inside the yeah. lining, isn't no it? no overlocking. Yeah. So when you pull, oh, I need to do the shoulder as well. I'll quickly do that, but at least you can see that's what 
we've done underneath. And that allows you then from this side to put your hand in that pocket. Brilliant. And your pocket gets pressed to the front yes. so that you can do that. Oh, so yes, yes, yes. You want to go into the back, yeah. Just going to throw the shoulder and then we can do the, the collar. Right, brilliant. So when you've done both sides like that, you do the same with the sleeve when you match the ends up, each end there. If you've matched it really well, depending on your check, it should, I think it did match on the shoulders of the one I did as well. Yes. So then you're back to your centimetre and a half seam allowance all the way along. Mm -hmm. So we'll do that. Uh, did you know, did you say there was another question from Glennis? Mm -hmm. oh, uh, absolutely you. brilliant demo, Helen. Oh, thank you. She's never made Not a finished. coat before. <laughs> but I'm going to give it a go from Glynis. Oh, oh Glynis, have a go on, girl, give it a go. It really is not that, that bad. No, no. Um, do you know what you could do? Just make it, if you, if you don't want to start using, because I know the wool will be a considered purchase, because you will need quite a bit of it. Make it out of calico. Yeah. Make it out of something, make it out of denim, make it out of anything else first. But to make it into a casual coat, to see if you like it, to make sure the length's the right length. And then, then the thing is, if you made it out of calico, you wouldn't necessarily need to have to line it. You could overlock it in different colours yeah. on the inside or something like that. Um, and it just makes a very casual throw on. Yeah, definitely. Lightweight jacket sort of thing. I think it's, it's fun to just go for a really bright colour inside as yeah. well. But no, I'd always make a, a sample just to make sure that yes, you're Because if you've, if you've just bent out on the wall, you oh, don't want you to don't, make a yeah. mess of it. Am I, do, am I right oh, if that's you? okay. I'm yeah. just going to sew the shoulder just so I can get the collar yeah. in. So not necessarily the whole of the other side. Yeah. But you would, everything I've done, you would do equally on the other side. Yes. But just so I can get these seams in place. I'll just stitch this to here. Yeah, I think I always twirl everything I do and sometimes, yes. you know, two or three times just to make yeah. sure the fit's right. And then at least you know, you know what fabric you need, how much mm -hmm. you need. Oh yeah, with any of the wedding dresses I used to make, I used to oh always, gosh, the first yeah. fitting would always be a calico. Yeah. And you'd, you'd literally take a felt pen and you'd draw and yeah. you'd do all that sort of stuff to show them. And you have to explain to the bride that, you know, look, it's going to look like a pair of curtains. Yes. But then I'd also give them the calico skirt to practice in because how many times did girls or ladies want a long dress as a, wed as a wedding dress? Yeah. And they've never walked with a skirt with either a chain on it or pleats in it or yeah, something like that. Exactly. So I used to give them the calico skirt and they'd laugh and go, oh, I can't practice in this. But you always practice in your shoes before the day and yeah. always practice in the skirt before the day. Exactly, you're right. I'm just pinning this just so it's not getting in the way. Yeah. So you would have sewn up all, yeah, and around all the way there. Around the same as so that, what right. you then have is your jacket where you've got your sides sewn up, you've yeah. got your pocket in there. Give that a nice press then, so it's sitting nice and flat. Mm -hmm. You've got your arm, and then what you're left with is this front bit, which flaps back on itself. Yes. And this would okay. all be covered and right the way down to the be, bottom. And it would interfacing on interfacing, there. Yeah. So what we're looking at now is this top section up here. Yes. So slide that down for a sec, and pull this onto the section, which is your collar. So you need to sew your centre back together first, which I've done. Right. Grab those out. How many minutes today? We had 10, 10. 10 minutes. Oh, can we keep going? Yes. This should be enough, hopefully, to just get this yeah. in. Oh, I didn't sew the back. You've done what? I didn't sew the back. So I'll just quickly do that. You sew the centre back of your collar pieces. Now, these are interfaced as well. So the, the bit you're sewing here, is, is, this, is this it here? Right on the centre, that seam just up there. Up the back of the collar. Oh, Hannah likes the collar up. Oh, she didn't try that before. Look, there's there's the seam. There's the seam up there. Oh, she's even matched those seams. Look, she's even matched oh, yeah. the, the chevron seams Everything. on the underside Everything. of the collar. So you have that. We press it open now. Yeah. If you have a look at your pattern in here, it does tell you to snip right into your corners. So what I'm going to do is draw on it so you can see. And so you're drawing in about your centimetre and a half. So I'm guessing here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So do that. Same on this side. And this is the one that will come off anyway. Yeah. But do that. You would also stitch along that line to reinforce it. But for now, we're just going to snip right up to that point 
on each side, which is a little bit daunting. daunting. But the, the, but the uh, interfacing is going to hold it into place, yeah. isn't it? So exactly. Uh, Jennifer says, I've got denim blue jacquard weave fabric to make Let's a jacket with a Liberty lawn from Southern Quarter and satin lining sleeves. Oh, that sounds lovely, Jenny. Oh, nice. Now, just to run through one here, yes. you've got stitch your under collar section at the centre, then you pin your under collar to the neck edge of the coat. So right. clipping where necessary. And oh, then only your under collar. So you haven't made the collar collar yet. No. You're only putting the under collar. And on. there are circles on here, which is where you need to stop sewing. Right. So what I would do is just put a little pin to make sure you know where that part is. Yeah. Now, even if I just get to show you this yeah, yeah, little yeah. bit. Right. And you then place open it out, place your centre, oh, still attached, your centre, I kind of show you from here when you've got it all out, is going along this part, okay? I'll bring that, I'll bring that in So there. you can kind of see how it's all working. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to flip this round, get your centre C marked first, And then where you've got your corner, this is the, the tricky bit. So you are going to place this. So you're putting these open bits. Yeah. Open them like that. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, got it. Okay. On, yeah. So then you pin up here. Is there a mark to tell you where you're going to on that? Or it's just the end of the... It's, it's just, just the end, the the end. Right, yeah. Okay. So you're just getting that in place. Yeah. So you can shimmy it along a little bit. And then, because you've opened that out, yes. it then shows you that you then match up the rest. that side. So it looks a little bit strange at first. Yes. And then what you do is only sew down to where that circle was. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Now I'll just do half the collar. Okay. So then, if you want to, you can stitch from this side. You can spend a bit more time to get that super you don't want flat. To, to pucker or anything like no. that. No. Catch a little pleat or anything. No, hopefully not. So I'll stitch that quick. So don't okay. judge my stitching because I'd probably spend a lot more time on this. Yes. But I'm just going to quickly go around this half. And you go right up to where that point is. Yeah. So I'm going to try and open out. So I don't, hopefully you can see yeah. some of that where it's opened out. If you need to go off your seam allowance slightly and you go a little bit further in, then that's okay. As long as you do, you know. Well, yes, because it's not a fitted back. fitted. It's not Oops. like it's going to not going to suddenly make the coat not fit. No, you do that. I just did the wrong button. So I just finished and clipped it. If you want to go back and forth a little bit, you can just to reinforce yeah. it. Pick your needle up right on that point, pivot round, and then try and flatten out leave whatever. The leave the needle in. Yeah, put, put, leave the needle in. Foot up, yeah. Try and make sure it's all flat underneath so you won't sew yeah. a little fold. But give it a go, and if, if it's not quite right, then you can just go back over. Yes, of and get to where that pin yeah, was. Yeah, don't go any further on in the circle. No, really yeah. important you don't with that. And then hopefully, now I have got a small little catch in there because I didn't pin it as well. So yes. I would have just pulled it out. Mm -hmm. But that's what you're looking to achieve. But you can all do neater than I've done there anyway. So just, so where are we in proportion? Right, so this is... So if I get that diagram to show you. Yeah. So you have... This is your... That's it. There we are. This is your jacket here. And what you've sewn... It's that front bit, but only to there. Yes. Okay. So it's cut, you've come round from, I'll just point there. So this is your centre back here. Yeah. Where the seam was that we just did. You've gone round there to the shoulder. Yeah. And then you've come to the front. That's where you've done that V. Yeah. And you've just gone a tiny bit round to where your circle is there. So this is still your back collar here. Exactly right. And then what you get then on your, you pin your upper collar to your neck edge of your facing right, line. Lining. So then you do exactly the same on this part. So you find your center point. And if I can just get this little bit done. Yeah, you're right. I don't, I don't want you to panic. You just keep, keep going. Uh, Jennifer says, you're great at explaining, Helen, and showing me, makes well, it, me think I could make it. Well, that's you all point. can, <laughs> I promise. If I can show you this little bit, it won't be quite as scary. Yeah, don't make promises now. <gasps> 
But if anyone's ever stuck, I'm more than happy for people to email as well. You know, yeah. very, uh, well, you're very open. good at answering questions on the Facebook page. Yeah. Right? People get hold of you on the Facebook page. Well, that's the whole point. No, I want to teach and want people to learn. Yes. So this is why I vary everything. Hannah says, can you do life issues as well? Oh, God, no. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know if you want me on that bit. I'm just figuring out mine now as well. It's grand old age. Oh, it's grand old age. Thanks. I'm 37, yeah, I'm getting on now. You're how old? 37. You are not. I am. Nivea, I think. I know, I am. I don't know. I think it must oh, be... Oh, I'm genuinely it shocked. It must be Welsh water or something. Yeah, because everyone always oh says I don't look my goodness, age. Oh, my goodness, that's really shocked. 30s? I'm only 39. <laughs> Oh, thanks, John. Thanks. No, really, I thought I thought you were like a like a newbie, like a twenty-something oh, newbie. I wish. No, no, I don't know. I think it's Welsh water and Nivea. I think, but no, thirty-seven, and I've only just found the man. See, it took me a long time. Well, no, as long as you found the right I one, know. it's all right. Find the right one. Yeah. Now, I'm just so Danny wedding dress. Get going. I know. Shh, yeah. Don't say oh. anything. <laughs> As if I've got work to do there. Now, <laughs> if we've got Come on, so, 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 so. centre back, yes. you're doing exactly the same the line in. Yes. I'm just going to sew this little bit okay. to the corner. So hopefully you can see the really, just the fiddly bit I think end. when we do a coat next or something like that, because I think it's fascinating. I think we need to do an hour and a half show. Oh, really, can I? Can I do to, the whole thing? Yeah. Not a whole day. You can't do five. Can well, I? We can do a no. sew along. We can do a five hour yeah. sew along. Thank you. So hopefully this is enough to show you what you're looking to achieve. So you should have that same thing yeah. on the lining. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, we're OK. It. Just this end bit. Yes, Hannah, do you not read? So this is the bit that you then just put it all together. So we're all working on one side. We're going to place everything right side like this. Yeah. Where's it all gone? So this is the only bit you think, where is everything? Yes. But you will find also, it. Also, at home, will... you'll be taking your time. You won't have me gibbering in you. You won't no. have like, time constraint and all that sort of thing. So you place everything the right sides together. But you can't sew it all in one okay. because you get your corner like that. Yeah. And you can also match that corner. And you have to do it in two parts. Yeah. So you'd pin all the way around the rest. Right. But what you would get is you'd match up where you've stitched to that circle, yeah. which I think I haven't quite got exact spot, but you would just sew, you pull all your seams open and you can see your row of stitching. Yes, 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 yes. So I'm hoping you can see that on camera. Hang on, we'll just show it there. Oops. Okay. There you go. So that's where you've stitched to. So you've just done both sides where you've stitched to. Yeah, and it shows you. It does show you clearly on the pattern where you're doing it. So you're only show, sewing down to where your stitching is there. Okay. Have you got time to sew this super yeah, quick? Yeah, do it, do it, do it. Amazing. Um, upstairs, they're all like, they've all got a bit stunned. And I was like, oh, look, they're worried about the time. They go, I still can't believe she's that age. Ah, I know. I don't, I, I don't know how I've aged well because uh, I've worked got hard. Good jeans. I've worked hard for my mum. Oh. When you've done that, Yes. You then do the same on this on side. On the other side. So yeah. you then pull everything out of the way, and you also then get that nice and flat, and you also stitch from that from row that stitching. From that point to the So end that's again. the key bit. So you on get here, that bit done. Which, bit, which bit are you stitching on, on here? Which you are bit sewing bit? that bit. Yeah. So you're only able to sew from there to, to there, there. Which is the circle bit, And you isn't stop it? at the seam, yeah. and then you sew from there to okay. there. Right, okay. And then, oh, thank you proper speed sewing isn't it if you need to lift your foot a bit extra you can then as well to get it all under if it's thick yeah, yeah this... the thicker the wool the thicker the fabric you're going to have to use yeah and hopefully i know i didn't go quite right up there but that's what you're doing two rows of stitching either side yeah and when you pull it all through that's is that so that is then your notch. So that, that is your notch. So that's part those there. two edges of that notch. Yeah, and the rest of that would I'll be I'll just show that on the other There you go. There you go. So that's your notch there, and there your two seems to create the V in your revere and where your collar joins. Exactly. So where yeah. your circle is on that point. So that then, the rest of it then is stitching all the way down the front. You would have finished the rest of the collar there anyway. Yes. And so so the, to do the rest of this. So so yeah. that's all on now. Yeah. And if you were to put that kind of on top, oh, yeah, you would on. see that 
that is where that, those yes, that, open that, that out folds like over that. to there. So then you stitch all the way around yeah, the outside of that, and then you stitch all the yeah. way down there to create your facing. Exactly. On your Just very quickly, what did you do at the hem? So then, the because hem, because you, you stitched all that, turned it all through. Yeah, you don't then, stitch the hem. You stitch everything around the outside. You yeah. top stitch around the front as well. Oh, okay. The hem, they get you to hand stitch. That's my only bugbear is you have to okay. actually hand and did, stitch. And it's the same, but, uh, same there and yeah, there. Yeah, fold up your centimetre and a half seam allowance and you fold up three, I think, of your your wool yes. because you've got a little bit more and then just hand stitch it in place. Brilliant. Those of you that are more advanced could bag it out if you yes, don't know no, 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 what no, I mean no, no, no. ignore I, it I have to Doesn't say matter. I have to say sometimes even the most advanced people can bag it out and suddenly yeah. their lining is that little bit yeah. too short my last tip yeah, actually go, the go. line in yeah. before you do just trust and press up your seam allowances your fabrics can move and drop yeah. so what I would do is put it on a stand and pin it all the way around the bottom yes because I had to sometimes fold the line in a little bit would more you, a little bit less would you leave it hanging overnight possibly or, yeah yeah, yeah leave it time. and just pin us to the bottom all the way along there Catch it underneath your arms as well, and then you are okay to fold it all in place, pin it, tack it. Have Sorry it. to rush you, but you did an absolutely <sighs> brilliant job. Well, I hope so. No, no. Any questions, uh, let me know. Uh, uh, Helen's back in an hour's time to do the fur hat and throw and everything like that. So if you have still got any questions, do get them in, and we'll, um, we'll pass them on to Helen. We can answer them in the next yeah, hour. Absolutely. Old Helen, that is. <laughs> uh, brilliant. You were absolutely fantastic. Thank you. Right. The pattern. Size 14 to 22 is this one. And the size 6 to 14. The third, th this is the 14 to 22. This one here is the 6 to 14. Same pattern, same pattern, same pattern. Um, now, the one we've made is uh, 8 inches shorter. Helen, just shorten that by 8 inches. 13 .99. 13 .99. Right, very quickly, I haven't got time to go through all the fabrics. On the sample is this fabric. So it's lovely, isn't it, this? Now, it's a lovely, soft uh, tweed. There you go. I was right. 80 wool, 20 polyester. 11, 11.99. 11.99. Uh, so that will create that. And also that. 11.99. Why apologise, this little Paul? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, little Paul goes really wrong. <sighs> really wrong. Right, okay, that's that one. And then the one that Helen made was this Prince of Wales check one here. All the other fabrics are listed underneath there. If you look on the web, they're all listed there. Just running out of time to, uh, to show them all of them, that's all. Prince of Wales, beautiful in the black and white with a gorgeous pale blue chalk stripe running through it, the window pane check through and through it. 15 99 Merino wool, 100% merino wool, uh, wool from Spain, woven in West Yorkshire, 15 99 for half a metre, Savile Row quality, but not a Savile Row price. Um, and then the brown, oh, but no, the white and the black and white one here first, yeah. They've been proving to me the most popular, these. I think so, because if you're going to wear a coat like that, you want it to <laughs> give it that wow factor as you walk in through the door, doesn't it? or walk out the door. Just turn around now, because you're not welcome anymore. Chris? At 12.49 for half a metre. No, Chris? No, because Tim, Timothy's leaving today. It's his last day. He can walk through the door. Yeah, go on, Timothy. He can just walk out. No, it was, but he's got that day off now. So it's his last day today. And then last but not least is this one. I love this one. I'd love to see this one made up, actually. I'll get um, Laura to make one up for the end of the show, and then we can show you what it looks like. Can you imagine Laura making this? Imagine Laura at a sewing machine. 11 99 86% wool, 14% uh, polyester. Beautiful. And do you want to do this one as well? Do this one very quickly. I love this one. Graphics coming in. Auburn Rust and Tan Check Highland Tweed Fabric. Eleven ninety nine. You missed that. Sorry. They're making me do things off camera, and then they cut me up. <laughs> anyway, look, we've got to go. Eleven ninety nine. Half a meter. Beautiful. 
The linings are all, will all be, the two that we've done are already there and the rest will be, once Hannah's had a comfort break, she'll put them all in so you can see them. Oh, oh yeah? Okay, so she'll put them in during this break. Uh, what am I doing next? Oh. In fact, is it one o'clock? Should we go? No. Oh, we've got the Riley Blake quilt, which we forgot to do in the first hour. And we planned it. We'll see you in three from now. Have you been watching Sewing Quarter, but still thinking about placing that first order? Then the new year is the perfect time to start shopping with our brand new offer for brand new customers worth $29.98. Not only will we send you two metres of fabric worth $14.99, but also the official Sewing Quarter Sewing Kit, also worth $14.99. The kit contains everything you need for sewing on the go and those last minute fixes. Simply make that first exciting purchase with no minimum spend and we'll add these gifts to your order automatically while stocks last. Tune in on Thursday the 31st of January for our first ever Super Savings on Sewing Machines event. Regular guest and sewing machine expert Jane Brogan joins me, John Scott, for demonstrations, professional advice and super savings on a wide selection of our favourite Elner and Janome models. We're thrilled to offer fantastic discounts at price points to suit every pocket. Whether you're buying your first sewing machine, upgrading your current model, or want extra functions for dressmaking, embroidery, or quilting, you'll save hundreds of pounds during our event. The chance to compare different models and see them in action during our Super Savings event not only means you can take advantage of these massive discounts, but also buy with confidence. So don't miss our first ever Super Savings on Sewing Machines event, Thursday the 31st of January, only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 73 and Sky Channel 687. Tune in on Sunday the 3rd of February for the return of the handy quilter Simply 16 long arm quilting machine for your home. The 16 inch long arm incorporates innovative hoop technology, resulting in a compact freestanding frame that still accommodates quilts of any size. Ergonomic handlebars, colour touchscreen controls and 1,800 super smooth stitches per minute are just a few of its professional features. In the studio to demonstrate those benefits and more will be Liz Hoplin, handy quilter expert and the UK's official distributor. Just as Joy Edgington did last time, Liz will be putting the Simple 16 through its paces live on air, allowing you to see exactly how simple it will be to fit in your home and your life. Our exclusive sewing quarter package includes a selection of tools including the handy quilter long arm rulers and ruler accessories. So prepare to spend two hours with Handy Quilter Simply 16 Long Arm starting at 10am Sunday the 3rd of February only on Sewing Quarter. Freeview Channel 73 and Sky Channel 687. Someone sitting in my desk. There's somebody at my desk. Ooh. I know, it's like gold dogs. Yeah, somebody sitting in my desk. There's lots of management in today. So no, in my luck, I'll have just defended the biggest, highest manager in the whole building. But that's by the by. Now, uh, competition. All you have to do is check out. Every time you check out, you'll have an entry. The what? Oh, yeah, normal colour on the full screen. Look, Vix looks a bit weird on that one, doesn't she? It's a funny old top she's wearing. I wonder if she made it herself. Anyway, all you have to do is buy, you check out. So, so, you know, normally I say, all you have to do is buy something and it's everything you buy. It's not everything you buy at the moment. It's every time you check out from whenever the competition started a couple of days ago <clears throat> until mo midnight, midnight, midnight on the 31st, which is midnight tomorrow night, isn't it? Midnight tomorrow night. Midnight tomorrow night, one minute into the next day, you won't be included in the draw. But that means if you're buying lots and lots of things today, don't wait. Don't wait to check out. Just check, because there's only one PMP, no matter how many times you check out. If you put something in your basket, check out. So put, if you put the 505 spray in, check, check out, check out, check out, check out, check out. Now, there is an added bonus, because I'll be there, and I'm going to get some cutouts, right? Then Vix will be there, Hannah will be there, and Neil will be there. Neil Shorter, Neil Shorter, see? Neil, Hannah, Vicky, me, you see? Uh, no, it all drew importance. It goes Hannah... Anyway, 
so they'll be coming as well. All you have to do is, uh, uh, you have to be available to come to the studio on the 7th of February, it's a week away. Um, uh, you'll be come to the studio at half past 10, shown around the studio, have coffee with Neil and everything like that. Not sure who's looking after you, I'll find out in the next break who's looking after you. I think it'll be Jess. You don't want Corey. If they give you Corey, just go home, right? Don't, don't stay around. Then at half past one, or just say, we'll meet you at the restaurant. Half past one, then you go for lunch with me, Hannah, Vix, and Neil. Right. This quilt is the latest Riley Blake quilt that we've got, right? Sold out, sold out. Last time I had it, there was one left, right? I've, which went. I've managed to get you three more. That's it for now. Three more is all I got for you. Um, so if you do want to, you've been looking at it thinking, oh, I wish I got that. I've only got three. And that three will be, uh, uh, will be. Now, the actual quilt that you'll be making is bigger than this one. This was just the one, and your borders will be different. Your borders are different on yours. This is just the one that went round all the exhibitions and the quilt shows and everything. Um, could you believe, though, that that's the same block? You only make one block. Well, no, not one block. You make it lots of times. But these are all exactly the same block, except that they've just... It's the colour placement. It's the colour... I'll get out of the way. It's the colour placement that makes them look different. Have a look at them, right? Look, you see? It's all exactly the same block, placed on point. And uh, just about the colour... It's just about the colour placement. So what you get is, first of all, you get it 159.99. That's enough to make the front and the bindings and everything, everything. But the one you're going to get for is bigger than that. And it's got more, but more borders on it. I'll show you, right? So this is the box that comes in. Really, really beautiful. Tiffany Blue, Riley Blake Designs book. Bo box, see, sorry. Magnetised at the front here. So it turns into a most fantastic um, storage box after you've made the quilt, right? Now, uh, I don't know if she's done it yet, but Cindy, who owns Riley Blake, she's going to do a video of all of her quilts eventually. So, you, so it goes from the... So she literally does this. She gets the box, she opens it and takes you through everything and then makes it and everything. So here we go. This is the box. Now, the first thing you'll do is you'll get a picture. This is what your finished quilt will look like. So that's how much bigger it's going to be than the one behind me. And also, look, the borders are different there's a, a two there's two borders and a binding on this one so you get all the fabrics you need for the front of that quilt so you get that first of all explaining it's about the Freulein quilt uh, based on the uh, Gretel fabric by Amy Smart right because they work in conjunction with our designers then the next thing you're going to get out of the box is your instructions manual now this is so brilliant let me just get it out for you. Right, so it's a lovely little booklet, which once you've made this quilt, you can then keep because there's an added uh, bonus in here. I'll, sh I'll show you around just anyway. So first of all, you open it up and you've got all your instructions on how to make, because as I say, it literally is just one block. This is the block that you'll be making. Just the one block, right? But here's how to make that block. It's very, very simple. But then what you do is, once you've made all the blocks, you then, I'll, I'll, sh I'll show you here, look, I've got one here, half partly made. So when you make it, you sew strips together, but what you do is you make your sashing, but the first, you see, so here you go, the first line you make will just be a triangle of your cream there, then you put one block here and put a triangle either side, then the next row down is three blocks, and then once you've sewn them all together, you turn it on its side, so they all become on point. It's really, really fascinating. We made it with Charlotte Newland. I'll tell you the data in a second so you can see the show. Um, so you've got all the, everything you need to know about your uh, putting those together, your binding, uh, putting your, um, uh, what's it called, the um, borders and everything like that on. Creates a love, and there's a cl close up of the finished thing. Now, what I love is you see here on the back here, there's four different sizes. Which one you've got? is this one here, the throw, which yours will be 68 inches by 82 inches. That's what this bundle will make, right? But then look, you see, you could also make it in a crib size, a queen size, king size. Now, obviously, you can't make it from this bundle for those different sizes. But I'm thinking in the future, if you love it so much, because they then give you a breakdown of all the fabrics that you need to make those bigger sizes. So you can't make the bigger sizes from this, but in the future, you may make this one 
you may make this one and then go, oh, do you know what? I'd love to do it in blues or I'd like to do it in greens or something like that. And it tells you exactly what you need, right? Alex is saying, oh, here, I've got it. Good morning, John. The second board you're looking at is the page board. No, 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 no. Yes, yes. Look, Alex, come in close, come in close. No, look, 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 Alex, look. On the picture here, there's the yellow border, the blue border, and then the red binding. I know this is part of the, the border thing, but whereas the one on the wall only has one pink one and then the red one, you see. So don't worry. I know I've done this before, Alex. I know what I'm doing. Oh, OK, now Hannah's agreeing with you that I was wrong. So there you go. Right. So in the packet, in the packet, what you get here is this is called cloud. That's it's gorgeous. It's a lovely buttery cream um, colour. Now you get three yards of that. that. That is all for your background there. That's all for your background. So you get three yards of that. Now, what's really, really, really important is the next pieces of fabric, the next piece of fabric I'm going to show you, do not cut into them to make your blocks. Even though these fabrics are in the blocks, these pieces that come in the box, do not cut into those for your blocks, right? So what you've got here is you've got this lovely fabric here. That's a, that's a, um, a quarter of a yard. They're for your little cornerstones. Now, when it says cornerstones, it doesn't mean on the corner of the... Um, of the of the because normally cornerstones are he here and here aren't they it means these these are all your cornerstones these little squares in here that go in your sashing that's what that fabric is for then you've got your blue border which is that fabric and that's half a yard then you've got your second border which is one yard and then you've got your binding which is one yard right so what you mustn't do is you mustn't cut into any of those to make your blocks with, because those pieces are bigger pieces to make your borders with. Then you get this. Now, this is what we call a layer cake, but they've called it a stacker. And this is the one that you use to cut all of your pieces for all of the blocks in the middle there. And this is beautiful. I mean, it's all, it's all done to match in perfectly. Look at these. They're beautiful. So these are all the fabrics that you will be making all of the blocks out of. All from the Gretel range by Amy Smart. Oh, I missed the red one out there. Aren't they beautiful? Now, I've only got three of these available. There's only three of these left. Oh, oh, two left. There's only two left now. There's only two left now. Aren't they beautiful? Look, I love that one. So all of these create all of your blocks. But as you'll see in a minute, when I get to it, look, you see, now that fabric is the same as your first border fabric, which is why it's important not to cut into this piece because you won't be able to get your binder or your border out of it if you cut into that. So you cut all your blocks out of here. So you could almost put all of this fabric that comes in the box, put that to one side until you've done all your blocks. Because look, oh, I love that. You've also got, I'm coming to it, I'm coming to it. Uh, oh, I've missed it, missed it, missed it, missed it. There's your second border. There's your second border, you see. And then your binding is here. You see, so that's all to make your blocks with. All of those fabrics to make your different blocks with. And it's all about placement of the colours which make the blocks look different. Now, Cindy is coming in. She will be in short. I don't know when she's coming in. Um, I think it's, it might be Festival of Quilts time, actually. But she's definitely, definitely, definitely going to come in and visit soon because she loved being here so much last year. Um, if you want to see Charlotte Newland making this block, 30th of December. 30th of de Blimey, that sold out quickly then, didn't it? There's one left now. There's, there's now one left. Here, this is the one, this, not this one, but this is the one you'll be able to make from your bundle. You'll be able to make from your bundle. As you can see, there's enough fabric in there for the blocks, uh, the borders, the two borders, and the binding, everything in there. So all you have to supply is the backing and the wadding. Uh, for the backing, you need, oh, that, uh, you'll have to, it depends on what fabric you buy. So if you, if you buy one of our wide ones, then you just need to buy the drop, don't you? But anyway, 159.99, it's beautiful, beautiful. Oh, okay, there's, there's more than one. Okay, there's lots of people on the phone line, but there's only one left. 
There's only one left now. I'll keep posting. Uh, good luck with that. Oh, a couple of snow day pictures. Oh, Linda. Linda hasn't said where she is. Oh, what is, is that in Scotland? Oh, OK, right. Uh, Hannah's not sure if it's come up as Linda. She's not, she doesn't know if the second word is where you're from or in your email address where you're from or if your actual surname, but it's beautiful. Where are you, Linda? Where are you, Linda? Uh, Hannah thinks you're in Scotland. Hannah thinks you're in Scotland somewhere. I'd say Wiltshire. I'd say Wiltshire. But anyway, yeah. No, because there's one, there's one of those in Wiltshire as well. That's all. Oh, this is from who? Jan. <laughs> ja. Oh, excuse me. Preston, Preston in Lancashire. Um, do, that, do you remember, did you ever meet Caro? My, my German friend Caro, she went to university in Preston. Um, shh, that's it, that's from her bedroom window. Now don't, you, you've done very well there. Did you open the window? Because I took a picture yesterday of, not yesterday, the day before, of my garden through my bedroom window. And luckily I was dressed, but it had a reflection of me in the window. So, you know, it ruined it, deleted it, so I opened the window and did it again. Because it was a beautiful, two days ago, it was, be it was of the fields out the back on all the sunshine. It was, two days ago, it was the most beautiful sunny day. And it was boiling hot in the house. I didn't really leave the house to go to the shops later. And when I stepped out in just my shirt sleeves later on, thinking this was a bit stupid. Yeah, no, nothing else, just shirt sleeves. <laughs> right, come on, let's move on. Bijou. Yellow sunshine. Hannah's saying. Yeah, this is how, how Hannah's... It's not called sunshine. Now, Bijou, Bijou is one of our core ranges of fabric. It's 100% cotton. It's machine washable. It's quilting weight. And it's fantastic as a blender. So what they've done is they've done five different bundles. Uh, black and white, uh, corals, blues, greens, yellows, and a rainbow one. £29.49. pence. I've got here, I'll see if I can remember them. Arrow, carrot, bloom daffodil, <laughs> yellow ochre bouquet, mustard uh, clover, uh, sol, uh, sol mellow yellow, and fresh apricot in a square dot. Did I get those right? I'm on point today. I, I don't know how to do, I don't understand Sudoku. Yeah, my dad, my dad used to do it all the time, and I've got, I don't even know where you start with it. What's the name does it, doesn't she? Carol Vorderman does it a lot. Uh, 29.49. Hannah taught herself to do it. Are you sure you did it right, not just filling any old letter in? Yeah. Oh, it's, num oh, it's numbers. It's not even letters. I thought, oh, well, that's why I could be going wrong. <laughs> I thought it was words. Oh. That's why mine doesn't work then. I thought it was like apple across and apple down, and then you filled in other words going like that. Like in those celebrity, and then in the middle is a celebrity. You have to guess who the celebrity is. That's not it. Oh, okay. I got that wrong then. 29, 14. I'll buy, I'll buy you one. Yeah. Oh, it's numbers. Okay. Yeah, let's go blue C. It might not be called blue C. These are gorgeous, these colours, aren't they? Needs a bit of white in there, doesn't it? Mind you, are the waves frozen outside your house today? Not yet. So you've got arrow dusky blue, dusky sky, clover deep teal, petal carolina, pyramid prussian, sol wintergreen, and square dot... Oh, what's the square dot one called now? Uh, it'll come to me in a minute. Celeste! £29. We're going to have to save all that up though, aren't we? 29.49. No, I didn't, in the hotel room last night, I didn't do lots of prep because nobody could print the sheets up for me. So I didn't do it. I just knew we had Helen coming in. That's all I knew. Yeah, I had a jacket potato thinking, oh, I'll stay on my Slimming World, but it was, no. Well, it's Slimming World because I was still starving afterwards. It was, jacket potato was only about that big. And they've ordered a side salad that never arrived. So I might wander up to Wagamama's tonight. 
Red, the corally red one, yeah. Oh, nice. There we go. Is that that hotel? But there's about four different light switches in there. When Hannah stayed there last. But I had, mine did never switch there. That was the bathroom light. Anyway. Here we go. And this is Arrow Peachy, uh, Bouquet in Crimson, Clover Cotton Candy, Pennant in Grapefruit, Petal in Sedona, and Pyramid in Sweet Potato. Ooh, they do do sweet potato chips there, though. Are they Slimming World? No, I don't suppose so. Anyway, 29.49. If I go up to Wagamama's tonight, because you're not staying tonight, are you? But then it'll snow the next day. You'll have to stay the next. Oh, no, because you won't be in. But how, you're not in, oh yeah, you're on Friday, aren't you? Sorry, I'm getting confused. Yeah, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday is Hannah's road to this week. And then Paul, Saturday, Saturday and Sunday. 29 pounds and 49 pence. Beautiful. Oh, now, now, I need to tell you, I'm surprised we've, they've been able to build, oh, oh. One job. Uh, whenever we do this black and white one, the monochrome one, some, sometimes they call it neutral, don't they? Oh, that's what? Oh, this is monochrome, right? Uh, every time we do this, it sells out. I can't imagine I've got many of these. Five. I've got five of these. That's it. So in this one, you get that's called purple V. I know that one. Uh, bloom in Grieg. Bouquet in Slate. Concrete in clover, no, clover in concrete, petal putty, and V in midnight. Now, I wonder what the Greek short for then, bloom in Greek, that's this one. Oh, no, that's, that's that one, sorry, it's that one, it's that one, it's that one. I don't know what that is, G-R-E-I-G-E, -E. I don't know what that is. What is that then, G-R-E-I-G-E, -E. Grieg, Grieg, I don't know what it is. G-R-E-I-G-E, -E. 24.49. Half a metre of each, 44 inches wide, machine washable, 100% cotton, quilting weight, fabulous for blenders, and I've only got five of these. Oh, greyish, I see, oh, so it's a combination of grey and beige. Everyone needs a friend in their ear, Kathleen, excuse me. <laughs> That's just kind of just turned up on my screen. Okay, Linda. Right, Linda is in. Oh, we were both wrong then. She was in New Mills in Derbyshire. Oh, and that was the view from your front door. Oh, nice. Very nice. Got another snow day picture now. Oh, my, this is Karen. You know Karen who makes the frocks out of all the different fabrics? That's not your garden. Oh, no. It, well, she couldn't wear heels yesterday. She put it on Facebook. She'd been out with the dog, which is obviously there. Yeah, she wears heels to walk the dog normally. Anyway, so I said, oh, I'm sure you still look glamorous. She was only wearing glitter DMs. So I said, you know, need I say more then? Kathleen in Conway as well. No, you haven't put glitter on the top. The glitter's in the leather. Not glittery on top. They're not rough. I don't think they are anyway. Green. Green, yeah, green. This one's asparagus. Don't know why I remember that one all the time. Uh, Arrow evergreen, pennant asparagus, Pennant eucalyptus, uh, vetiver in petal. I love vetiver. Do you know Guerlain make a perfume called vetiver or men's ode, um, scent? And it's delicious. Pyramid in winter mint and V in fatigue. It's what? No, don't eat it, but it is the most fabulous. In fact, I might get some. I haven't worn it for years and years and years. I might get some. They do two. They do Habi Rouge and they do vetiver and they're both gorgeous, both based on vanilla. Twenty-nine pounds and forty-nine pence. I know Hannah can say vanilla now, everybody. 
instead of Vilina. Mind you, there's bound to be other words. £29.49. pence. I know. Got one more bundle to show you. Oh, and another photo from Alicia. Oh, Alicia. This is a bit dramatic, isn't it? Minus four in Staffordshire. Oh, not far from Jane's shop. Is it an ice day or a snow day? Ice. She's enjoying today's show. Thank you, Alicia, my love. Oh, I, I, oh no, Jo had, uh, Jo, Jane had a horrible journey in because she came in from there this morning and she said it was just awful. I think it's because of the amount of traffic, not because it was too slippy. I just think everyone's panicking, aren't they, to get rid of away from the snow. Going home early for the weekend, maybe. Rainbow, well, it's really funny because when I drove here yesterday, in my village, it was seven degrees, right? And I was like, what on earth are they going on about? Cold weather, cold weather, cold weather. Got to Hannah's village and we went from seven to two. Well, it is like a sort of village, isn't it? There's a village where there's lots of uh, police and ambulances, lots of goings on, lots of um, eccentric people. £29.49. pence. It's not a town, it's a suburb. But I like to call it a village. Bijou, right, well at least they haven't done in Birmingham what they started doing in London, like, you know, Clapham became Clam and Stretton came St. Rethams and things like that, didn't it? £29.49. Mosley might be a village, but they're not selling those flats very quickly, are they? Oh, they be, they'll be panicking. £29.49. Is that where you see yourself living the rest of your life then? Oh no, I've got a, a friend for sale. I've got a friend who's got a house for sale in Hove at the moment. Okay, new one. Twenty nine pounds and forty nine pence. It looks over the sea as well. Oh, in fact, like yours. It's a bit bigger than yours, mind you. Twenty nine pounds and forty nine pence. It's lovely. Brighton and Hove all around there is beautiful, isn't it? I like Shore and by Sea as well. Twenty nine pounds and forty nine pence. Aren't those gorgeous colours? Look at those colours there. It's not rainbow like you think of rainbow, like bright, 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 bright rainbow, is it? But it's a lovely rainbow. Oh, so she only wants to live in Mosley where the houses sell for four, the road where they start at four million. There's a waiting list and you have to pay cash and they have to be at least four. The cheapest one there was four million because you get part of the park or something behind, don't you? You see, yeah, no, but what do you want to live there for? There's other parks. You know, but when they come and live in my village, you get a whole field. Oh, there are arts and crafts houses in there. Only a couple, though, down the other, down the posh end, down my end. Right. Oh, monochrome. Two left, two left of the monochrome. Beautiful. Okay. I'm going over to a few other things over here. Oh, got nothing on the wall. I'll find something to put on the wall for later. Yeah, for tomorrow. Rotating cuts back. Now, these are our very, very own uh, notions. It's our make. We went to experts within the industry and said, what would you like in a rotating cuts back? What would you like in a rotary cutter? What would you like in a wishy-washy tape? It, it is in the colour of, um, where do we work? Sewing quarter? I had to think then. Uh, this is the large category. It's 13 by 13 inches. Lots of you have already bought these. In fact, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of you bought these. And we've had lots and lots of fantastic feedback from them. Now, I need to tell you, we also sell a 12 inch one for 32.99. And you're most probably thinking, oh, well, at 19.99, the quality won't be as good. Let me tell you, it's because we're cutting out the middleman. It's because we cut out the middleman that we're able to do that for you. Um, it's brilliant. It's self-healing. It's 13 inch square. It's got your uh, inch and half inch marks on it. It's got your 30, 45 degree and 60 degree lines on there. And 
it rotates. What I like as well is on the bottom here, it's got like this kind of foam sort of bottom. And then so it's not going to slip once it's on the table, look. And then it just spins around you need it. And lots of people have said they love it because it's 13 inches, 33 centimetres square at 19.99. It's big enough to do square off your bigger blocks. It's big enough to square off your bigger blocks, that one. 19, and who was it yesterday that said, oh, I wish I'd asked for the rotating cut. Was I in yesterday? No. Was I here yesterday? No, it wasn't. It was the weekend. Joy at the weekend, that's right. Joy to the world. Oh, trees are. The snow is six foot deep in Tooting. Now, how come I don't believe that? Oh, she says I'm snowed in. I'll be watching Sun Quarter for the foreseeable future. Oh, see, if I got snowed in, I haven't got enough food to last me more than two days. No, they've got, lo normally they've got loads of food. It's me that goes short. Well, no, I'm, because you could make the thing more risotto, but I've only got so much rice, and I've got no fresh vegetables to put in. I know, I'm making, no, it's not, I, you can make enough for four and still eat it, you see. So I make a huge pan thinking, oh, I'll have that tomorrow for my lunch. I think, finish it. It's ridiculous. Anyway, 19.99. Got the seven inch. That's the, the 13 inch. I've got the seven incher here. It was all exactly the same on it as the 13 incher. Yeah, no, this one would be better for Joy, wouldn't it, to do the smaller one? Seven inch, 18 centimetres. Everything's exactly the same. Self healing. Got your inch increments on it, you've got your angles on it. What about? Oh, well, it might be on the outskirts of tooting. Yes, I think she's just rung in saying, I can't get into work today. I've got six foot of snow on my doorstep. Well, it'll be melted soon, Teresa, because it's seven degrees in tooting. Trees, 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 trees. It'll be, yes. <laughs> I hope your work people aren't watching. Anyway, it's seven degrees in Tooting at this moment in time. You'll be fine. Unless there's a wind chill factor, of course. I love, um, I love Tooting. There used to be a brilliant um, shoemaker that we used to use on all the films in Tooting. Cobbler. You've never been to Tooting? Well, it was one of those suburbs that you didn't really want to live in. Now it's worth a fortune. It's like Battersea, isn't it? When I first moved to London, nobody wanted to live in Battersea. And now... You can't, you couldn't, oh, anyway, I won't go on. Oh, Peckham, Peckham, right? When my friend Jennifer, we used to call her Fat Jennifer, to her face, to her face, because she was, she was quite a large lady. She then did uh, the Cambridge diet. She went from a size 28 to a size 10, right? And we, <laughs> we say, oh, and thank you, Fat Jennifer. And she was like, um, I'm a size 10 now, thank you very much indeed. Uh, she bought three flats in Peckham. We were like, you're stupid, what you're doing, what you're doing. She's now on paper a multi-millionaire, isn't she? Because they're all worth £675,000 each now. Anyway, I'm not bitter. I know. It wasn't politically correct, and I do what we do. Apart. No, no, I have to say that she, that she did nickname herself that. So, so I'm not, uh, we, it's not what we used to call her, but it was all said with love and affection. Clover rotary cutter with soft touch cushion handle, 14 99 I'm being lovely to you. You said on Facebook I had to be lovely to you today. 14 99 uh, Now, so this can be changed to a left-handed to a right-handed. 14 pounds and 10 pence. Uh, so what happens is, to change it from a left to a right, what you have to do is you have to unscrew this bit here, and you just turn, it stays on this side, but you just turn, if I show you, pull that down, can you see that there's a, an R there? So it says right hand. Well, all the difference is, is the blade pops out to this side when it's a left-handed one. That's why I'm going to close the thing so it's safe now. Uh, you've got uh, soft touch on the sides here. 
You've got the soft touch here as well, and that's your guard to open and close. The 45 millimeter is the one that all our designers use. You'll see designers using this one an awful lot. Ergonomically designed so you can hold on to that handle nice and tight. 14.99. I know it's fantastico. Fantastico. Right, while I'm still over here, I've got a ruler. Now, this is the ruler. This is the Creative Grid. Oh, Carol, she says she's just bought her large rotating cutting mat. Well done, Carol. You'll love it when it arrives. Four to six working days. Um, all our designers, whenever you say to them, which ruler, which Creative Grids would you buy first? This is six and a half by eight and a half, this one. Uh, but no, no, not six and a half by eight and a half. This is a six and a half by 24 and a half. There is an eight and a half version as well, if you want a slightly wider one. Um, but this is the one that all our designers say that they would buy first. Because if you fold a piece of fabric in half, you want to do width of fabric, you'll be able to cut right the way across the fabric without stopping. Um, it's got all the increments in black and in white, in quarter inch, half inch, three quarter inch, and eighth of an inch as well. It's got them in black and white, so you can see them on dark fabric and on light fabric. You've got your angled lines on here. But more importantly, is you've got all these, see all these around the edge here, the silicon um, discs and around the edge of here. So what happens is when you're placing on your fabric, I haven't got any fabric, so I can't show you, it'll move around nice like that. Once you've got your fabric in and you tap it down like that and you put your hand in, it's not going to slide anywhere. Brilliant invention. So simple and yet fantastic. £23.99. I'll be seeing Rachel the Ruler. Oh, that's why I was getting muddled up with my two weeks. Because I'll be seeing Rachel the Ruler just in just over two weeks' time at the awards. No, because I mean, you're on Valentine's Day, but that, follow, that weekend is the weekend, the awards weekend. So it's two and a half weeks, really, isn't it? Anyway. Oh, let's see another snow day picture. I love these. This is from Vicky in Cheshire. Oh, no. This was the before and after of my garden before my 10-year-old twins, Pippa and Russell, got out there. No school today. Whereabouts are you in Cheshire, then? Oh, hang on. Poynton, oh nice, very nice part of Cheshire there. I'm from Cheshire, you see, I know. Lovely. Yeah, they're, are they back in now, getting warm and having a cup of soup or a hot chocolate? Oh, hang on, Hannah wants to know what you've used for the arms of the snowman. Let's have a look. What would it look like, hang on, they look like plungers. They look like sink plungers, are they? Oh no, they're just bits of wood with gloves on the end. Oh. That's nice. Right, I've got to get on. Look, it's 10.37. I've got all my blocks to do yet as well. Yep. Now, these, these might be... I had to look. I had to look for it then. Uh, these are... Uh, each of these, right, uh, they're a block pattern... So it's to build up your pattern designs, but this one comes with a metre fabric and some thread as well. But I don't know, you see, I think you need three, oh no, I suppose what they've done is just give you fabric for that central bit there. Um, but in this one, you're getting half a metre of each of these fabrics. You're getting the pale blue fabric and the numbers fabric to make that 3D pinwheel block. So now, have we got dates or not on these? Um. First of August, but it might not be this one because that just says pinwheel on the thing and it doesn't say this. I think, I think it was this. And what it is, it had pinwheels in the middle and it had the 3D ones around the outside, didn't it? I seem to remember. Anyway, 16 99 So you get Lucy's pattern. Lucy used to work here. If you don't know who Lucy is, she used to work here. Oh, there she is. I haven't heard from her for about a week. And then you get half a metre, half a metre and your thread. Sixteen ninety nine. Seventeenth of October. She also talked about pinwheels. So that might be that one as well. Oh no! Now, I think the seventeenth of October one was the one where she showed us how to cut them out. Anyway, 
Oh, oh, it's the Vicky one. So it might be that one. Might be that one. Sorry. I know I did one with her near the, near the end of last year where we did pinwheel pinwheels, but that's one with Vicky, so that might be that one. Weather vane block. Oh, I've not seen this fabric. Okay, so first of all, I've got it's called the weather vane block. There's your weather vane block. You see, I don't think I've seen that block either. Is it Lucy's instructions? Oh, actually, it hasn't got a name on the instructions. Anyway, so there's the instructions for the block. Weather vane. And you get a metre and a half with this one. So you get half a metre of the green, which is a lovely bright emerald green. You get half a metre of the cream. And then look at this. I've never seen this before. It's United Kingdom fabric. Miss United Kingdom. Oh, I love it. Let's have a look at it then. I'll lay it down because I want to go through all the icons on it and everything. So you've got the Welsh dragon. Right, I haven't got this fabric by the half metre. Everything I own of this fabric, I own. Everything we have of this fabric is in this bundle. So you've got the shamrock. Now, uh, uh, excuse me, excuse me. Welsh, oh yes, I can see it now. Oh, it's like going to the Eisteddfod. Eisteddfod, it's a singing competition. Right, so that's Wales, that's uh, the shamrock in Ireland. There you're, there you're, f oh look, so you've got your English rose, your shamrock, your thistle and your glasses. Daffodil for Wales, fish and chips. Factory. Oh, coal mine, coal mine, coal mine. Um, try a 99er. That's what it says, look. Uh, Union Jack. Now, where's the postcard from, then? Cork, Cork. That's Scottish, that's a Celtic cross, isn't it? T. Uh, oh, there's the Irish dancers, look. There's River. Oh, you can't see it there, I'll go out here. River dance, river dance. Uh, the old bookshop, ye oldie bookie shoppy. That's oh, Stratford upon Avon, that'll be. And then you've got Scotland, the bagpipes. Oh, I love this fabric. I will have to stop now because I've got loads to get through. Is there anything I've missed out? Festiniog, Festiniog Railway, there. Where's the old oh, Stonehenge there, down there, yeah. Only available in this bundle, that fabric. Oh, sorry, I'll, I'll put it away. Uh, if we don't sell all these bundles, it could be released, but it'll only be a, a small amount. Twelfth of August, the Weather Bay block, uh, alongside another project. Why are you doing my other glasses? I wonder where they've gone. They're what? In the fur. <laughs> My, we've got fur coming up in the next, haven't we? My glasses, I couldn't find my, prop, my reading glasses in there earlier. They're wrapped up in the fur, apparently. Was that what I was causing a fuss earlier? Right, me. Tree of Life. Budici, Budici in Portuguese. It's pretty this, isn't it, look. Uh, 1999, what you get here is you get the instructions, you get some thread, you get a metre and a half of fabric. 5th of December with Lucy. That's pretty. I wasn't one that day, was I? I haven't done that one. Nice. That's nice, that one. In the, in the um, ad, advert, no, this isn't an advert. What's this? Instructions. In the instructions, it says you want a selection of fat quarters. But in this one, what you do is you'd have the cream as your background, the pink as your trunk, and then your leaves would be made out of this gorgeous Liberty fabric here. Plus your thread. That's nice, that one, isn't it? Beautiful. Wonky start. Me down now. This one was me and Lucy. This one. So this is the wonky star block. This is the one. Somebody put a clip of this on Facebook this week saying, "Oh, if ever I'm down, I watch this little bit." It was just me and Lucy just giggling. So again, you get the instructions. You get the thread. Oh, now I like this bundle. So is that navy blue or is that black? Midnight, 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 midnight. 
Then you've got your raspberry spot on. Now, I've never seen this fabric before. Oh, no, no, no. I've had some Libs Elliot before. She's the lady with all the tattoos, isn't she? Canadian quilter who does lots of... Um, what she does is she does random things. She puts different shapes in the computer and whatever it throws out of it, she makes a quilt out of it. That's right, she did do a range of absolute vodka. I'm not quite sure what she did for them. I think she might have drunk a lot of it. Oh, design the label, design the label. That's right, because it's a mixed tape range and I sang all the songs, didn't I? Come on over to my place. Hey, you, we're having a party. We'll be singing, dance. No, it wasn't. There's also a Def Leppard one or something, isn't it? And we think she might have liked a bit more. But she has got a lot of tattoos. Oh, and now I've got two... Th Why have I got two threads? I don't think that one belongs to it. Fourth of May, this was on. The wonky star. Fourth of May was the wonky star. Also, Joy did a wonky star this weekend. Just gone. But it wasn't this one. It wasn't this one. Right, I've got a couple left. Three left, in fact. Three left. I knew she'd say that. Oh, oh, what size of the block? Somebody's asked. We'll, we'll have a double check. Yeah, I think they're all designed. Most of them are designed by Lucy, so they're all the same size. Hang on, let's have a look. 12. That one's 12 by 12. That's 12 by 12. That's 14 by 14. So, Wonky Star is 12. Weather Vane is 12. Tree of Life is 14. Uh, 3D pinwheel is... Oh, no size. Because you can make it to... Yeah, you can make that technique any size. This one here is a 9 by 9, the one I'm showing you now. Yeah, so Weather Vane 12, Wonky Star 12, Tree of Life 14, 3D any size you like, Maple Leaf 9. That's all right. Now, does this one not come with a thread? That one. There you go. So you get half a metre of, like, the mustard. Gold, it's called. Gold. Half a metre of white. And half a metre of Alice and Gar's Treehouse Celebrate. Now, is this from the range? This is from the range, isn't it, Wayne? She wouldn't describe why she designed them. You, you have to think about where in your life's journey, uh, where in life's journey you are and what it reminds you of. Where are you then, Hannah? Where are you? Let's have a look. 12th of August, this was there. Oh, same day as that other one over there, 12th of August, right? So, um, Hannah, cocktails, she's saying. Cocktails, joy of life, joie de vivre. I'm thinking, oh, radishes, giving a wind. Uh, oh, egg timer, she's seeing now. See, it's, it's up to you what you see. Timothy, what do you see? Okay, a tumbling tower. Michael? Oh, Michael said red, she's not Hannah. That's nice and romantic. Hot air balloons. Clouds. Anyway, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Comes in that kit. What's that got to do with it? Next! Yes. I think you need to start spending less time with Paul. Now I've got two more. <laughs> Who was it said earlier, Kathleen, everyone wants a friend in their ear? Not today you don't, Kathleen. That's the third naughty word she's used in today's show. Oh, and that one now. I'll have to go around the table to get it. She doesn't normally come out with rude words, Hannah, either. Right, this is lovely. This is lovely, this one. Oh, what size is this one? What size is this one? Uh, oh. Oh. Oh, now, this one doesn't have a size, I'm afraid. No, this one doesn't have a size. This one was a whole quilt we did anyway, wasn't it? Anyway, so you get the Moroccan tile block quilt, uh, pattern by Lucy Brennan. 11th of August, this was done. 
And then the three fabrics got in here, half a metre of each. We got the, oh, I love this one. So you got the um, Tanya Whelan, brand new range. Is that brand new range, Aqua Fans? No, I launched this. Uh, they do look like half daisies, but they also look like 1920s fans, don't they? Lilac spot on and the pale grey. I haven't got any details. Pale grey, plus your thread, plus your instructions, 19 pounds and 99 pence. And then the last one, 31st of January last year. We did this. Because it was a birthday. Oh, now I need to talk to you about that as well. No, not you. No, people at home. Right, this is the Greek cross cushion and quilt. Well, Tim, you won't be here. All I was going to say is, you know, it's our birthday on the 31st, which is tomorrow. Which is tomorrow. We are going to celebrate a little bit, apparently. I've brought in a party shirt and everything. But we're actually doing the big celebrations from the 7th of February for a week. They're the big birthday celebrations. We're all going to, I don't know what we're doing tomorrow. There are some celebrations tomorrow. And then the big, big party is from the 7th. Yes, I've got, oh, got three hours of sewing machines tomorrow, super savings and sewing machines. Jane Brogan's only in for two of those hours, just so you know. Right. $16.99. I'm going to ask, uh, is Hayley in the building? I'll go and ask her in this break now, because we'll go for a break, aren't we? Um, what we're doing for the show tomorrow's show. So, what you get in here is you get that lovely Riviera. No, it's not called Riviera. Riviera Blue. Oh, is it Riviera, though, this one? It's Peacock. Got it wrong. That's why I couldn't say because it was wrong. Half a metre of your ivory. Thread. And your Tilda Elodie Lavender. Now, we did the Greek cross on the 31st of January last year, but it had been done before that as well. Because it was, we remember we had the sew-off, and I made that with Lucy. And Natasha made the um, bag with Victoria Peach. Do you remember? 31st January last year. It's freezing in here now, isn't it? Oh, yes, of course I can. Rainbow Bundle of the Bijou from earlier. These are the most popular of the three. These are the most popular of the three. Well, uh, the reason I'm saying the most popular is that the black one's about to sell out. That's what I'm saying, that one. Only had five of those anyway. Bijou Rainbow Bundle, £29.49. You get half a metre of each. 44 uh, inches wide. Machine washable. Quilting weight. 100% cotton. Oh, now be careful because I'm, I mean, I, I'll always try and, or I, we will always try and repeat these, but for today's allocation, at, at what time is it? 10.52. I've only got how many of these left? 25 of these left. Now, I know that might sound a lot, but if you think how many people are watching, how many people love rainbow bundles, how many people love quilting blender colours. Universal for your stash. Beautiful. £29.49. and pence. Love those colours together. Really beautiful colours together, those. Okay, now, the grey and black one, remember I said there were two left? Well, there are two in baskets, which means, in theory, there's none left, but those people haven't checked out yet, so if you want these, you need to ring the call centre right now. Right now, or if you have got in your basket, you do need to check out. Remember, every time you check out, you get, uh, 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 and your name goes into the raffle, to win lunch with me, Vicky, Hannah and Neil. But there's two of those left there, both in baskets. You need to ring up. That was a bit subliminal, wasn't it? That was fast. Could you make it a bit warm in here? It's freezing cold now, thank you. I know I'm whinging. Because I'm old. I can't believe Helen Rhiannon's 37. Can you believe she's 37? She looks younger than you. How old are you? 26. She had a hard life. <laughs> she goes out with a musician, what do you expect? No money, no food. Takes her to dodgy hotels for their anniversary and things like that. Anyway, this is the yellow bun bundle. Yeah, everyone's having this because I think you're all craving sunshine. What's it like? Is it grey snowy outside or is it grey wet outside or is it... We've just got wet here, but oh, I'll tell you what, the ice on the car this morning, the ice on my car this morning was terrifyingly thick. 
Well, I set, started driving and it froze up. I know, as I was driving. Anyway, you get half a meter each of these, five different colours. Six, six, six different colours. Six different colours. Arrow, carrot, bloom, daffodil, bouquet, yellow ochre, clover, mustard, sol, mellow, yellow, and square dot fresh apricot. You see, you, you, you wouldn't want your apricot that colour, really, would you? My niece, we have a family um, WhatsApp chat the other day, and the other night she said, I've just eaten a fish cake, and I've just realised it's 10 days out of date. Will I be all right? And my brother, her dad, put, yeah, you should be fine. Don't worry about it. She went, it tasted of vinegar. And he went, you'll be fine. Anyway, two days later, or a day and a half later, she's put that, I'm so ill. I'm so ill. Well, I don't think it's that. I think she's just stressing. Because she's only got, you know, she finishes university this year already. And she doesn't finish till June, but she's only got five weeks of lessons left. And then she's got so many um, assignments to hand in. Anyway, £29.49. and 49 pence. Beautiful. It's freezing in here, I'm warning you now. She's all right. Hello, Rhiannon, and she's fine. Well, it's because she's old, you see. Old girls like, you know, I can't get over it. Anyway, £29.49. pence. Judith, just... Oh, Judith. <laughs> Judith's put in Staffordshire. Just dump my overlocker in the bin. Are oh, you selling them tomorrow? Love Jude. Jude, I'll find out. I don't know what. I know I've got the 560, 517, 580, but I don't know if I've got overlockers tomorrow. So that I'll ask now when I go in. So I've, I've got to ask overlockers what we're doing for the birthday, and that's it, really, isn't it? Oh, Judith doesn't look like it, but I'll see if I can get one put in. I'll ask. I'll ask. Uh, oh, is there still one left? N no, I thought there's, oh, oh, they, there's lots of you came in for this. Lots of people came in on the phone, right? Uh, two sold straight away. One is in basket, right? But it hasn't been checked out. But there's about, how many people have got it in there? Three people have got it in the basket, but there's only one left. Only one of you will get that. 159.99. Uh, makes the bigger version of that. Let me just show you the picture. Makes this version of that. Right, okay, in the next hour, we are doing the fur wrap, the fur hat, the fur bag with a pom-pom. We've got Rhea modelling it, and we've got Chloe modelling it. Chloe, I'll buy you a cup of tea when I come. If anyone else has made them, do send in your pictures, because we've got Chloe and Rhea wearing exactly the same set. If you've made it one of the other sets, then I'd love to see it. Helen and I will be here in three minutes from now. Have you been watching Sewing Quarter but still thinking about placing that first order? Then the new year is the perfect time to start shopping with our brand new offer for brand new customers worth $29.98. Not only will we send you two metres of fabric worth $14.99 but also the official Sewing Quarter sewing kit also worth $14.99. The kit contains everything you need for sewing on the go and those last minute fixes. Simply make that first exciting purchase with no minimum spend and we'll add these gifts to your order automatically while stocks last. Tune in on Thursday the 31st of January for our first ever Super Savings on Sewing Machines event. Regular guest and sewing machine expert Jane Brogan joins me, John Scott, for demonstrations, professional advice and super savings on a wide selection of our favourite Elna and Janome models. We're thrilled to offer fantastic discounts at price points to suit every pocket. Whether you're buying your first sewing machine, upgrading your current model, or want extra functions for dressmaking, embroidery, or quilting, you'll save hundreds of pounds during our event. The chance to compare different models and see them in action during our Super Savings event not only means you can take advantage of these massive discounts, but also buy with confidence. So don't miss our first ever Super Savings on Sewing Machines event, Thursday the 31st of January, only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 73 and Sky Channel 687. Tune in on Sunday the 3rd of February for the return of the handy quilter Simply 16 long arm quilting machine for your home. 
The 16-inch long arm incorporates innovative hoop technology, resulting in a compact, freestanding frame that still accommodates quilts of any size. Ergonomic handlebars, colour touchscreen controls and 1,800 super smooth stitches per minute are just a few of its professional features. In the studio to demonstrate those benefits and more will be Liz Hoplin, handy quilter expert and the UK's official distributor. Just as Joy Edgington did last time, Liz will be putting the Simple 16 through its paces live on air, allowing you to see exactly how simple it will be to fit in your home and your life. Our exclusive sewing quarter package includes a selection of tools including the handy quilter long arm rulers and ruler accessories. So prepare to spend two hours with Handy Quilter Simply 16 Long Arm starting at 10am Sunday the 3rd of February only on Sewing Quarter. Freeview Channel 73 and Sky Channel 687. Simply Sewing is a magazine for dressmakers and home sewists who are passionate about fabrics and love to sew with stylish patterns. Each issue is packed with technical know-how, templates and easy to follow instructions to sew yourself quick wardrobe updates, accessories, plushy toys, gifts, bags and more. Plus, each issue comes with a free dress pattern from our expanding trend-led collection. We're proudly flying the flag for contemporary sewing with stylish patterns and beautiful photography to inspire sewists across the globe at every level. Right, tomorrow, <laughs> there's no overlockers tomorrow, Jude, I'm afraid, just sewing machines. And there was what? Yeah, she wants to buy it today or tomorrow. So she wants it tomorrow with the money off soon. No, there was no overlock on yesterday, apparently, but there's not one on tomorrow, I'm afraid. And no, there's no celebrations tomorrow. So I brought my party shirt in and everything. But the celebrations are the three hours of money off your sewing machines, which is a birthday special. Right. Uh, oh, we've got fur hat. Fur, let's look at Rhea wearing it first of all. There we go. Look, there's Rhea. That's Rhea in, in scheduling, in the scheduling department. God, the amount of money we spent on lighting and makeup and everything, styling, the brick wall that they brought in specially and everything. Anyway, 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 uh, would you love, like to make that? I've got it in three different versions. This bundle, first of all, which would make that one. Now, there's enough fabric here to make the hat and the wrap, and the bag, and the pom-pom, 23.99. What it is, you get half a metre of the fur. It's fake fur, it's faux fur, it's faux fur, and it's definitely, definitely faux fur. Somebody put it on the Facebook page, oh, but is it really faux fur? Yes, this is really faux fur. You also get half a metre of the cappuccino, the cappuccino, uh, now that's the Duchess satin, isn't it, lining there, plus your thread, plus your instructions, the Fiona Hesford instructions. And there's that one there, 23 99 for all of that. For all of that, right? Oh, now to make the bag, the handles are separate and they're over that side, so I'll go through those later. I, I didn't hear you, what's it? Oh, uh, Carol, uh, we, we're not gonna make the bag today. Uh, yes, we are making the bag today, so it wasn't made last time. And yes, we'll give, there is some hand sewing on the bag, but we'll show you that one when we start now. So we're making the bag. Then if we've got time, we're going to make the, the wrap and the hat, if we've got time, if we've got time. Right, so that's that one. The white one. Now, this is lovely. Look at this one. I feel like one of those um, princesses in Knightsbridge, you know, that go shopping with lots of money. Or you see those programmes, like The Richest Christmas or something like that, you know, the people who've got so much money. I watched a lot, one of those last um, Christmas, because my friend Tracy did the voiceover for it, and there was this family, I don't know where they were from, they've got a house in London they could sometimes visit, and they got it decorated from top to bottom in Christmas trees and everything like that, and the, the man in charge was getting all worried about the colour of the baubles, everything like that. 
and then they didn't even turn up. Didn't even turn up for Christmas. I was like, anyway, this is the white one. This is like your polar bear. It's not real polar bear. It's faux fur. Now, the, the pile on this one is much, much shorter than obviously the wolf one. Can you see that? That's lovely though, isn't it? So again, you get half of each of this. Now, this isn't, the lining of this is our anti-static lining. It's not the Duchess satin lining. So what Fiona said was to put a double layer of lining in the wrap. But um, when, um, I know that's what Fiona said, and she was the designer, but when Adele and I looked at it earlier, we could, I don't know if you definitely need it, but just try it, just try it, that's all. Because it's not the Duchess satin lining in that one, that's the anti-static lining. There's the kit for that one. The f all the furs get escaping already. Because Helen's worn the right outfit, so she black when she's doing a fur show. And then I've got it in the black. Now, the black doesn't even feel like a fur. It feels like a gorgeous, rich velvet, this one. Okay, now this will make a much, much flimsier version of everything, because this is just your black plush stretch fabric. Okay, that will make a completely, completely, completely different looking piece, right? So you get your, your half a metre of your black, you get half a metre of your Duchess satin lining, you get your black thread and you get your instructions. 19.99. pounds and 99 pence. Right. Helen Rhiannon. Hello. I hope it's not such a rushed show for you Oh, this, this is going to be so nice and calm in comparison. Yes. Now... There's fur yeah. everywhere. I know. Where do we start? Right, well, the bag we're going to demo today. Yes. And then everything else is cut out. Right. So we'll see what we can do. Right. Uh, Hannah's got the date of when it's done before, which I'll tell you about in a second. Yeah. Um, now, so there's enough fabric to make all three yes. items, plus the pom-pom yeah. in there. Absolutely. Uh, Cutting out of the fur is the first thing, especially the very long haired fur. Yeah. What do you, what, have you got any tips for it? it it's quite nice. It's got everything on here to say what to do. Right. The main thing you do first is you get your, your fur and right. you have it the wrong side up. Right. So you have it so you, you've got this part here. Yes. Get a pen, a biro, a marker, anything you want. And then you can draw all of your pattern pieces out straight onto it. Oh, this. okay, perfect. So that is much easier yes. to do. And you can do the same on your lining as well. Yeah. And then pick your size hat that you want to make. Oh, there's um, different sizes? Yeah, there's three. There's a small, a medium and a large. Perfect. For your hat. So this will fit everything on. So I'd advise you to do what the pattern says and draw each oh, piece Oh, yes, on. you need to because Absolutely. they literally are snug, aren't they? They yeah. all fit. Yeah, there was the, fur piece. I think I cut the small, the small hat, and yeah, there was there was a little bit of room extra, but you do need to, you know, go with the pattern yes, exactly. to make sure you get everything on. And what you you do is is when you're cutting this, it tells you in this box up here. One of the best ways is to cut just to almost cut through this layer. So you're actually cutting with this side facing up okay. rather than the first yeah. side. And so then you're actually just cutting just near the top layer. So rather than putting your scissors all the way through, yeah. you're just almost snipping just through this part. So hopefully less. Well, when Alistair you know, does his fake fur, he uses yeah. a craft knife. He yeah. does, so he doesn't even cut any from of the fur. This side. He only cuts from this yeah, side. Yeah, that's good. I mean, when I first did the, what I did, the buffet in this, I did pin a pattern piece on and there was fur everywhere. everywhere. So this was a little bit of an easier way to do it. Perfect. So everything drawn out, cut out, cut your lining out as well, and then you're good to go. Okay, so you must follow these patterns as well because obviously the fur is going to go in, a, the fur is going to go in a certain direction, isn't it? Right, you yes. Know, the, 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 yeah. The, yeah. I suppose that, the scarf... Oh, are you okay? <laughs> yeah, I just caught my hand on the table. Eh? <laughs> the scarf isn't too bad. Um, yeah, so I, I, I don't think I particularly thought about that, but it's more when you... It doesn't matter yet, because whichever way you do it, it's just the patterns are symmetrical. Oh, okay. So okay. that's okay. Yeah. And the bag is... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, you've already done it because it's got box bottom. Yeah, you've got so, your box. So her so pattern just, has yeah. automatically made you do it. I decided right which way I cut the corners out anyway, yes. so you are okay, right. So perfect. I'll pop that to one side. So all of that cutting and everything is all included in this yeah, instruction? Yeah, it's all really simple. Oh, yes, loads Really of straightforward as well. So I think this is a nice one. You could make all three. You could get everything cut out at the same time. Yes. And then start pinning each bit and cut as you go. And get one, one of our little um, vacuum cleaners. Yes, just have it handy yeah. just to suck everything in. Yeah. 
No. They're available on the website, the bell one. What it does get you to do is when you have your, your fur, so as you've just said as well, make sure that your fur is going down. Yeah. And so that's where we decide the bottom is where you need to cut out a little four centimetre little square. So yeah. we'll do that in a sec. And you need to do the same in the lining. But just make sure that you've got it the right way around. Oh, because it's not a square, yeah, is it? Yeah, it's like rectangle. So yeah. you want to make sure that you match up the corners that Yes, because it'd be cutting. awful if you cut the corners out of the fur on that one and then cut them out of the corners exactly. of that one. Exactly. So just away. check that. So we'll just, it's just really simple just to mark along with your four centimetres. And then I've pinned the two layers together as well. And then just check up here. And then we'll just chop between the two layers then to cut that. So you cut on so that line? Do exactly you? on the not, line. It's not that's with your seam allowance included? Yeah, it's a one centimetre seam allowance for everything. Right. So you can just, uh, if you've got a nice normal foot on, you can just put your needle over to the left and have the edge of the fabric on the edge of the foot for your one centimetre. But that's one of the first things that you do do. And as I said, make sure that you are, before you chop in, make sure you're all okay there. Yeah. Because your fabric is enough to do everything. You don't really want to cut it all out again. So then just cut up there. And so that's the nice, easy part. I'll do this bit as well now. So with the fur, you can see from this now, so rather than put the scissors right yes, under, scissors, yeah. I'll just try and catch, if you can see from there, and just catch in yeah. oh. that top layer from there. Yeah. So hopefully you get less, less fur. But I think you just have to accept that you will have fur everywhere for about, you know, half a day, a day. Oh, maybe. yeah. It looks very strange when you start yes. pulling everything away. Uh, put as much away as you can. Also, all the all these are going to go into seams anyway. So if yeah. you do accidentally cut a little bit more of the fur away, I think what Alistair does is he cuts a, with a craft knife because a lot of his he leaves the edge raw. Oh, does and he? The, the right. fur goes yeah. down, sort of thing. Whereas these are all going to go into seams anyway. Aren't yeah. They? So it's only you're cutting out that you'll have you know the problem with the fur, you know, going places, and then it, it's all tucked inside with your lining. Yeah. Great. So you can, for now, while you've got those in position, if you can see through, mm. but what the, what the bean bag said to do, which is quite handy, is to go along, and if you prefer, you can actually cut away a centimetre. Oh, of the actual fur. Of the fur along here. So that actually helps you then to just have less bulk in there. Yes. But I won't do too much of that no, because we you... might be covered. And I haven't, I'm going to be covered by the yes, end anyway, definitely. I think. Them. Right. So we can just oh, more. this. It's going to go over it. So I can't even see the corners from here. Right, they're under no, there exactly. somewhere. So match up your your edges while you've got this the right way. And I mean, I mean, I'm a pinner anyway. But if you have got a clip, you can use that. Yeah. But you probably need some quite you know, long pins, just to be able to get through. Yeah, and also count layers. them in and count them out with fur That's as a well. That's a good idea, yeah. Maybe with the coloured bits on as well, yes. it's a little bit easier. So both sides, match those up. And again, like I do with everything, always match the top, the bottom, and then everything else should just fit in between anyway. Yeah. Because it's quite thick, you can see why it is a good idea to just trim down yes, some yeah. of that. In there. And then you also then pin across the bottom. So what you don't pin is actually in the corners. Yes. And you do your box corner. And with this one, you go all the way along the bottom. It's your lining where you need to leave a gap. Right. So, that in there. I thought you suited it uh, beautifully as you walked on. Say that again? I thought it suited you beautifully Thank as you, you walked in with I the whole... Uh, I couldn't wear it. 
Uh, now, uh, I've got the message of Sean. No, she, you don't know, Sean is Hannah's future mother-in-law. Oh, lovely, yeah. The son doesn't know yet. It's just oh, a bit really right, okay. Oh, did you see the whole strand on Facebook about let's get a Just Giving page to get Hannah a boyfriend? <laughs> and then other people are like, she doesn't need a boyfriend. Did you? Uh, uh, anyway, 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 so Sean's messaging saying, hello, John, Hannah and Helen. Hello. Oh, beautiful sunshine here in the south. <laughs> oh yeah, Jan's got, uh, not Jan, Jack, future husband, future husband has gone yeah. to Thailand because in Australia it's 45 degrees. Lots of love, Sean. So she's, it's too hot in Australia, so he's gone to Thailand. Oh, but nice. humidity in Thailand, I did a film in Thailand, it's like yeah. you leave the hotel and you're drenched by the time you get into the uh, minibus and things like that. My hair just does, I couldn't, my hair would just go, oh, natu would it? naturally coolly. Yeah. Oh, is it? Oh yeah, it'd be an afro in humidity. You like Hannah? Yeah, but not as nice as Hannah's. Hannah's got nice thick hair. Oh, oh, my earpiece is just broken. I do a point. <laughs> right, can I grab the iron, please? Oh, yes, you can. I'll let you iron that in the centre okay. while I try and sort this out. So you iron down the top of the pocket. Yeah. One centimetre. And then, so you put steam on there. And then another centimetre. Yeah, I think it's... No, it is on just, steam. I just snapped it inside a lens on it. Well, the shock that, they, that Heather was saying, Hannah, Hannah had nice hair. Oh. I was like, oh! <laughs> uh, so then you also fold up a centimetre on the bottom as well. Oh, OK. So you've got your... I missed this bit, that for now. I? Yeah, and I think it's just the top and the bottom, because I haven't made the samples, so I'm always a bit oh, not oh, quite on there. When oh, I haven't okay. made them, I'm like, what am I doing next? Which is quite good, because then you can at least follow yes, the instructions. Yes, okay. and you oh, go. so this is the first time you've made them? Yeah. Like, live yeah. on air, that's great. No pressure. No. I've read through and it's fine. Yeah. So you, with the top bits that you folded over twice, that's the top of your pocket. So then you just want to stitch along right. the edge just okay. to secure it in place. So oh, what that. I missed, what I missed while I was fixing my, my microphone was the pocket, and I thought it was still the lining. I was like, why is she folding the edge of the lining in? Got it now. I know, I'm on it. So okay. just a straight stitch all the way along. Yeah. And just keep that in place. Tuck any little threads underneath as well. So there's obviously enough lining to do the whole, everything and the pocket as well. Though. Yeah, everything. It's got, yeah, the lining, it seems, because you don't line the hat, you, as in you've got a round bit, but you don't have, what you cut in the fur, you don't cut inside in the, li in the lining. Oh, okay, or good. I think it's that way. Yeah. Again, because I haven't made it, so I'm not 100% sure. Um. I can't remember. So you've got that bit on top. Yeah. And then you place these edges on but for some reason it is a little bit shorter so I'm not quite sure why that is unless I probably oh there we are I've done it wrong oh so an error there we go so it so should have been edges. longer yeah, yeah, yeah. but it doesn't matter the bag will still work the same way yeah. but that's why you should get everything and test it yes that's why it's strange we don't make it before you're like no I exactly knew it. don't worry don't worry don't worry so so literally this when you've done yours this Would will be, be the that, same yeah. width so but that's good in a way because then you'll all know to check that bit before you yeah, cut your yeah. corners so it should have been the long, the depth of the bag down there. Yeah. And then what you would have done is place this about six centimetres from the top. Yeah. And it. then you would just have stitched across the bottom. Yeah. This is gonna, just going to be a little bit short of this. So yeah, slap to hand for yeah. that, but fair mind. I'll do it anyway so you can see. My first official mistake now. Oh, oh no! Dun, 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 It'll stay with you now. I won't know. It? There we go. So that would be in the seam allowance. Yes, yes, yes. But we will just stitch along the bottom to keep that in yeah. place. So if you do need to just fold it up and and keep it in place with a pin, the satin it, it's not too bad. If you you know if you're worried about putting pins in, you're only putting one in the centre, so yeah, don't exactly, worry about yeah. marking that. And you just sew along the bottom. But what you said is, is right with the fur, but then because of the direction of the bag anyway, I suppose you just have to just really think about that positioning. Yeah. 
but I've been busy finishing the jacket off in the last hour. Oh, so I'm going to post some photos to see how the finished? collar works. Well, not quite finished, but you can see the stretcher. It's like they're sewn together on yeah. the top. So I'll post those when I'm finished. Oh, wow. There we go. So that's what you're looking to achieve across the bottom. The bottom pocket. That would be attached in the sides. Yeah. And, and that's going to that be the bit. pocket. If you do make this mistake, though, don't worry. You can either, there might be more to cut this out, or you can just trim this down here and then just reshape your yeah. four centimetre or, or part. Or if you have your legend there, you can just tuck a bit under yeah. and just stitch along there exactly. and then make it smaller. And you can just, pocket, yeah. yeah, exactly as you said there. So you can just tuck it under like yeah. that and yeah. stitch up. But you're just giving yourself an extra row. Exactly. Oops. But we'll just leave that like that for now anyway. Right. But then you place your pieces like you've done on the, the fur. fur bit. You haven't sewn the fur bit yet, have you? No, no. You do that live on telly. Yeah, yeah, it'll be fine. So we just stitch up this edge here, mm -hmm. up the other edge here as well. And you sew along the bottom, but you leave a gap because you always need to have a gap to turn, turn through. Turn through, yeah, of course. Yeah, so always kind of think of it, you know, enough to get your, your fist through, really. So we'll, we're about six or so, so maybe a bit wider because it's quite thick. Yeah. And watch yeah. your heads of those pins. Yeah, well. thank you. So we'll go down each side. So again, I'm, I'm going to put the needle on the left position and put the edge of the fabric on the edge of the foot. Oh, to get your... For my centimetre, yeah. yeah. Hope centimetre in the edge. Yeah, a little rogue one under there. Tuck that in. Have you sewn with, with fake fur before? Uh, quite a lot in a panto and mostly costumes and ah. theatre. But it wasn't anywhere near as, as brilliant as it is today. Oh, it's come fake on fur such used a to long be way. Fake fur, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, yes, there's not much I don't know about woodland costumes. Yeah. I know I saw the costumes you posted. They oh, they were, were eight, They were very old, though. That wow. was very old, yeah, but. I was a child prodigy, Hannah. <laughs> yeah. Right. I, love I don't know what you mean. They're saying that they can't believe there's only two years difference between you and me. Oh, I know. I don't know what they mean. Yeah. <laughs> With this little part now, I'm just going to sew this part to the same stage, right. and then we're going to pull the corners apart. Which okay, it's only a tiny little box. It's yeah. only a tiny box bottom, though, isn't You can it, make it bigger if you want. Mm. So it's all down to how big your square is, as long as it's equal. Yeah. Right, this is the fun bit. So you might need to, when you start off, to almost push it through a little bit. And if it's not quite moving... Yeah. Uh, well, uh, would it work if you had a walking foot? Would that be better? Yeah, today? yeah, you can do it. Because I, I was saying before, I don't really, I don't have a walking foot, but I, I need a walking yes, foot now. Do. I've decided. Sewing quarters taught me I would like a walking foot. Um, so I yeah. never, I never heard of them before, um, before I came here. So if you can't quite get it through, grab your thread. When you've done the first couple of stitches back and forth, grab your thread from behind and just help that initial yeah, bit yeah. through. And then you can then catch the fabric. So you're just slightly pulling the whole thing through yes, there. Yeah. Now, I went into my local sewing machine shop and said, I need a walking foot, please. So that, that is on order. Oh, wow. Was that, there's a sewing machine shop in uh, Hannah's village. You could have gone there, wouldn't you? Joy thinks that the young man, the son of the family, would be perfect as a boyfriend for Hannah. Oh, I see. see. So the search is, is on. Oh, it's major. Well and truly major. on, OK. Yeah. <laughs> yes, uh, one lady put, oh, that'll be a long job then, on the Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> right, give it a helping hand through on the bottom bit as yeah. well. And I'm almost kind of pulling the fabric taut as well not stretching it but just helping it come through yeah. did you say it's like hannah pulling <laughs> giving a hand pulling it through i thought you said like hannah oh, like pulling, <laughs> and i was like no that's the problem she's not pulling oh gosh oh 
she'll find someone. Yeah, of course she will. She's only young. Yeah. So will there be a live dating show next then, is it? We'll see that on air soon. Do what? <laughs> a live dating show I'm then doing for one. Hannah. I'm do no, I'm doing the live dating oh. show at the NEC in, in June. So I'm going to get Hannah retreated. Oh, I was thinking her on there, yeah. All the, all the um, you know, the first dates programme. Yeah. Telling, they're all going to be there. It's going to be a first dates cafe and everything. Oh, like. wow. It's hard to meet people these days. Mm? Hard to meet people. Mm. Yeah. Right. Pins. Okay. So you have, yeah, taken them out as I've yeah. gone along, but yeah, it's otherwise just fold it back. Yeah. Now this looks like a nightmare with yeah. this, so I, I'll cut over here. Oh, okay. I'll cut some of the fur. <laughs> Bye then, behind the graphics, we'll move around. Hang on, I'll come over here. It's just gonna get fur everywhere. Oh. There we go. Sorry, John. I can leave after this hour and then, but you'll be the one breathing it in. What's that, what's saying, Hannah? That's no, dumped. Oh, there we go. All over your frock. I'll show you on the lining first, you can see. <laughs> yeah, after all that. You pull the corners apart. So where you've only sewn down to there and you've sewn the straight bits, you get your finger into the corner and then you pull the corners apart. Yeah. Like that. Mm. And then kind of slide them between your fingers and press the seam allowances open because yeah. then it helps you to get that center matched up there yeah so it's quite nice with the satin because you can slide it kind of left and right to get your center position yeah and the important thing is the edge of your fabrics are all lined up and then you get that okay. section like that and then we sew a centimeter across Brilliant. so you go right from the edge there over to there so we'll do that on each bit did you know you were doing champagne colored satin so because your nails are blending in totally with the fabric well i did them last night and i actually went i changed three different colors oh, i did honestly. them myself i know i thought no no next went for gold i didn't have time to go and get my nails done see so. there we go so we'll go across the bottom okay. of each of these So if you want a deeper bag, as you said, go for a bigger, yeah, just a, a bigger just square out. Okay. This is great for beginner, this one, because each of the projects is just really simple. Yeah, it's beginner, but yeah. then you've got to work with fur as well, with fake fur, yeah. faux fur. And that gives you your your yes, boxy yeah. kind of bottom there, which is great. Mm -hmm. You can see it from that side. So we'll do the same on this part. If you can see, now this is going to be quite thick, so I definitely would recommend if I can show you from the camera there. You would you like a walking really foot? Have we got a walking foot to fit this machine? Oh, I'll give it a go. It's only give it a go. Give, give it a go. go. If it gets trouble, we'll I'll, see. I'll, I'll, I'll <laughs> go and um, do bundles. Okay. The thing is, the fabric itself isn't actually thick. No. It's just you've got all the, the seam allowances and everything. All yeah, so on. definitely cut away all of that in there yeah. so you can see what you're doing. And then you haven't got all of this as well. Yeah. So again, you're pulling away your corner. Yeah. So do your lining first because you can see what you're doing. Master the technique on there and then you can get it done on this one. <laughs> If you've got a cat, a long-haired cat, <laughs> also, please be careful you've got hold of the bag and not the cat. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Hannah's looking after the ne their next-door neighbour's cat, right? Yeah. The cat's not allowed out. It's a yeah. house cat, totally. Oh. And um, I think it just gets traumatised because it hides from Hannah. It likes Hannah's mum if Hannah's mum goes <laughs> around, but not him. Anyway, um, the first time she did it, she took her mum round to meet the cat to show them a piece of furniture and the people had come home early. Oh no. So she sh <laughs> she's showing her mum round the next door neighbour's house and the next door neighbours are in. Oh no, awkward. Right. <laughs> right, so that is your, your bag. Right, okay. Now, the next stage would be to put your handles on, on this before you attach the whole oh, thing okay. together. Oh, okay, let's talk about handles then, I've because got... I've got two versions. I've got, I've these, got these that we've got, um, we brought in for Lisa Lamb. Yeah, they do smell good, don't they? Are they leather or are they not leather? They smell like leather. You see, I think these might have been ones that smelt like leather, but they weren't leather, but we'll just double check. 
Oh, Hannah, it was me who put that post on Facebook. Sorry, Christine, she doesn't mind. She really loves the attention. <laughs> They're not, they are, they are leather. They are leather. So if you oh, don't yeah. like using leather, I've got an alternative in a second, but these are definitely leather. Okay, so what are you doing? I'm finding the centre of the, of the fur. Yeah. I'm just putting a colourful pin in. And we're not going to sew all four on, but I'll show you no, 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 how no, to no. start doing the one. Yeah. Find the centre, and then you can... Like, there is obviously a right way to this. So these yes. are the inside parts. So you need to make sure that this isn't twisted as well. Yeah. So be mindful that you have it straight out and then around. curve it around. Be mindful that you go into so a centimetre around the top to attach the lining to oh, this. Oh, yes, of course you are, yeah. So you don't want this to be too near the top, yeah. but you would have it that little bit further down and just think, is there enough room, room for you to pull this back to, get to be able to get into there? there. Yeah. So if I were to stitch one of these, I would position them on using the centre and get and them so where you want them to go. And so many centimetres either side of that. Yeah, thing. and just kind of by eye or measure. Yeah. Because it's on the fur, you can't see a, a great deal. So to hold it in place, let me use that one actually. I'm almost going to just... Need a long pin. Try and just yeah. try and grip it in while I get some okay. thread. And then um, if you were to use, if you didn't want to let the handle, we have got the black webbing here as well. Which you could do almost the same thing, but just yeah. turn the end over. Yeah. So you've got your raw edge, raw edge in there. Do you get your... You can get a much thicker embroidery thread yeah, for this, yeah, which yeah, is yeah, quite yeah. nice. I've just got the thread that's come, you know, with the, the sewing. But I've done it in a double loop. So yeah. I've got a loop on the end, and I've got the two ends going through the eye of the needle. So okay. keep your loop down there. Yeah. And then when you start, you can just take it onto the inside of the bag and just catch a small amount of the fabric. Okay. Like that, if you can see. Yeah. And then pull it through. And before your loop comes through, just tuck your needle through it. And that gives you your anchor point. Without having a knot. Yeah. Which, yeah. And I'll just do another, another one there. Okay. And then pop that out of the way. And the hardest bit is trying to find the hole, the hole the to put it through. So you want to pull it up through, not the top one, but the second one down. Oh, OK. Because we'll do a back stitch then. Right, OK. And it gets easier. When you, when you find the first hole, it's fine. Now, these are quite nice and thick as well. So there we are. So when you find the first one, you're away. So you pull it up through there. And then you go into the top one. Right. Through to the back. If you... <laughs> If I can get that Easy through there. Down. Oh, it's through both layers of leather. There we go. And then you want to come back down to the next, next one. one. So you constantly go in back and through. Right. Now you will get hair stuck in as well, so you can pull that out at the end. I'll just pull that away. And this is something you can just do in front of the television as well. Yeah, with, if, the, with, the, with the vacuum cleaner on. Yeah, on permanently. <laughs> it's fine. So hopefully you can see past the hair. Yeah, 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 we can see it, yeah. Um, now, there. we've also got magnetic clasp. When would you put that on? When it's all finished? Or would you put that on the yeah. lining? Or how would you do it? When it's finished. And right, we'll okay. do it. I love the magnetic clasps. They're yeah. brilliant. If you prefer... Um, if you worry about stitching, hand stitching these on and then getting it under the machine with this, you could make the whole bag, but obviously if you put these on at the end of the finished bag, you will see a stitching underneath. Yeah. But sometimes it's quite a nice finish underneath to see yes. your oh, hand yeah, stitching. Yeah, 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 exactly. I love a leather handle, though, or just a, a proper handle. Yeah, a proper handle. A proper handle, yeah. Just flip it round this way. 
I was going to say, when we first started sewing it, I was thinking, oh, but of course you'd use a, a matching thread. But I actually quite like the fact that it's a, a different coloured thread. Oh, I like the contrast, yeah. yeah. Oh, have I called it out now? You don't want to push it through too hard because you really don't want to pierce the, the leather, obviously, where there no. isn't a hole. Now, do you not wear a thimble? No, I don't. I find them quite a pain if I, if I have them on. Mm. But my poor fingers get quite... Quite hard actually yes, on yeah. the end. Oh, I've pulled it out. No. Oh, don't worry because we can um, we can uh, we can see the idea of going okay. handle. Okay, so that's what you're doing all the way around there. Yeah. So we, I don't know where Bobby the needle lost. is. Oh, there it is. Yeah. In there. So if we should we stop at that stage and yeah. put the lining on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, then, so you do that all four. So, you would so have now, done all four. That side or that goes to that side. That, that would stays go on the same that side, doesn't it? And then you yeah. do one on the other side as well. Okay. Okay. So once you've done that, you can pull these bits back yeah and then you place the whole bag inside your lining so you have you your bag pins, yeah. I know. have your bag the right way round and your lining the wrong way round yeah put it all inside and then match up your your side seams so if you've got your handles in you know you do need to make sure they're tucked out of yeah, the way yeah yes exactly Oh, yes, yeah, so whoever made this one um, also used a yellow. I, sh I can show you a finished one here while you do that. Uh, absolutely great demo by Helen. She's great. Never let Helen go. Ooh. Oh, thank you. Is that my mum? That's from Susan <laughs> in Hampshire. No, it's not from us. Oh, thanks, Susan. But look, Susan. Here, here's the, um, this is the finished one here. It's nice for the contrast. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Very nice. I like the pom pom feature on it as well. Yes, but that's that's part of the that's part of the pattern, isn't it? Because I yeah. noticed on Chloe, I'll show you a picture of Chloe in a second. <laughs> it's gone everywhere. So again, trim the trim the fur down so you can see. Yeah. But you don't want to trim too far because obviously then you are going to have a definite. It's almost like shaving oh, yes, it, isn't it? So yeah. just enough. And then you've got the whole thing together. Pull off the arm of your machine. Yeah. And then you can tuck it underneath and, and just go it. round. Because you, yes, you're going all the way around, aren't you? Because you've got the hole in the bottom of the bag. Yeah, so we can turn While you're doing that, I'll just show you the different magnetic clasps I've got. I've got them in three different colours. Oh, actually, let me show you on the finished one here. But there's the one in this one. Now, uh, can I just say, they've, they've put the clasp on before they've stitched the, the lining in. Look. Oh, they put it all the way through? They've just put it onto the, onto the, oh, onto the lining. Onto the lining. Yeah, yeah, I'd still do that once I've done this anyway. Oh, would you? Yeah, Ooh. I tend to sew, because then it's not in the way, you can put it quite near okay, the then. top. Uh, okay, so then this one is the silver one. Mm -hmm. 449. Just the one in there, 449. I've also got them in gold. Oh. Yeah, it's coming in. <laughs> and then I've also got it in. Antique brass. Are they up? Okay. Right, and then you just turn the whole thing. Once you've gone all the way around the top, yeah. turn the whole Watch thing through. I know, I should have taken those out. This is where you think, oh, I should have done a smaller gap. Or a bigger gap. Uh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm thinking pin, pin. Let me just pull those out. Yes, because you've got not only the, the fur bag, you've also got all the leather handles, all the yeah. strappy handles in there and everything, don't you, to come through that little hole. This is why Lisa Lamb calls it birth. Oh, no, Lisa Lamb doesn't call it birthing. She, she we say Mrs H calls it birthing. Yeah. It is the fun bit when you see it come through, but you're like, is it even going to get there? 
And if you're struggling, just undo your, your gap a little bit more anyway. And there's a knack, which bit you kind of push through. Yes, Sometimes yes. it just goes. I am covered now. <laughs> oh, Elizabeth. Ooh. Elizabeth says, Helen is the best teacher on the channel. Don't ever let her go. There's another one. Gosh, it's like she I paid everyone today, isn't it? It's all these compliments. It's lovely. Yeah. On the week, you've made it. your first mistake. I know, I know. <laughs> Thank you for overlooking fur. it. <laughs> <laughs> So you have your bag. Yes. So then that would go, obviously, yeah, that I'm, way around yeah. on there. When you press this part, just press from the inside. Yeah. And just press your lining inside just a little bit and just say iron on two maximum. Yeah. Because it's a nice weight, this one. Yes. Um, don't go more than that. And you don't need to top stitch because you've oh, gosh, no, you try top not going to see yeah. anything anyway. So you've got that for your bag. To do your fastening, I need a little bit. What I'd normally do is put a little bit of interfacing behind On the, line, the lining. Yeah. So you could do that at the start. So you could just check where it's going. So if you find it easier, do it, find your center points and do it about two centimeters down from the top. Okay. Or find your, your center here. And on this side. I'll, go, I'll just finish the bag, then I'll do the recap, and then we'll go through the other bits and bobs. Okay. Gosh, we do need colourful pins. So definitely a hint. Use as many colourful pins as possible yeah. to see where everything is. I'm going to turn it this way. Oh, I see, because you've still got your gap at the bottom open. You can yeah. get in to do it that so way. So I'll do it this way round. Yeah. So what you get, where have I put them? Have you got yeah. one or do you want one yeah. of these? Yeah. I love these. I used these in, uh, when I did my university collection, I did lots of denim wear and did jeans and had these on the wall and I just, they're, they're fab. What, so every time they walk past the... No, no, they had, they had a zip, but they had a popper rather than yeah, yeah, kind yeah. of the buttonholes. But I've used them ever since. They're great. They come with a positive and a negative and these backing bits as well. Yeah. So these are really key to helping you do this yeah. part. Get your hand inside and place them, place this on where you want it to go. Yeah. And which is why I do it when it's finished because you can see where your seam is. Yeah, then. of course, yeah. And, and also then, you haven't had the worry of going past here on the same And catching machine. it on the machine. Yeah. So then I would mark, and hopefully you can see what yeah, I've done yeah, there. Yeah, with you. Okay, you've got that bit. And then you get, you would put a bit of interfacing behind. Yeah. It's the only thing I haven't done. Oh, don't worry. <gasps> you get and great then, big shears. I know. Just make sure you've only got your lining, which is quite good with this because you'll know yeah, if you've exactly, got the, yeah. the fur. Well, yeah, it'd be nothing worse if you've done no, a cotton bag and you go through both layers. Just snip a really tiny bit because the when you push the magnetic bits through, they'll make that gap a bit bigger anyway. Yeah. So go too small rather than too big. So you've just cut there. Pop your hand back through. Put these little bits then through the gaps that you've you've Cut. made. Yeah. So it looks like that. And yeah. then on the inside, yeah. you'll have those two prongs sticking out. Oh, you oh, thank you. And then you just put that on the back. It's up to you whether you fold them in or out. Yeah. Just whatever you have got the strength to do. If you struggle, if you if you haven't got the strength in your fingers, then you can almost just put it on the table and just flatten a little bit, and then you can just push the whole yeah, thing down. Yeah, yeah. And, and then would you put anything over that on the inside? Would you put a piece of washi tape or anything like that on the inside? Uh, like? I never have, okay. but if people do, it's, you know, yeah, it's yeah, yeah. new tips. So, so that's, and you do exactly the same. And on the other side. On the other side. You don't need to do that. No, nope. Right, okay. brilliant. Let me go and do, let me go and do bundles. Okay. And then you can decide. Prep what. the next bit. Have a look at Chloe. This is Chloe. Crazy Lorraine's best friend. Oh, wow, look at that. She's already, she was going a bit red because it was hot in her house when she took that picture. Look at her pom pom. I know. She's only about four foot eleven, Chloe. And we've just seen her. Right, three bundles. Three bundles I've got here. Now, oh, I need to tell you, half the handbag uh, handles have been checked out. Half the handles. Right. So I've got this one here, which is like wolf. Oh, they just call it brown. Half a metre of this, that's very long hair, and that's the one that Helen's been um, demonstrating with. Half a metre of the Duchess satin lining. 
plus your thread, plus your instructions, 23.99. Obviously, the handles and the magnetic class you have to get separately. Oh, yeah, and also, if you want to make a key ring with the pom-pom on, you, we haven't got the, we've got swivel clips, we haven't got the other bit you attach to it. We did have, I don't know what happened to them, but anyway, must have sold out, yeah? I think it was just a one show we did, and they all sold out. A one show wonder. Oh, we've got polar bear. It isn't polar bear. Not real polar bear. No, because real polar bear fur's really, really long like that, isn't it? Yeah? Oh, yes, I've been about that close to a real polar bear. Yeah, there was glass between us. Oh, that's very close. This is the white fur. Once you get half a metre of your white fur, now the lining on this one is different. This is the anti-static lining, not the Duchess satin lining. So what Fiona said was you might need to, on the uh, fur stole, you might need to put two layers of your, of your lining. Plus your thread, plus your instructions. You're not even, Hannah is like, she's doing like this and she's not even down here with all this fur. And then the last one isn't fur at all. It's stretch. That's like a stretch. Look. So that will be completely different. Actually, I'd like, to, I, I, I'd like to know if you make it out of this, I'd like to know how it goes because you've got a non-stretch lining with a stretch fabric. Black plush. You've got a metre of the stretch black plush. Oh, a metre of the black. Duchess satin lining because your lining is going to be um, sturdier than your outside fabric plus your thread plus your instructions 19.99 right, I'm coming back here I'm <laughs> peeling it off yes. we've got fur everywhere <laughs> right so what, what's this then this is the scarf there's yeah. I think there are two different kind of just ways like of doing it I know I'm just that's it, that's it. All over. Oh, no, Claire, you've got one bit there that's a fake. That, that's just there. Let's get rid of it. Oh, my gosh, that's huge. <laughs> right. Right, OK. Right. So you have your well rectangle initially. So it gets you to draw out your rectangle and then get a curve of a bowl or plate or something just to curve off the edges, the edges yeah. here on both sides. And then you place your fur bit facing up, I find easier. Oh, You've so right sides, right, yeah, right, right sides together. Right sides together. Yeah. And then I'd place your satin on top so yes. you can see the edges. Yeah. And it may not look level here, but the edge here, because all the furs go in that, that way. that way, of course, because that's the pile. Yeah, there, it's isn't cleaner. It? Whereas the actual edge of the oh, fabric. Oh, so the pile and the stole all go. Because I was thinking all... it would be that way, but then one it, that means one end you'd have it going up and one end you're coming down. Exactly. Whereas this way it's going to be the so same. So the way, way it's yeah. cut, and because you get the half, is it half metre? Yeah. Then this is the only way you can cut it anyway. Yeah. So, you know, don't worry if that's all sticking out. And yeah. then you can actually almost pull it back through if there's a difference yeah. afterwards. You need to leave your your gap. Shouldn't be as bad to pull through. Oh, so this is actually one. quite simple. I thought it was Dead more complicated. Easy. No, yeah. it's super easy. And we just sew. Okay. All the way around to there. Right. So do you want me to do that or do you want me to do a little bit on the hat? Oh, well, if, you, if you're if you happy to, because literally you just That's sew around just that. All the way around. With the gap open, pull it all pull through. Pull it through and just slip stitch. Okay, and then what do you do with the, did you say you pull, once you've sewn it, you pull the fur through? Hang on, I, I think when you one. sew over the whole thing, you might be able to almost pull some of the, the fur back through. So you'd say from here, you just almost, yes. if it's what you will see, it will kind of be folded like that, so you can maybe, rather than cut this away, I don't know how it would go, it depends on how close your stitching is, but you potentially could pull yes, yes, some yeah, of definitely. it through. Yeah. So don't cut this Because you don't quick. want hard, well, that, well, I suppose that one's a harder, it, that, that's the edge that was all sticking yeah. out, and that's the other edge, isn't it? So it's just yeah. a little bit to pull through, isn't it? Because all of this will go like this anyway. Yes, exactly, exactly. So don't worry too Perfect. much. So that is that one. Okay. And then the hat. Uh, Sean from Greater Man, this is a different Sean. <coughs> Fantastic demos from Helen, especially the coach. She's a star. Oh, thank you, Evelyn. An old star, 39. I know, I know, an ancient. Hardly, ancient. Hardly. <laughs> right. Right, I'll have to recap on this Oh, one. yeah, she said seven, not 39. Sorry, I'm trying to say you're 39. Oh, God, don't give, give my two other years <laughs> away. <laughs> I need those. <laughs> you cut on here. No, it was that bit. I put away. There you have. So this is the hat. Right. So I haven't quite cut all of that bit yet. But so all, are all, all three of these pieces? Oh, that's no, that's pom-pom. Pom -pom. That's pom-pom. Yeah, yeah, so you need to cut this, and you also cut it in your, your lining. lining. 
so we'll need to cut around these. Okay. What's, these. what's this one? So this is just a rectangle? Then. Yeah, so this is just a simple rectangle and you fold up, you sew your side edges and the only tricky bit is putting the base on. So oh, okay. I can show you that bit. Yeah, that will yeah, be, course, I think, brilliant. enough to get everyone yeah. up and running. Sorry. So this one, I'll get all the cutting done so we don't have to get any fur all over the table. No. Right. No. No. Uh. Oh no, here it goes. And then we'll cut the circle as well. So choose your measurement. So get a tape measure and just measure your head and just check which size hat you want yeah. to make. Yeah, so now you just, all you've done is draw a square and then curve yeah. off within the square so itself. So it tells you to draw a square by, well, it does tell you to do the circle and the diameter, so you can just draw a square yes. with the diameter and then just curve off your, your edges. I think with the fur as well, you don't, even if you didn't have a perfect circle, you can, there's, you can be forgiven with no, all no, the fur. No, no, definitely, it's not, it's not an unforgiving fabric fur because no. you can hide a multitude. You can hide though. everything. So on here, just to recap with it, so you're doing your pillbox hat. So the right side, pin and sew together the hat fur piece at the short side. Yes. So we'll pin. It'd be a funny shaped hat if you did it oh, the long side. Exactly, you'd have quite a strange looking head. Uh, can we have the Let's little, uh, have we got the little um, vacuum cleaner in stock at the moment? Not as in to sell, just to hoover him with a break. Oh, look at that under. Help just through again, help it through. Sometimes I find with fur, if you, if you start like an inch down, yeah, a bit and further, and then reverse up again, and yeah, then you're come right. Down, sometimes it'll, sometimes it'll be the teeth just need to grip onto something, don't they? Yeah. There we go. Oh, thank you. What's the matter, Hannah? <laughs> oh, I've got the wrong nozzle on, that's why. It doesn't matter, it's a good way of putting it. That was good. <laughs> okay. That's better. Available on the website. I should have got. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay, so the next thing you need to do is mark your four points of the circle. So the easiest way to do that is to fold, maybe this way, fold your circle in half and just, hopefully that pen is the one that works. Yeah. Yeah. And do both ends. So you're just quarter, quarter marking it, really? Yeah. And then to get your other sides, match those two bits up and same in there. I'll do the same in the lining so you can see a bit better if you can't quite figure out yeah. what I've done now. And this is really important to help fit it in. So same on here, fold over. And do a small little notch on, on this one. And then match up what you've just marked. Okay. And there. And then let me just double check before I get you to do the wrong thing. So you've got you to make make a marker of four equal points of the fur yeah. and the lining crown pieces. Yeah. And then you pin the fur crown piece to the ring side piece of one raw edge. So you only actually put one layer on at a time. Yes. So you pin this one on, so you put your right sides together. Yeah. I need one of those for if I ever get yes, a project at home. <laughs> oh, look, you're making us a tidy up, you're making <laughs> even more. Ma oh. Ah. Don't know where it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Very good because it eats as you go along. Right, so you're marking oh, up now I'm just your four doing points the same, of your circle yeah, to your four points of your thingy. It is multi. Mm -hmm. 
And then, so you match up your four points. Yeah. You'll be glad when this one's over, isn't it? Yeah, to I'm see. Gonna, I'm gonna... <laughs> and good, that bit. So this is, you know, if you're doing anything with a circle um, being stitched on, always get these four points done first. Yes. And it helps everything else fit in. If you can push the fur in as well. Yeah. Now, it. I'm not going to get you to sew that. I'm just going to oh, tell thanks. you. No, no, no. It's not, <laughs> not because I'm feeling sorry for it. Oh, but you would. Uh, we did the hat. They did the hat last time, didn't they? So yeah. I can give you the date on the hat last time. Pin the rest so, and sew. 16th of January it was. So you stitch all the way around there. Yeah. So you've actually made your, like, Cossack hat sort yeah. of thing. Then I presume you do the same with your lining. Do you? Yeah. And there's a gap somewhere to turn it through. So yeah. I think, actually, you, once you've sewn that, actually, you fold this bit through. Yeah. And your fingers. Yeah, and then you would actually then place this. I'll have to check which way. Read the patterns. I don't want to say anything I shouldn't do, but then that will get attached um, onto there. Yeah. Inside, and then the whole thing kind of gets popped up oh, inside. Okay, so you okay. only actually get the lining on the top oh, bit. Oh, that's what you were so meant you to get the fur inside the and the outside. See, I okay. See, 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 yes. So yeah. Okay. So hopefully right. that makes uh, sense. Hi to all, could you please tell me how wide is the wool fabric? Thank you, I'm watching every day. And I think it's about 160, but I'll go measure it in a second. What did you say Janice wanted to say really quickly? Right, the pom-pom. Okay, with Fiona, when Fiona was on last doing this, she did speak about the pom-pom. We're, we're not doing it today, yeah. but um, but Chloe's made it, so if Chloe's made it, you should be able to. It's just yeah, oh, you just cut the circle, do a, a run-in stitch with thread to just draw it into the centre. Yeah and just secure and it. And that makes the actual pom-pom. Yeah, and then you just attach, I think Whatever just hand sew the, um, the key ring on then, yeah. He's Brilliant. Let me that was fantastic. When are you in next? Uh, February 20th, I think. Oh, quite a think. while then. Yeah, I've got a little break. So here's Rhea, thank you ever so much thank you very for doing much. your very hard work today. I'll see you later. Right, just two bundles, ooh, just two bundles to show you. We've got the wolf, oh now, how wide's the wolf? Somebody wanted to know, didn't they? Oh, I might need to take measure, Christopher. I'd say it was 150, but I'll just get Chris to measure it now. Can you see him? Oh, that's Chris's belly, you can see there. <laughs> <laughs> Don't giggle now, you're on telly. Oh, 155, 155 wide. Right, that's measuring it from um, where he comes from. I'll measure it again, but no, it is 155. What's that? <laughs> and there's fur everywhere, I have to say. So you get half a metre of that, plus half a metre of the, the um, cappuccino lining, uh, Duchess satin lining thread, and instructions, £23.99. pence. <sighs> right, oh, single, oh, sorry, single figures on that one. Oh, <sighs> I think I might have to change my shirt, I'm covered. Uh, you can hoover me down in a minute, Chris, that could be a treat for the morning. And then you get half a metre of the white fur, no, it's not real polar bear, this, Hannah, keeps wanting me to tell you. It's not even like a polar bear. I think it was more like... Well, no, fake fur is all based. The way they weave it, it's all based on animal, but uh, it's not real animal, obviously, at all. Half me to that. Now, this lining is only your anti-static lining, this one. Oh, oh, do you know what I think would be nice? If you had the... They should have put the black Duchess satin with that, and then you'd have had a black line. Oh, that would have been lovely. Anyway, 22 99 thread plus instructions. Excuse me. Ooh. Oh, it's all right. I'm still on air. Don't worry, Laura. They, I don't know. £22.99. Handles, leather. Here we go. Oh, look, they're, they're like little legs. They're spin, spindly legs like that. They're little feet. Doop, 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 doop. Uh, £12.99 these are. They're 72 <laughs> Can you not see it? They, they could, oh, now, now there's four of them. There's a whole chorus line of them. Now, look. Anyway, 12 99 I'll, I'll, I'll have a chocolate biscuit in the break. Don't worry. Um, am I doing this as well? Webbing. If you don't want leather, do it with webbing. Ooh. Today's... I've, I've eaten two... Wait, I've got fur all... Um, 5 99 Oh, no, I was going to get some 505 out then. That's not in this hour. 
5.99, let's go for a break. Let's just go for a break. When we come back after the break, it's storage and tools. I'll see you in five from now. Tune in on Thursday, the 31st of January for our first ever Super Savings on Sewing Machines event. Regular guest and sewing machine expert Jane Brogan joins me, John Scott, for demonstrations, professional advice and super savings on a wide selection of our favourite Elna and Janome models. We're thrilled to offer fantastic discounts at price points to suit every pocket. Whether you're buying your first sewing machine, upgrading your current model, or want extra functions for dressmaking, embroidery, or quilting, you'll save hundreds of pounds during our event. The chance to compare different models and see them in action during our Super Savings event not only means you can take advantage of these massive discounts, but also buy with confidence. So don't miss our first ever Super Savings on Sewing Machines event, Thursday the 31st of January, only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 73 and Sky Channel 687. Tune in on Sunday the 3rd of February for the return of the handy quilter Simply 16 long arm quilting machine for your home. The 16 inch long arm incorporates innovative hoop technology resulting in a compact freestanding frame that still accommodates quilts of any size. Ergonomic handlebars, colour touchscreen controls and 1,800 super smooth stitches per minute are just a few of its professional features. In the studio to demonstrate those benefits and more will be Liz Hoplin, handy quilter expert and the UK's official distributor. Just as Joy Edgington did last time, Liz will be putting the Simple 16 through its paces live on air, allowing you to see exactly how simple it will be to fit in your home and your life. Our exclusive sewing quarter package includes a selection of tools including the handy quilter long arm rulers and ruler accessories. So prepare to spend two hours with Handy Quilter Simply 16 Long Arm starting at 10am Sunday the 3rd of February only on Sewing Quarter. Freeview Channel 73 and Sky Channel 687. We've got some exciting news. Sewing Quarter are delighted to announce that we now have our very own app. Available for download on all iOS and Android devices. Simply go to the App Store or Google Play and search Sewing Quarter. Once you've downloaded the app, you'll be able to watch Sewing Quarter live 24 hours a day and purchase all the products on today's show. So download the app today and keep watching Sewing Quarter on the move. Have you been watching Sewing Quarter but still thinking about placing that first order? Then the new year is the perfect time to start shopping with our brand new offer for brand new customers worth $29.98. Not only will we send you two metres of fabric worth $14.99, but also the official Sewing Quarter sewing kit, also worth $14.99. The kit contains everything you need for sewing on the go and those last minute fixes. Simply make that first exciting purchase with no minimum spend and we'll add these gifts to your order automatically while stocks last. Here at the Sewing Quarter, we love to share our favourite products with you. From bestsellers to brand new discoveries and those essential but unsung heroes. And of course, the forgotten gems. I love chatting about my own latest finds and long-term favourites. So every Wednesday, I'll be sharing my personal top picks and telling you a little bit about why they've won a place in my must-have list. You can also find out more about my top picks on the website, gathered together in one really convenient place for you to make it even easier to shop for yours and my favourite sewing accessories. All you have to do is click on the shop button and my top picks will be the first thing that you will see. So make yourself a cuppa, keep your eyes peeled and every single Wednesday you'll discover Wendy's latest top picks. I'll see you then. Simply Sewing is a magazine for dressmakers and home sewists who are passionate about fabrics and love to sew with stylish patterns. Each issue is packed with technical know-how, templates and easy to follow instructions to sew yourself quick wardrobe updates, accessories, plushy toys, gifts, bags and more. Plus, each issue comes with a free dress pattern from our expanding trend-led collection. We're proudly flying the flag for contemporary sewing with stylish patterns and beautiful photography to inspire sewists across the globe at every level.
Was I not listening in the prep meeting earlier? Something was going to go on table two, wasn't it? Oh, okay, I think it should have done, shouldn't it, really, Christopher? Look at me, I'm a bit bolded in. Anyway, it's fine. I'll manage. Oh, oh, can I do these first? Oh, Hannah wants to talk about lunch first. She's getting, she's getting a baked potato uh, at lunchtime. Oh! <laughs> right, at the end of the break, Hannah said to me, have you already brought your lunch or are you going out to get something? And I said, oh, I've brought some, I've got my boiled eggs. And she said, uh, oh, I'm going to Paisley to get a baked potato. And I said, was it reopened or was it reopened today? Three, two, one. Hello, everybody, hello. Hannah said, talk about lunch. I was like, Hannah's having a baked potato. What she meant was, talk about, <laughs> talk about this lunch. You can win, you can win lunch with me and Vicky and Neil and Hannah. You can meet this phenomenon, award-winning producer. I know she's an award-winning television producer. Well, all I'm going to say is, come open-minded. Come open-minded. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Because, no, well, I, like, you know, the thing is, I've got to put, it, I've just got to put something straight here as well. I know I pick on Hannah all the time, but I adore her. I love her. So I wouldn't do this if I didn't pick on her. Now, I pick on little Paul because he needs picking on, right? But I do pick on Hannah all the time. But she picks on me. You just can't hear it. That's all. Or she gives me the silent treatment. I do about four auctions. There's no words. And I think, oh, I know I've said something wrong now. That's not professional, that's itchiness. Anyway, you'll meet her. If you win, if you win, you could meet Hannah, right? And all you need to do to win, and uh, to be in with a chance of winning, obviously, is buy something. Every time you check out between, I don't know when it opened, it was done a couple of days ago, because I've not been in for two days, and midnight tomorrow night, Thursday night, one of you will win. You need to be free on the 7th of February. Arriving, you've got to get yourself to Birmingham, by the way. Um, Oh, excuse me. Um, 10.30, you have to arrive, meet the team, wander around the studio, uh, and then we'll go for lunch half past one. Uh, just, and you can bring a friend. Oh, so don't be thinking, oh, I don't want to go on my own. You can bring a friend. You can, it's for two of you. Right. Uh, oh, Timothy, wouldn't it be fun if you bought? Oh, no, you can't. You work here. Oh, no, you don't. After today, you could buy tomorrow, Timothy, and then it could, you could win. Anyway, you won't. Um, well, no, you don't, have, you're not, you don't have luck in your life, do you, Timothy, really? Look, now, I looked at these one and said to Hannah, why have we got roll plugs in the show? Is it because Sexy Sam said you needed roll plugs? But no, she said she thought the same. She thought these were roll plugs. These are brilliant. I don't know who invented these. Are any one nine time? Oh, no wonder they fly out. They've only had... The Look, right, what you do is, you know when you use a bobbin on the machine, right, and this is your reel of thread, and you want to match the thread to the reel of cotton, you literally pop one of those in the top of your thread and your bobbin sits on that bit and it just matches. How brilliant is that? What a brilliant idea. Hemline bobbin match mates. Didn't Davina used to do a, sh a show called something like that and she used to put people together in the street. 199. When did you say that? I didn't, think, I didn't use that word actually. One ninety nine. I'm being told off now by my producer for using a word I shouldn't have. I do apologise if I offended anyone. I don't think it was an offensive word. Oops. Look. So that bit goes into your... Th into your I don't know why I'm spending so much time on these. I love them. I think they're fantastic. Anyway, I'll put those away now. Oh, well, I haven't got a reel of thread, have I? And a bobbin. Oh, I've got a bobbin. I've got a bobbin. So that goes on that end like that. And then... then oh! <laughs> <laughs> we'll come back to that later. We'll come back to that later. Oh. <laughs> It'll turn up later. <laughs> Let's move on. Swiftly on. No, it's fine. We're moving on. Moving on, moving on, moving on. Uh, let's do the spool rack. Where is it? Oh, there it is, round there. Um, hang on a second. I'm just going to give these to Christopher. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I did that bit. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> it's going to be one of those hours, isn't it? Well, it's only 50 minutes now. How did you do that then? You get double the storage out of this. So you can do it. Now, obviously, this, this, where you're only doing this, how much you get in a packet? Oh, you've done it the other way to me. I did it that way around. That's what was wrong with, like that. But then, no. Well, that's the way you're supposed to do it, but it's sprung off. You do it this way around. The shorter end goes in your thread bobbin, and your longer end has your bobbin on it like that. I don't think you'll get another bobbin on there somehow. Oh, yes, you will. But you're never going to have two of the same colour, are you? There you go. Uh, now, obviously, what I'm showing you now is, is the spool rack. I'll take that off there, and the bobbin mates are going across the bottom. But now you get 12 in a packet. You get 12 in a packet. You see, what I did, just to explain what I did earlier, I put the long bit through like that and left the short bit up there, and then I went to push the bobbin on like that, and it went like that. <laughs> Not funny that time. Right. Thank you, Jan. Jan loved my leather bag legs, right? Everyone else was like just laughing at me. Yeah, Chris is there. Chris is there. Uh, she actually says, I do love you presenting, John Scott. It's good to laugh. Thank you, Jan. Is Jan? You have to laugh 15 minutes every day to keep yourself going. That's what I say. 19.99. This. Now, look, 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 look. It's got legs. It's got legs. Yeah, I'm not a doctor, but, it's, but look, but look, you can put it on the wall if you want to. This also fits into a drawer if you want to put it in a drawer. Oh, you have to laugh 15 minutes a day, don't you? You're all right. Oh. Keep you young, keep you young and healthy, but I'm not a doctor, so I can't say. But I think laughter is, laughter and hugs are the best medicine, that's what I think. Oh, we're going to, we're going to deflecto, are we? Oh, interesting. Let me move this out of the way, because that's in the way. Now, this, 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 this. Uh, now, Sexy Sam came in. What date was he in? All right, mate. He was supposed to be in before Christmas, but there was a hold-up on the N4, couldn't get here in time, so he came in again after Christmas. Caused a stir in the office. Anyway, uh, he works for uh, Deflecto, which, who make these. They're really, really good quality plastic. I've got lots of Deflecto, or well, not lots, a few things of Deflecto. These all fit together, look. See if, if you see you've got your um, tongue and groove. 8th of January is the day he was in. Uh, do, go and do go and have a watch. Do go and have a watch. He's very pleasing on the eye, ladies. Nine pounds and 99 pence. Now, what's, I'm very informative. He knows all about his job as well, and everything. But look, you see this. But the funniest thing was, I said, how did you, so, uh, Sam, how did you get into this? I think he was going to say, oh, I studied plastics. So he went, well, my mate, who I go motorbiking with, he worked for Deflector, and he said, do you want a job? <laughs> Which I thought was quite funny and honest. Uh, anyway. Uh, so they all slipped together. No, normally, we'd have more than one of these to show you how they just slipped together, but um, we haven't got more than one of these. He took them back with him. But look, these are like silicon. So if you've got something that's slightly bigger than the actual hole, he's, um, look, he's, uh, he, they've got like pens in them. They can either sit that way up or like that there. And then they just lock together and it gives you some suggestions on here of, there you go, different formations you can make. Nine pounds and 99 pence though. That's nice. Oh, pfft. okay, I'm not supposed to tell you this. Vix has just had her face shaved and, sh and she said, while I'm here, do you want me to make an appointment for you, Hannah? That's what friends are for, isn't it? This Vix. At least she'll be nice and smooth for the lunch. Right, next. So, oh, oh, I was him saying on the deflector. Sorry, sorry. I thought you said you were moving all over the place. That's right. Right, here we go. Uh, this is lovely. These fly out. This is a little bundle we put together for him. So these are all again from Deflecto. What you get is you get two trays. Oh, I'll do it, John. You get two trays. 
Now, at the moment, this is the only way we've got this tray, because the tray's on, the, on their own sold out. So you get the tray, which is here. Now, you see you've got your two levers here. You've got your moulded uh, base there. What you do is you fit one of these in like that. Then, do you see the clasps on the side here? Clop, clop. That holds it together. Then this one as well comes with it. So you get two trays and you get the wheelbase. So look at that, it's fantastic. Uh, and what, what you also get is in each tray, you get four single units and you get one double unit. I'll just turn that around. One double unit there, all made with clear plastic. They've all got the big clasps on the front here. They've all got lugs on the back here. So now you see these lugs here, they, go into the lug holders on the side there. So they're not going to go anywhere. They just click in like that. But also, if you've bought the bar to go on the wall, they will fit onto the bar on the wall as well. So what you do is if you say, if you have everything in here and you think, today I'm going to be doing such, such a project. Oh, I just need that one, that one, and maybe that one. Put them on the wall next to you so you've got everything you need for that project. Then at the end of the day, pop it back in here. Put the the lugs into the lug holders there. <coughs> and you can st keep stacking these if you wanted to. I don't think I've got this tray on its own, have I? No, so today I've only got this, this bundle here. Nicola with a K. Not, not Cadicola, not like that, not like, um, no, anyway. Uh, hi, John, thank you for giving me my incentive back for sewing. I love your shows, you're a breath of fresh air. I love so much, you make me cry. Then she's put had. Had what? Are you all right, Nicola with a K? Did you? Did you have an, you know, accident when you were laughing at me? Had to turn you off earlier because you were boring me. What was it, Nicola, with a K? Another one from Staffordshire. Lots of Staffordshire callers today. Or had a great time. Or, I don't know. Anyway, Nicola, thank you very much. That's what we kind of hoped for because we didn't want it to be like, obviously, we're a shopping channel. We have to, you know, we're here to sell things. But we wanted to make it, you feel like you're in, you know, you're in my lounge or you're in my craft room or I'm in your craft room. Uh, you've never been invited to my house? Well, stop, Hannah, until you've been... Oh, no, I have invited you to my house. But then when you do invite me to yours, I stopped inviting you, so that's fine. And also, there's only four buses a week, so you'd find it difficult to get there. Anyway, 52, 97, she's having driving lessons. The poor man. Oh, no. Anyway, she's, uh, she's decided she's only going to do a man... Not a manual car, a automatic car. So we've got one thing less for her to think about while she's doing Next, moving on. Oh, we are doing, which one? Carrying on with Deflecto. This is the six tub. Now, we had this filled with sweets when we first got it. No, it's not food safe, unless the sweets are all individually wrapped. Like uh, chocolate eclairs, or chocolate limes, or Ferrero Rocher, or... Oh, no, celebrations. Roses. Anyway, they wouldn't last. They don't last. We filled it and then it was f empty. Do you know what? Uh, now, I was going to talk about uh, Rebecca Jane Frost, Alexander, Alexander Frost. Uh, she brought in a whole thing of sweets like this. Yeah, so we kept them in here on the day, thinking there'll be none left when we go out. I put it on the desk, right, when I finished here. Came in the next day, empty. Empty. Anyway, 16.99. These are deflector. Now these are uh, carousel tubs. They just come off like that. Uh, and then this is your base, like your lazy Susan, your party Susan. They all fit in there. Uh, and then the tops just come off like that. They're not. I, I don't, don't want you to put food in them. I think you'd be alright putting pasta shapes in them, but they they say as a company they're not food safe. Um, but buttons, ribbon. Uh, bindings, uh, you know, anything that you've got lots of, you just want to store, and you want to be able to see where they are. You can fit fat quarters in. I haven't got any fat quarters in here. You have to roll them up to fit in there. Yeah, so like, wait, wait, wait. I was just seeing if I've got any on the set, but I haven't. Um, oh, yes, there might be the ones that Hannah wants to steal. Oh, she knows where they are, they're here. Um... These aren't the ones you want. Look, you see, if you keep your fat quarters, so say they're fat quarters when you've already opened the bundle. I've made a mess of that one. 
So just remind you what colour colourways you've got there. Just slide them in like that. Keep the dust free, keep them dust free. But also, how lovely, because once you've opened the bundle and you've used a couple of them, look, you see, imagine that, that looked lovely. And also, it's going to look lovely on the shelf as well, isn't it? Very decorative on the shelf. I'll just put those in the drawer. Oh, Nicola with a K. I wouldn't have guessed. Oh, she's had to check up today. Lost five kilos, 11 pounds since Christmas without trying. Nicola, that's brilliant. I can't get back into it. I, I lost almost a stone before Christmas and I'm now four pounds heavier than I was. So I put four pounds back on and I cannot shift it. It's, it's fine. When it's the end of January now, I thought I'll be fine for a couple of weeks. Um, all my food is sin free. It's just all the snacks I've between aren't. That's the problem. Yeah. I, I, and also, uh, my Vibra Power, I've been using that. That doesn't seem to be making me any slimmer, but I could be moving on. Hannah goes to the gym every day, but I, on the way from her house to the gym, there's that really lovely bakery I told you about, so she stops for a muffin on the way. I always have mine on the way back, because you feel like you've earned it then, not because you have to go, and you have to, you have to burn it off while you're there, so you're no better off than when you left your house, whereas I think if you have your muffin on your way back, anyway, it doesn't matter. 16.99, 16.99. You shouldn't have the muffin, full stop. It is a lovely bakery. She, she, um, when she was in there last time, she Instagrammed, and the man saw her putting a picture of the, um, she said uh, it was embarrassing because he thought she was asking for a date, and she was asking for a date, a date muffin. But Now, this is the same sort of thing, but this one has nine storage because you have the three taller ones that we've just seen, and then six of the shorter ones. So if you have got buttons or beads or something like that, you want to put in those. It doesn't take up much space. And of course, it's not going to, you don't have to un, you know what I mean? You haven't got to unload things to see what's in every box. You can just turn it round. Your lazy Susan, your party Susan. I was, con I was convinced it was called a party Susan at um, Tupperware because the middle had a circle in it. And my mum used to either cut a tomato in the shape of a rose and put that in the middle or... I can't remember what else she used to put in. She used to put something in there anyway that was decorative. Nice. Those posh, those posh garden furniture you get, the bit that goes round the big umbrella, they're big things like that. You can put plates of like nibbles on them. You can spin them round, can't you, while you're sitting in the garden in the summer. That what? Yeah, these aren't food safe. I'm talking about now the garden furniture ones. Oh, crazy Lorraine. Did you see the picture of Chloe? We showed Chloe's picture earlier. Hang on. Carousel storage, great for Christmas embellishments. <laughs> there you go. Christmas, it's 360 sleeps till Christmas. Oh, no, won't we now? Will it 350 sleeps? Till? No, 300. Anyway, uh, thank you, Lorraine. Did you keep your Christmas embellishments in yours? Now, this is unusual. This is a ruler rack, plastic. You can put it on the wall if you want to. There's, your, there's the screws you can put on the wall. It sits on the wall. But look, not only have you got room for your normal size rulers here like this. It clicks in, doesn't it? Oh, no, it doesn't click. It just kind of fits. For, oh, yeah, they're nice and secure. Yeah, but then look, there's also ones for your smaller rulers in there. Like that would be your normal like school ruler, wouldn't it? That would be your quarter inch ruler, maybe. Or that would be your stick one. You know, the stick, quarter inch stick one. 1799. It's nice and sturdy, this. Let me see what it says, oh, it says on the packet. Oh, now, oh no, you wouldn't put your rotary cutter. No, I don't know why they've got a picture of a rotary cutter on that. Sturdy storage solution for patchwork and sewing rulers and templates, it says. Very nice. That's all it says. Oh, he goes more. Ideal for patchwork and sewing rulers. Always safe and within easy reach. Slots accommodate to all common rulers. Six long and four short. Enables an organised workspace, non-slip rubber feet. Two built-in sl slots on back for flush wall mount screws not included. Make sure you get the right wall plugs though for your wall. Yeah, she said, I saw Chloe, she's very shy like me. Yeah, yep, like the two of you. What, what? Yes, yeah, she is, she's very shy, Lorraine. Oh. Duh, John Scott. Well, you see, I don't normally put packaging back on, you see, at home. I just throw it away. Or recycle it.
Here we go. Now, this, so we're going off deflecto now. Okay. Keeping it fresh. Right. When I saw the picture on this, I tell this joke, not joke, tell this story every time. I see this on my pole sheet, and I think it's going to be the horn story. How are we going to wheel that in? This is lovely, isn't it? Mill wood, wooden drawer, storage box, 24 and a half by 24 and a half by 17 centimetres. Look, pins, needles, buttons. Fred? Uh, I'd paint it. I'd definitely paint this. Oh, no, I would. I'd paint over that as well, because that would, that would be embossed, wouldn't it? It would come out nice, that. Don't you think? No, maybe not. <laughs> How weird. It's not embossed, it's just kind of printed on top, overlaid on the top, so maybe it won't show. So may maybe I'd then st I'd, I'd take the drawers out, paint all of this, and then put the drawers back in. I might paint that little bit. Oh, no, because that's not embossed. Right? But the edge of that is deep. Anyway, maybe I'd highlight the inside of the... <laughs> no, no, I think I'd just get a very fine paintbrush and just paint inside the groove. Tim doesn't. Both, you said both. Oh, no, you said you both work there. £24.99. Moving on, moving on. Oh, do you know, that's why my glasses were on there. Because we were putting my glasses in the glass case for display and I went, oh, I won't leave them in there because I'll forget they're there. And what do I do? Now, one of these, one of these, is it this one or that one I've only got a handful of? Okay, I've only got 10 of these left. I've only got 10 of these left now. The other four designs have all sold out. Oh, they're upside down. See, so they fit nicely in there, don't they? You do not get the glasses with it. Six ninety-nine, nice solid base as well. It's nice to get. And also, the amount of, I haven't got, I've got brown cases on mine that you just get free from Specsavers. And then my posh glasses, I've got a black case. If they're in the bottom of my bag, can I find them? Can I, heck? But you see, if that was in my bag, if that was in my bag, I'd be able to see that at the bottom of the bag, wouldn't I? Six, nine times, only ten of those, so. Okay, Tim doesn't have that shoes because he doesn't take his glasses off. Six, nine, two, nine. Bright haberdashery glasses case. Nice, isn't it? Okay, six, nine, two, nine. Now, uh, only five of you can get this next thing. There's only five available. Sunflowers on denim. Oh, yeah, Helen should get the... Oh, she hasn't got glasses, though. She doesn't wear glasses. That could be it. She could wear sunglasses in there, I suppose, couldn't she? Oh, how dirty are my glasses? Hooray! And you can see that... No, that's the scratch. That's the light. Oh, that's... What's on the cover of that one, there? <gasps> that's disgusting, John Scott. I've got screen wipes. I've got screen wipes. I'll get them out after. Oh, is that? Oh, uh, uh, Laura must have done that. I have to put my glasses on to see the scratch on with it. You sure it's not a bit of fur? It's gone. It's gone. Bit of fur. Or am I to dribble my lunch down them? One of the two. Anyway, six ninety nine. No, because they're on the table when I'm eating my lunch. Don't wear my glasses when I'm eating my lunch. I think I can see eggs and tomatoes without that. Sunflowers on denim. Look. Oh, denim, look. It's not real denim. Denim, look. Or sunflowers on denim. Look! Sewing case. Sewing glasses case. 
Hang on, sunflowers on denim look so in Glassy's case. Um, sunflowers. Yeah, why are they sewing glasses? No, they're not sewing glasses. That's separate. So it's sunflowers on denim look sewing. Glasses case. No. But it doesn't even make sense even with punctuation, does it, that one? Never mind. Yes. Retro sewing basket. Oh! I was about to say... I was about to say, oh, this is £40. I know this from, from old. Uh. Now, these were £39.99 when we first launched them. £23. That's good. So we've got a lovely shaped plastic handle. We've got this padded top with the little scissors motif on there. Then we've got your uh, magnetic clasp. Oh, it's quite a strong one. Oh, blimey, look. That's a strong one. Then we open up, and in here we've got the um, pin pad. We've got the little vanity bags there. Uh, then you've got, oh, now that's a nice. This isn't your hard plastic. That's like a real, that's like a deflecto plastic, that one there. And then inside, look at the depth in there. Really, really lovely depth in there. Which, should, Oh, well, it's as deep as that. Well, I'll show you, shan't I? Oh, no, it's not that deep. It's that deep there. It's that deep there. Um, but look, look, look at the shape of it. It's a gorgeous, like, kind of rounded shape at the end there. And it's got little round, like, Malteser uh, feet. They're not Maltesers. You can't eat them. Wrong colour. I think I'm hungry, aren't I? Because I didn't, you know, I haven't eaten. Because I forgot my yoghurt, didn't I? I've had fruit. I had one gluten-free biscuit in that last break. I, oh, I had bananas and mangoes for my breakfast. Now, now I've had melons and a gluten-free biscuit. That's all I've had all day. It's half past 12. It's lunchtime. Anyway, this is only £23. Excuse me. What a lovely little present. Oh, look at the hinges on the back. Antique effect hinges as well. Now, that's good. That's almost half price, look. Fabulous. Fabulous, as they say in Wales. What shall I do next? Oh, the other phone box, okay. Right, cats. This is a bigger, this is a bigger sewing box, this one. They're not real cats, Tim, because they've got flowers on them. Lowest ever price. So what was it before then? Um, again, and why have we got sale items? I don't know, never mind, never mind, never mind. It's not my job, just you take advantage, that's all. Uh, so you've got your magnetic clasp there. Oh, I love this one. It's like, look, it's like a jewel. I want a ballerina to be going round. Do, 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 so it's almost half price. It's just pennies off. Lowest ever price. I love it because it's got the little tray here, look, with the little boxes in like that. It's a nice sturdy tray. Feels like it's made of balsa wood or something. I'm sure, don't know if it is. But look. And then you've got this, the string wrapped handle. What feet's it got? Oh, just normal little plastic feet on that one. No little Maltesers on that one. That's brilliant. Lowest ever price. Cute, isn't it? Right, let me put that back there and get this one out. When they did this, gave this one to me the first time, they put a sewing machine in it. It didn't tell me. I went to lift it up and nearly did myself an injury. Right, sewing machine bag in denim. Now the machine that Helen was using would fit in here as well. The 560 would fit in here. So anyway, you've got your denim, uh, your hand, first of all, you've got your webbing handle, plus, and then I like that because it's got that strap on there. So if you are carrying the, the sewing machine in it, this isn't going to cut into your hand. Uh, then, oh, <laughs> this happens every time. Right, uh, I'm just going to, have I got a pair of normal scissors? Yeah. 
Well, only because I can't open it. I'm just going to take that off there. That's off there. Oh. Yep. I'm just taking that off there because otherwise you can't open it. There you go. So, on the top here, opens right. Well, now, I, I like the way that opens like that rather than zips going all the way down the side because that way it stays as a sturdy bag. So, so you've got your... Um, no, the base of the bag in there. Um, there's also, oh, this is good. Look, there's a, now, I've not seen this before because I haven't been able to open it up. There's a Velcro strap in there, so you can put that over the top of your sewing machine like that. Look, that's going to hold your sewing machine sturdy in there, isn't it? So if you, put, if you put the base in like that, so it's nice and cushioned at the bottom, then that is holding the sewing machine in place. If you don't want to carry it by the normal handle, there's a shoulder strap, which you can attach to the sides here and here, and make it longer. Obviously, that's just on, on a short setting. There you go. So that can go in there like that, so I don't lose that. I'll put, the I'll put this back in there so nobody complains at me. People complain about me all the time. I'm used to it now. Right. And then... Two little zip pockets here. Well, not little, not so little. So there's that nice deep one there. Oh, you can put your foot pedal in there. Put your foot pedal or your wire in there. Your user manual I put in the main block next to the sewing machine. And then in here, needles. If you want to put some spare needles. Bus pass. No, needles in packets, not loose needles. Oh, that's such a lovely bag. How much is it? 46 99 And it's made by Prims. You know, it's good quality. Nice. £46.99. Go back to Deflecto. These always remind me of sweetie jars. Now, in this, not food safe, in this, you get all four of these, but, but you can take them apart, you can detach them, now, I'm not going to do it because I'm bound to do it wrong, but you can slide them on and off. You can attach them to the wall because they come with screws and wall plugs, but please check the wall plugs are right for the wall that you're screwing them into. These have also got lugs, so if you've got the bars, the sliding bars, you can slide the sliding bar into them so you can have them mounted on the wall. And then they open like this. That's the screw and the wall plugs inside there. You see, so if you want to put something in there, like... Buttons. They're not sweets, they're buttons. You got some teat buttons. You see, they're brilliant, aren't they? Little storage items. Aren't they? And they do come out as well. Look. They do come out. If you want to take them out, you can take them out while you work. If you're doing beads and things like that, uh, you can put your beads in there. Oi. Oh, come on. There you go. Easy. It's just they're stressing me going, come on, John, come on, John. You can do it, you can do it. Bev's messaged him. Hang on, hang on. Three, two, one. No, it's not come up. Oh, please stop talking about food. See, I told you people complain. Please stop talking about food. You're making me hungry. Oh, uh, waitress, living, uh, waitress. Till two to three and she's starving. Have you got nothing else in? Oh, Bev, you're just round the corner. Do you want me to pop round? I've got some... Um, I've got some boiled eggs and some tomatoes. <laughs> Someone put that on the Facebook page and they're going, oh my good, it's, oh goodness, it'll be a boiled egg and a tomato in the green room, right? And I was like, and Neil went, no, in the canteen, in the canteen, and Neil went, yeah, the canteen is a, a sink and a microwave. Good luck there. Right, uh, they all come together in a box like that, but you can separate them, move them around. Oh, the salt and pepper sachets look a bit good in there. I could have this on my desk. Salt, pepper. Well, I don't use the sauces anymore. I used to have the mayonnaise and the sauce. Didn't I when I had chips? <laughs> chips. 
Oh, now, now they call this the wishy-washy tape drawer storage cube. We've changed the name of it. Oh, I'll be with you in a second. <laughs> There's no lugs on this one. Oh, sorry. Hey, it's not even in shot, so why are you worried about it? Oh, there, there it is. So now this was designed for washi tape because uh, you can fit, how many does he say? 150 reels of washi tape in there if you wanted to. Uh, you can't take the drawers out, uh, not the drawers, the dividers out. And I said to him, yeah, <laughs> the drawer comes out, but the dividers don't come out. And I said to him, oh, now what's the reason for the nice shaping there? Thinking it was going to be something technical. And he went, well, that's the Deflecto logo is a curved line. So we decided to make the shelves like that. Um, they're really, really lovely. Uh, you can't fit, a lot of people ask, can you fit a, a reel of thread, a Gutemann thread across it? You can't, it's not quite deep enough. And you can't move those individual um, dividers. The Silcos, you can fit Silcos there, but we haven't got any Silco here. Uh, I don't know if this... £24.99. Oh, those fat quarters you like, Hannah, might be up there. There's more. I've seen those fat quarters on the shelves, on the hexes. Twenty-four ninety-nine. You get three drawers, three drawers, but brilliant. You can fit scissors in. Oh, now I mean, these might be too big actually, but you can fit your normal cutting scissors in. Not these, these because you're the big shears. Oh, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing I've got on my table fits in. The eye cleaner will look. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. I would do I right clean the next. <laughs> it's been a long day and I'm not going home for days. They put me in the hotel for three days, right? When's the heavy snow due? In four days. You know what I mean? It's like, so I'm going to be in the hotel like again tonight, all on my own. And what am I looking for, did you say? Oh, yes. <laughs> if I'd kept him a clear drawer, I could have seen where it was, couldn't I? Now, this, this, this has been available since I even started working as an iron cleaner. So, it obviously does exactly what it says on the tin. Now, it's not, it's, a, oh, oh, blimey. <laughs> <me. laughs> I'm so sorry. Everything's going so wrong today. And there's loads of visitors in, in the main room. Today. They're not watching the telly, they're talking. What you do is you heat your iron up. You then put this on the iron like that. It stinks. It absolutely stinks. And the fumes that come off it are brown fumes, right? Do it in a ventilated room. Then what you do is you just wipe the uh, iron down. Make sure you wipe the... I'll show you. I haven't got it switched on. No, it's cold. It's cold. It's cold. It's cold. Right. No, no, you can do it, can do it on full-on heat. I do it on full-on heat. So, so if you've got brown marks in here, you literally just do this with the stick. That will take that off. That would take that off, hopefully. Yeah, okay, so I would take all that off. And then what you do is all this brown gunk all strips down here. Wipe the plate of your iron. Make sure you wipe the bottom bit here because that's where it collects. And also the really important thing to do is then put it on, get the steam going because the brown gunge gets into those holes because when somebody worked here, they cleaned the iron in the main room. Jennifer Taylor came in with a brand new blouse the next morning to iron it, steamed it like that. <laughs> all the brown gunk came out all, all over her blouse. What, what? No, it's nothing like going into a steam room. To anyway, anyway, anyway. But that's just a tip, just to clean those holes out as well. And then your iron will be nice and clean. Now, it does do a very, very weird smell, just to warn you, but it does it. But do it, please do it in a ventilated space. Right. Oh, looking for a glove. This is multi... Oh, it's double-sided. On the website, there's only one picture, right? So I'll show you this, right? This side, this side here, this side here, is like a, a pressing. You put your hand in, and if you press, oh, actually, where's where's Helen's jacket? Let me show you on Helen's jacket. <laughs> Do 
This was on at 9 o'clock today. So if you want to press something like this, you can get your iron with your pad behind it and just press little, if you've just got a little bit of pressing to do. Okay, so I've ni nicely pressed that. Or, <coughs> if you've been working with fur, I need Helen back in her black frock, don't I? This side is a lint brush, so you can just brush the lint off like that. Brush the lint off <laughs> using the other side. Do not iron on this side because you'll melt it. Do not try and get lint off with that side because it won't work. Word of warning there. Oh, what is the matter with me today? There's so much fur. There's so much fur on the floor here, I can't tell you. It's the fur getting up my nose. Oh, now CL uses these. These are made by Japanese swordsmen. They're micro serrated edge, beautiful scissors. These cut through uh, fabric like butter. Look at the size of them, they're a good, 39.99, they're a good size, good size for cutting shears. And also I like the way the metal carries on all up to here. This is all soft touch, loads of room, loads of room to get your hands in there. Now micro serrated means the edges of those scissors have tiny, tiny, tiny serrations on, serrations, that's such a word? So serrated, um, in like tiny, you won't see it by the naked eye. But what it means is if you're using jerseys or silks or silky fabrics or polyesters, it holds onto the fabric to slice through it. Oh, who's tidied this desk up? There's no fabric left behind the desk anymore. I'll just chop up one of these then. How weird, there's usually loads of fabric under there, isn't there? So literally, as you're cutting through, look how fantastic that cuts through the fabric. Now, what I need to say to you is, you really have to cut like that with a serrated edge. You know with a non-serrated edge, you can put in, you can put it in like this, and you can push like that, and it just glides through the fabric. You can't look, you can't with a micro serrated edge. You literally have to cut through your fabric. Fantastic, really good. Now, what you mustn't do is you mustn't try and sharpen these using a blade sharpener because you will ruin them, absolutely ruin them. They're right-handed scissors, $39.99. I know you're thinking it was a bit expensive for a pair of scissors. These are good quality, these are gonna last you. These are gonna be your cutting shears. As I say, these are the ones that CL uses all the time. And she works with jerseys and all sorts of fabric, well, every fabric. All the fabric, you can cut every fabric, really. I just have to cut uh, silky with it. But if you are using silky, it's not going to slip as you're cutting, that's all. They're brilliant, 39.99. Right, now while I've got it here, I'm talking about Japan, I need to just get this cutting mat out. Now this rotary cutter, on it, really smart, I like this one. So, I'll show, I'll show you this first. So, you've got uh, a Eurotra cutter. Now the blade is completely ensconced with this kind of safety um, guard over the top. You have to take that off to use it. Now, what's interesting about this one is look at here. You've got uh, soft to hard, depending on the kind of fabric you're cutting, you can literally move the arrow, to, to move the lever to wherever you want to put it, depending on the thickness of your fabric. Now, you're most probably going, well, where's the, where's the, um, Where's the, the cat, the switch to take the safety guard off? You don't need one on this. You don't need one on this because this is how it works. I'll just move the room up there. Watch. So when you put this, oh, hang on, which way around shall I do it? I, I want to do it so you can see properly. There you go. So once you've got the fabric here, you push down and the blade is exposed to do the cutting. And then when you're finished, it's like magic, it's just disappeared. I mean, you know, the blade's just gone back to where it was. I'll do that again. So the blade's not out, right? Look, the blade's completely safe within its guard. You press it down, you cut. It's almost like the guard moves out the way and the blade stays in the right same place. Do it one more. Down, cut, blade safe. The, now these are made by Japanese the, uh, in industry. The blades are made by in, uh, industrial uh, makers in, in um, Japan. Pop it away so it's nice and safe in your jaw. I like that. 
Oh, Hannah says it's a very satisfying weight. Whatever that's supposed to mean, I have no idea. Not your belly, Chris. She needs both hands for that. Well, it weighs like a rotary cutter. Yeah, it's very, very satisfying. Uh, what should I do next? Cutting that. No, it's a fold. Wait, oh, let me tidy up. Where's all the fabric gone from under there? Oh, I'm, it's Corey. It's Corey. He moved the tables yesterday and all the fabrics moved away. Right, look. Ready? Foldable or wearable? I like the fact, I like the fact that it's not a straight line because then you don't get the road to cut a quarter in it, do you? It's a, but look, it's gone. Gone. There it is. Prim Love Foldable Storage. No, not storage. Where did I get storage from? Prim Love Foldable Cutting Mat. 45 by 60 centimetres. So you've got your... You've got your measurements on there. Yeah. You've got your angles. It's uh, self-healing. Now, I don't think you can use the other side, can you? No, you can't use the other side. It's just one-sided. Oh, is that what it is? Oh, sorry, I banged my microphone. I thought it was just holding it together. Does that grip? Oh, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's, do it like a, let's give it to a fair chance then. Oh, yeah, there you go. There you go. They're grips. I didn't know that. Nobody told me that in training. 41.99. But look, how brilliant is that to store that away somewhere nice and neat next to your deflectos? Are we going back to deflecto? No. no we don't. Oh, my bundle. Right, okay, so this, all of this, two trays and the caddy, there are only five of the complete bundles left. That is everything we have. And these, that I've only got, that means I've only got five of these because these aren't available out of the bundle. Not today. We'll get Sexy Sam back to see if we can uh, get some more from him. Yeah, I thought we only had five of those, Jay. Yeah, five of the bundle, but, yeah. Oh, so how come earlier I said there were, there were none of those earlier? Right. Right. Oh, okay, 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 right. So, 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 I'll explain, right. There's five of these to, for today. Five of these for today. We've just had a delivery of this base here not available for our show today and there are about 60 of those just been delivered to our warehouse so maybe you'll see the base in the next few days but you can't buy this bundle in. and you won't see these trays for a while because we haven't had delivery of those so in the past you might have bought the trays at uh, the, the these trays and not got the, the bottom wheelie caddy from tomorrow there'll be some wheelie caddies available on the website or on the show we might have them on the show but none of these. I haven't got any of these. And I've only got five of this complete bundle here. Yeah. That's why I told you at the beginning of the show there were none of these left, the ones with wheels on the bottom. But they've just arrived. The warehouse has have formed us, or the computers told us. They've just had a delivery of those. £52.97. Oh, I should put all this away. Yeah, go on. Got the mini iron. I'm just putting all this stuff where Chris will tell me. Yeah. yeah, mini iron. Oh, I've got that lovely light. I mustn't forget about that light. Oh. Now, so have we had more of these in stock as well then? Because when, when I was here last time, we'd sold out of these. Oh. You see, we have little deliveries. We have big deliveries, do we? Uh, here we go. Love this. Now, who wasn't Victoria Carrington picked this as one of her must-haves the other day? It's a little mini iron. It's a steam, excuse me, it's a steam iron. And um, what you get is, uh, this is your little, oh, I'm punching the completely wrong place. That's your rubber stopper that you open to put your water in there, your little windows to say how much water you've got in. This is steam on, steam off, steam on, steam off. That's your temperature guide. That's a little light that comes on and goes off when it's ready to be used. Ooh. Then that's your uh, cable clip there. On the bottom, you've got your steam uh, psh, 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 vents. Uh, you've got a metre and a half of wire. 
And what is lovely, don't worry, it's not on, is this handle, right? It's not like having to lift a heavy handle. It's got, it's got a, no, hardly any weight to it, but it's a substantial uh, ironing implement. Lovely, lovely um, soft grip around here. Uh, H Hannah was using this the other day and she said she was very surprised at how many layers it goes through when you're pressing it. Don't know what she was pressing. Oh, short and telly, where'd you see it? Oh, here. Okay. What was I ironing then? Oh, no, I know. We did the pocket. You mean when we did the pocket? No. Oh, that was with little Paul. That wasn't with you. Anyway. 39.99. Hannah, saw somebody d demonstrating this. And I uh, thought it was brilliant. So she knows what she's talking about. Now. That'd be like a quarter of bonbons. You have to be old like me to know what that means. Light now, light now. This light's fantastic. What time is it? Oh, look at this time going out time. This is amazing. This is right. So now it is USB powered. So you can, it's, it's like a bang and all of some phone, isn't it? I shouldn't say that. It's one of the post phones. Uh, USB, there's no plug plug. It goes in your USB or your USB on your or whatever, computer, sewing machine, plug on the wall, but that's what you get, right? But it charges up because look, this is so nice, look. So it opens up like this. Are you ready? So it's got three light settings. Warm, natural, and supernatural. No, not supernatural, what's it called? Warm, daylight, and very bright. Warm, cool, and natural, apparently. No, is that right? You sure? I'll just check. That's what I said. Call, nat, call. No, not call. Cool, natural, and warm. Natural daylight effect. USB, energy saving, rechargeable. Three and a half hours once you've charged it up. 180 degree tiltability. Right? Hang on, it's got something else. Four watts, 10,000 hours of light bulb, 260 lumen. That shows how good our light box is, because our light box is 4,200, isn't it? And this is 6,280. 6,500 Ks. Oh, different between, what's the difference then? Oh, okay. Uh, oh, these are the colours of the light. The blue one's 6,500, the orange one's 4,000, and the pink one's 3,000. I love it, I love it. I've said all of that, I've said all of that. It tells you on the side there. Look, we can see the side of the box there. Is that too bright? Oh, I can make it natural. Well, that's off. There you go. There's a nice warm light on it there. Warm. Right, better go. Menu for tomorrow. It's me, it's me for five days. I do apologise. Oh, there you go. Here's the menu. Uh, oh, now, 8 o'clock is me on my own doing Elna machine offers. Now, I think that's the 565, 17, 550, is it not? Then 9 o'clock, we've got Pretty Poses with... Who's Jenny Jackson? Oh, now, everyone's putting thumbs up, going, oh, she's amazing, she's fantastic. Uh, Chris, Laura, Mike. Pretty... P well, I've got no idea who Jenny Jackson is, and I've no idea what she's making. Uh, we've got Super Savings, the Elna 720 Pro with Jane Brogan at 10 o'clock. Oh, now they've changed it. They've changed the day. 11 o'clock is Jenny Jackson uh, doing a Flower It Quilt, EPP. And then 12 o'clock, Jeromey and Elmi Super Savings. But I don't know what that is. Oh, they told me we were doing a two-hour special. But obviously not. We're doing two hours broken up by, um, what's she called? Jenny Jackson. Oh, I'm going to go and read about Jenny Jackson now. She's one of our new ones. She's been, she's been on before, obviously. I'll see you tomorrow at 8 o'clock. Don't be late. Are you and a friend free to do lunch with our very own John and Vicky on Thursday the 7th of February? If so, we have a fantastic opportunity for you to win an exclusive afternoon with the team behind your favourite channel. The winner of our Let's Do Lunch competition, along with one lucky friend, will be treated to a tour of the Sewing Quarter Studios. Experience what it's like on set next to those famous hexagon shelves and take a peek backstage where you'll meet our fun and friendly team. Then it's time to do lunch with presenters John Scott and Vicky Gordon. Prepare for good food with extra helpings of chatter and giggles. 
All you have to do to be in with a chance of winning is to make a purchase between the 28th and the 31st of January or simply drop us an email. See our website for details and terms and conditions. Lunchtime has never been so exciting, so don't forget to see the T's and C's for more information and good luck. We've got some exciting news. Sewing Quarter are delighted to announce that we now have our very own app. Available for download on all iOS and Android devices. Simply go to the App Store or Google Play and search Sewing Quarter. Once you've downloaded the app, you'll be able to watch Sewing Quarter live 24 hours a day and purchase all the products on today's show. So download the app today and keep watching Sewing Quarter on the move.